Hey, oh, folks. I'm good to go, and I'm set up a bit earlier than I thought. And, you know, I was just going to play Pokemon before I streamed Pokemon. So, I thought I'd just stream Pokemon. We're going to start a bit earlier. We'll be going a lot while again today. Getting a proper hefty session in. How y'all doing? I reckon if we, because we're starting early today, we might start a little later tomorrow. Might start a little later tomorrow. I am so excited. I'm so excited. How y'all doing? Really enjoy watching and playing a lot. I'm glad. I, I hope people are enjoying Pokemon. I'm having so much fun playing it. I'm so excited. What happened last time? Um... Well, we got two badges, so our level 50 Pokemon can now obey us. Except they don't. We beat the last gym leader. Um... But that, that was our second gym leader. Uh, we helped a dog. And... Um... We're now fighting an endgame boss. Uh... And none of our Pokemon obey us. Uh, is, uh, a lot a lot has happened. A lot has happened. Doing things backwards is always like, honestly, it's worked out that way again. Uh, we're now trying to beat these bosses with Pokemon that do not obey us. <laughs> we are like breaking apart this game's meta as much as we possibly can. We actually found strategies that work specifically if they don't obey. Which is insane. Speaking of which, y'all ready? Spoilers if you missed yesterday, right? Spoilers. Y'all ready? <laughs> Here we go. It's time for the rematch. Get him, Pretzel! Pokemon I met during a hunt for the Herba Mystica are all stars. Every one of them. Come on, Pretzel. We're gonna need you to obey. We have some new power on the team. Welcome to day two of Pokemon. Okay, you just need to obey, Pretzel. Yes! <laughs> He's a bit stronger now! <laughs> Still doesn't obey! I'll take the random crit! You got a toad scroll? I got an answer for that now. Broccoli's all powered up. Alright, and it learns Ice Fang. <laughs> Get him! Okay, he's got uh, the Salt Boy. Salt Boy? We're back in the pretzel. I give, gave my team bats. That was the meta strat. <laughs> I gave them bats, and now they're listening. Come on. No pretzel. <laughs> no. Oh, come on. Moves powers increased specifically because it didn't obey us. The most fringe of mechanics. <laughs> All 
Uh, so Titan wants to learn Blizzard. I don't think we need that. He's a physical attacker. Okay, Skavillan. Here's how we play around Skavillan. It's Fire, Grass, and Dark. We don't have a lot of good answers to this guy, but what I specifically can do is I can forsake my Ghost Typen by becoming Fire. And now he can't hit us. Yeah, we get the staff boost in. Special attack increased. <laughs> we lose our HP thanks to a kind life orb we found on the ground. All right, now here's where shit starts to hit the fan. I still don't know what to do with Cloister. I think maybe I just stay in and I get it. Maybe I'm just powerful enough. We're gonna need as much power as humanly possible, so go for the flamethrower. You got him? Yes! <laughs> Babastiff, it's the la- it's- is his main guy. Um... Oh, fuck. Well, okay, what was the strat for this? I think I just hit it first. We keep going. This dog is very sick, but we're gonna kill it anyway. Let's celebrate your full recovery with a glow up. Time to terastalize. Time to put down the good boy. Oh no. I feel bad fighting this one. Oh shit, he's faster. But we live it. And that'll take him. <laughs> Who needs gym badges? <laughs> Six zero sweep. We were so close with Vastiff, so close, but let us. Thanks, little buddy. Dang, this is the strain of someone who could take down those Titan Pokemon, huh? As much as I hate to admit it, I do think we're gonna need some more support. Pokemon Area Zero is super strong, there are all sorts of weird machines there, too. I say we need at least two more people. Somebody with more, some champion rank skill levels. And somebody who can deal with crazy tech. Oh, we gotta get like a team together. We still can't go there. Student council girl. Yeah, she'd be perfect for the job. I doubt she could give us any time of day unless one of us was on our level. It's in champion rank level. Even the game's like, okay, you might want to get the badges now. <laughs> Oh, Jesus Christ. Pad of Legends is complete. And just so we have um, this lovely stat immortalized forever. Profile. Pokemon card at level 30 or below. We'll listen to your commands. Most of our team does not listen to us. Okay, uh, I need to... Let's get, let's get a look at the team. They've earned it. 
<laughs> Look at like the size of our gang as well. We've got some like monsters on the team. Sushi's in there somewhere too. Like our team is fucking massive. <laughs> of course, welcome back to Broccoli, who is now evolved as a Tyranitar. This is the best way to get through, but we need it. Yeah, our team is fucking massive. Like, weirdly, like, uh, Pepper is one of the smaller members. I might replace Sushi just to get, like, a bigger Pokemon. We have, like, giants. Oh, bless you. I love Taffy so much. I love Taffy so much. I wish you'd listen to my commands. And, like, actually work with me in battle. But yeah, we, we, we've got some giants on the team. The Titan's fucking huge, too. Like, Tyranitar is, like, even one of the smaller ones. We do want to keep Broccoli, though. The sand support's actually really good here, because we have, like, three things immune to it. Yeah, I, I fucking love Taffy. Like, this is, like, I think one of my favorite new Pokemon. I absolutely love it. I just love how it's got, like, a fucking mallet. There's Sushi doing their best. Hey, Sushi. They keep clipping with the ground for some reason. They're having some trouble. They're sinking. But yeah, shout out to everyone who said I couldn't do that fight. Uh, we now did that fight. Now, we can look at the rest of the map. So, here's our progress. People who missed it. Uh, so far, we have gone, we've gone to all the Titan spots. And we've done two gyms. Uh, we beat the Ice-type gym leader and the VTuber. Uh, we haven't touched anything else on the gym front. And we also have not touched, like, uh, the Team Star guys at all. So, of course, we're going to go do uh, Team Star first. We're going to go do Team Star first. You know, we we got to pick between the two of those. We're also going to explore a little bit. We can actually... Because we spent so long doing the Titans... Like, we can just traverse this land. This poor Stunky. Uh, let's just see if we can catch him. I need to get like false swipe or something as well, so I can catch the, uh, these guys a bit easier. You can scale mountains. We can now. Yep. We've been working hard. I also caught some more Pokemon from my Pokedex. I'll, I'll show you where we're at in just a mo. I've encountered quite a few of them. Uh, we're up to 102 cop. I basically try and c c tried to catch more. I got this guy as well. Palma. I just took him for a run and then like used some candy on him. I, I think there's supposed to be like a reward or something you can get. It's a value weight. How do you, how do you get the reward? Recently caught. Pokedex. Yeah, here it is. People were telling me about this. Oh, we're gonna get a lot of this. 10 volumes. 20 volumes. Yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll take some free shit quite happily. There we go. A few, few little rewards there. Because, yeah, we, we filled it out, like, kind of quite a bit. You can, like, see a lot more of the volumes. So many of these little arrows. Let's just cycle through them real quick. 
Just want to get rid of all these pings. Let's take him out. I found this guy as well while I was exploring. Look at this little dude. I basically did some training up on the mountain last night. Uh, after the stream. And like, I found like a Magneton outbreak that gave me like a shitload of XP as I killed them. That's how I was able to get Tyranitar. But then I found like a few extras just as I went. Uh, we still can't really catch most Pokemon because we don't have the badges. At least, I think that's how it works. Like, like, you can help me out, chat there, and correct me if I'm wrong. But, like, you need the badges to, like, have a better odds of actually catching higher level shit. Uh, and because I don't, it means that anything over, I think, level 30 uh, is gonna give, like, put up a hell of a fight. Hey, Darylin, how you doing? It's kind of hard to weaken these things. Maybe Rapid Spin will do it? No, of, co of course, Pretzel. <laughs> pretzel, I just want to test if this will work, right? No, even Rapid Spin is too powerful. Jesus Christ, Pretzel. An absolute monster of a Pokemon. Absolute monster. <laughs> Okay, well, we can go do the Team Star. Yeah, let's let's go do Team Star. That'll be our first goal today. I think we hold off and explore until we actually get some gym badges so I can actually catch Pokemon. It might make it easier too, because like shit like, um... Shit like the Quick Balls might become available. And that would just make things like so much smoother. I'd just be able to like toss them and everything. Okay, uh, we're gonna we'll let Taffy take the helm today for Team Star, if we can. Okay, where do we want to go? What, what what Team Star do we want to start with? I think the ones highlighted in red are Team Star. We'll go we'll go with that guy who's facing the wrong way. No, no, it's blue. Um, all right, sure, fuck it, we'll get this guy. I think we all. Oh, it says destination. Oh, I haven't unlocked that one yet. Oh, God. It says fly here. Dan, I have come to inform you that I'm disappointed. You are playing suboptimal. Why haven't you gotten all eight badges and then done the other paths? Absolutely hoodwinked. Shame on you, Dan. <laughs> Fucking hoodwinked. Yeah, so th th this this was my training spot last night. Uh, conveniently, because we chose the fire starter and we were also training a Tyranitar, um, they're all just super effective against ice, which means I could do auto battle to just basically get their level to increase. No, I, ca I can't actually do it in battle like this because as... Oh no, Taffy's actually going to do it! Oh, good job, Taffy! Usually they don't listen to me. Usually they don't listen to me. And we have, like, a shitload of trouble. Yeah, there's another mountain up here. I kind of want to go up this. This absolute glacier isn't a problem anymore. You can just scale it. A2 is looking good. Okay, how's it going, gang? What's that? What is that? Oh, it's this little dude. There's like another Gen 8 Pokemon you probably rarely saw. Uh, I don't know if I'm going to be able to get this guy. 
I, I really... I... <laughs> yeah, because Taffy's not going to obey half the time still. Come on, Taffy. Taffy, please. Go on, get him! Smash him over the head. I think that's a unique animation for um, Taffy as well. It's cool. You just fucking bonk him. Okay, one more. No. Okay, good job, Taffy. We have the most powerful Pokemon, but they just won't listen to us half the time. They, they refuse to listen. Okay, send in sushi. This guy is deceptively powerful. Oh wait, because it's Terrasolize, I can... I, I, I just need to break it, don't I? And then I can catch it. Oh, okay, we can just go in the pepper then. I can't actually kill it. Wow, if only there was a way to make Pokemon actually obey it. It's sadly not an option. Yeah, it's sad. it's actually not in the game. Now, in the day one patch, they actually removed, like, all semblers. Like, this is actually how you're supposed to play it. Game actually even opens with a cutscene of just, uh, like, a... Junichi, uh, Masada, literally telling you to go fuck yourself. Uh, it's quite shocking. It's definitely a different take for Pokemon series. Uh, but I'd still say I'm enjoying the game. i still say I'm enjoying it. You know, the open world really carries it, even uh, with the ill intention of its developers. Don't appreciate the addition of the Raid Shadow, uh, Shadow Legends advert that plays every 20 minutes. You know, a bold choice. It really kind of interrupts the flow. Different direction to take Pokemon, but still having a good time. Still having a good time. God, this guy doesn't want to be caught. Back in the sushi, we can just tank hits. Jamie you've already unlocked climbing because there's a mild exploit where you can jump backwards up cliffs that you'd slide down. But surely I can just climb those cliffs. Surely, surely that's better. <laughs> oh my god, this little fucker doesn't want to go. Buddy. You're not even, like... I don't think you're even going to be used on the team. And you're putting up a fight. <laughs> oh my god. Come on. Come on. I don't think I can get him. How many Pokemon have we lost to this guy now? Yeah, it's not looking good for us. <laughs> it's not looking good. They hate to be caught. Thank you. Okay, we got him. Yeah, so that's why we're leaving most of our catching Pokemon time uh, to later. It, it's simply not worth it right now. It's simply not worth it. Like, unless it's something really cool or, like, overpowered or shit. Like, if I see, like, a Garchomp in a wild, like, yeah, absolutely, we're, we're just gonna, like, pick it up. But it's, like, a lot of these guys, it's just, like, it's impossible to even capture them.
Oh my god, there's like a fucking hit squad around us. They're everywhere. What do you think of the game? It's great. It's got technical jank, but like the concept is what's carrying it. I still live in hope that maybe they can fix some performance shit. Uh, but the game is great. Um, I'm hugely enjoying it. It's just because the open world carries it. I love Legends Arceus when I played it. There just wasn't a lot of stuff to do in the world. This this one's given you a lot more shit to do. And it's just more interesting because of that. It's mainly just technical jank is what's holding it back. That's it. Outside of that, like, it's a real good time. This wasn't a Pokemon game, I feel like people would be way more upset about it. Uh, people are upset about it. The performance is awful. There's no excuse. The, but, like, the gameplay itself is fun. That's the thing. And, like, that's that's what's hugely carrying it. <laughs> like, shit like that. <laughs> like, there's, there's no real reason. Graphics could be better too. Yeah, the graphics, obviously they could be better. But the core gameplay is fun. The core gameplay is just really good. And like, that's what's making it interesting. Like, being able to do shit like this just so easily. And like, there's actually stuff to see now. Like, this is well, like, like, wanted shit like this for years. I wish it didn't look like it was on the PS2. Wish it didn't look like that. It certainly runs like it's on the PS2. Um... But, like, the gameplay itself is just really fun. Gameplay itself is really fun. And that's what I'm, like, the biggest advocate for. Like, I, I loved playing this yesterday. True test will be time. Um, it always is for Pokemon games. It depends on how much time you think you're going to get out of this a game like this. DLC might help with that, too. Just for, like, actual, like, repeatable content. As you go. The terror raids are cool for getting a lot of more Pokemon. I, I, li I like the, t the terrestrialized as a mechanic. Quite a bit. I think it's way more interesting. Um, than Dynamax for sure. Mega Evolution is, I think is still always going to be my favorite. I, I, I don't think I'm ever going to really change on that stance. I think it would just be hard for me. Because I, I just love what Mega does for like. Bringing life to old Pokemon. You know, like, you look at Mega Evolution, it's like something like Beedrill, which would never really be used, is suddenly, like, a powerhouse. And it's like, there's actually a, like, point and reason to use it again. Stuff like that is cool. Uh, Terrastalize, like, you're not gonna pop it on Beedrill. You're just not gonna use Beedrill. Oh, there's a few of our hammer guys. I think these guys are worth more in terms of XP. I think so. Hang on. Get him. Yeah, they're, they're, they're worth a little bit more. Go get him. Let's pick up this along our way, too. I think our goal is in the town. We're near it. Applin. The Rockba Squad's base. Oh, no, they've just taken... Oh, okay, this this is their town. All right, so we're, we're just going to take them, like, completely over, I think. Just a wild Vespa could neat. I'll return later when it's time for the young master's piano lesson. So then, please give him my regards. Yes, Mr. Harrington. Oh, the, of course, because they're still bound by the ac academic staff, I think. 
Who might you be, young lady? A friend of the young master, perhaps? I don't know who you're talking about. This seem unaware I must inform you that this is the base of Team Star's fairy crew. The Rock Boss Squad, led by young Master Ortega. Mr. Harrington, I don't think we're supposed to be giving out that information. Please accept my apologies. Any idea who, as to who this young lady might be? Okay, yeah, we're, gonna, we're just gonna take on the base. You're an ad adversary of the young master. <laughs> oh, he's gonna fight me, cause like, oh, sure. Let's go, Mr. Harrington. I'm again, I'm fighting my teacher. <laughs> Get him, Pepper. I, th I think we can take him here. I think Pepper's strong enough now. Get him. Ned Flanders looking ass. He is a little bit. Yeah, I see it. Okay, he's got a hat trim. Alright, Taffy, this this is your time to shine. Taffy's gonna take on the world today. He's feeling very social. It's like fucking annihilate it. No, Taffy! You just need to get the hit! Come on, Taffy! He's gonna, he's just gonna constantly set up in the meanwhile. I think it's only got psychic and, and uh, fairy type attacks. Taffy! <laughs> At least he's not taking power points. Go on, get him! <laughs> Taffy's just gotta mentally prepare herself. This just gives us more time to enjoy like the really bopping music we got. There we go, Taffy. Annihilate him. Oh, you're kidding me. <laughs> hey, come on, Taffy. Taffy, you can accomplish so much! We have to negotiate with our Pokemon. This thing is set up a lot now, too. They got him, the Titan. Of course, priority. If you just listen, thank you. Steel type of suffering in fairy town. Yeah, it's not, it's not a good image. Not a good image. Outstanding performance. However, be aware that young master Ortega's battle prowess far surpasses my paltry skills. We do well to take care. Hasta la vista. <laughs> what a fucking catchphrase. Okay. Given piano lessons. Yeah, yeah, get, 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 get your star formation in. It's not an easy one to do with your hands, is it? Let's see, the guard has been dealt with. Good job. The place belongs to Team Star's fairy crew, the Rock Boss Squad. The boss of Tega is the mechanic of the team. The youngest of the bosses, but his battle skills are no joke. Underestimate him and things go south for you quickly. He's also a real lead from the back type. He gets the scrubs to do all the dirty work for him. His weak point is a short fuse. Get him good and angry. And I'll match out the front lines to deal with you himself. In terms of tactics, there's nothing else for it but to take down all the lackeys he sends your way. 
Don't play until our tiger shows up and go from there. Okay. Let's annihilate their base of operations. Let's also quickly run to the conveniently placed Pokemon Center. Uh, cause we, we got real messed up there. Thank God they've got like gas stations everywhere, even like on like the mountaintops. Okay, they're all good again. I think we'll have to actually leave with this because I think um, how this works is it's like auto battle stuff. I showcased this in a trailer before. Uh, we need to give the Titan a name too. The Titan's been like at least like honorary team member. I don't know if we'll keep this on our team forever, but he's been putting in work. What do we call him? Snowball, Peppermint, Sunday. I kind of like Sunday. Actually, I, I kind of like Tofu. Yeah, Tofu. Nah, but it's Ice type. It's Ice type. It has to be something like cold. It has to be something cold. Mochi though, Mo oh, I don't think Mochi's cold enough. Gelato, I like gelato. Welcome aboard. There we go. Yeah, I'll show you how we're doing on like cop Pokemon too. Yeah, so this is like one of the ones that we got up. See, pumpkin. Like this is I I, I gave him the name Pumpkin. But they're evolved now. See. Nature's still a bit shit. Uh, but cool for electric fighting. Uh, I need to level up this guy too. I, I think... Let's replace Sushi for a bit. I, wa I want to see... I wanna get, well, I want to get his form, yeah. I, we already know what he evolves into. Get his form by kind of going through here. God, if only I could catch you. <laughs> the frog guy is here. It seems to me that you won't need to raise a, like too many Pokemon up. It seems like a lot of them just spawn in the wild as you go. Like once we get access to Quick Balls, like I can just like complete most of the Pokedex, I reckon. Yeah, we want to try and get like the Minecraft Pokemon soon. It's so weird not having the fight like trainers. Yeah, even this guy. Is that the final stage of them? Oh, yeah. That might be the middle stage. It's Florigus. Different color flowers available. I don't think those are shinies. Yeah, they're all just the different colors. Uh, what's just standing here? Is there any chance of us catching it? Oh, it's just straight up a Sylveon. That's actually really cool. It's weird just seeing like an Eevee Lucian in the wild. Yeah, look at him. We're not gonna be able to catch it though, is the only problem. We're not gonna be able to catch it, so, uh. Get him, Pepper! Oh no, they, they they won't fight one with a unique uh, terrestrialized form. They won't do it. Yeah, we'll just let him exist for now. Just let him exist. Slice off Sylveon's head. <laughs> Might be shiny too. No, it's not. I, I, from what I understand, shinies appear in the overworld. People have already been reporting them. They just don't have like a sparkle or anything, so they can be a bit harder to spot depending on the shiny. Okay, let's get let's get through here. Using the first three Pokemon in your party. Uh, is that even gonna work for me? A 
change position. But are these guys even going to fight? <laughs> Let's find out. Careful now, let us team stars the unique way of doing battle. Oh yeah, this guy's back. Call it a star barrage. Get through it, you need to use the air button to set up multiple Pokemon and have them battle at the same time. Pokemon get low on health, come back here and I'll heal them up for you. Okay. What's up gang, some jumped up kid has wandered in thinking she can raid our base. Hopefully she doesn't know who she's messing with. Let's teach her a lesson she won't forget. And defeat 30 of our Pokemon in the next 10 minutes, our boss might just honor you. Okay. Uh, that seems pretty straightforward. Wow. Sneak Pokemon out with the R button to try to defeat a set number of Team Stars Pokemon before time runs out. Wow. I can do this. They're just tossing out Pokemon like everywhere. Like, just get him, gang. Oh, wait, 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 why, why is it... Why is the Minecraft boy fighting? He's not supposed to be here. <laughs> I guess, I guess he's just along for the ride. It's like the first stage of our guy. It's like a teeny year old. Cute. Yeah, I, I, I think we're gonna get this with time. I, I think we're doing quite well. I think our Pokemon are also quite strong at this point. Go get him. Yeah, just go beat up like those little marrows. Like that'll show them. We're good. That was that was really easy. <laughs> the defenses are breaches all up to the boss now. Yeah, let's see what we got. Boss of Team Stars, Fairy Crew, Ortega. Mad Max vibes. It really is, yeah. Your lettuce, okay? Talk about underwhelming. I was expecting someone, I don't know, a bit more, a little more beefed up. Whatever, I don't care who you are. Not like I'm gonna lose to you anyway. I think fairy types are all about cuteness. You're in for a nasty surprise. Yeah, they don't... My one doesn't listen to me half the time, Ortega. Let's get him. Apparently Pepper's just gonna take the lead here. I mean, if Pepper does that, this is gonna be a very short fight. <laughs> yeah, I promise I'll play nice. Yeah, it's just like, yeah, let me just like one shot kill ya. <laughs> oh shit, he lived! Oh, we might be in danger now. Zoom roll. No, we're fine. <laughs> Did you just realize how outmatched you are? Like, that was a super effective hit, dude. I, I, I think I have the clear advantage. Okay, uh, sure. Let's get in the taffy. Has the high ground. <laughs> we can take him. Just hit his, take out his car engine. We can beat like pastry dog. Gigaton hammer. 
Come on, Taffy. Oh, there you go. Jesus, with the attack drop, it's like doing a lot less. I don't think Taffy's gonna be able to get him. Because Taffy's not gonna obey half the time. I mean, so far, so good. Fair play to her. No, there we go. Yeah. <laughs> Have a taste of this slick move. But you can't handle my Pokemon's adorable strength. But how how is this guy who's getting like the private tuition like piano lessons like such a like a ruffian? You know, like he's causing trouble. Part of like the criminal organization or like rogue students in this game. Uh -huh. Yeah, I could I could switch. Uh, go on, gelato. You just gotta obey. Try ice spinner. This looks like it'll do a lot of damage if it lands. Gelato, no! <laughs> There you go! He's got a Beyblade move. That's actually pretty cool. Okay, uh, Wigglytuff. Stay out in it. Let him rip! <laughs> no! Oh, that's pro- No, that's not. He's slow. Go, Gelato! Get him, Gelato! No! Wow, how did this guy even get this far? I can send out Minecraft guy, but like, if he dies, he's not gonna level up. I can go back to Taffy. We have no attack drop now. I love how Pokemon teams have gone from wipe out all human civilization to skip in school. Yeah, it's a bit of a downgrade. <laughs> Stakes are not as like intense as they were. I mean, I kind of like it though. Like, like Team Skull is like my favorite like evil team that they've ever done, and like they're just like a, a band of thugs. Like they're great. They don't really have like a master plan or anything. Bugs, thanks for the five gift subs. Oh, oh we almost got him. Go Reva Room. Oh, it's the it's the engine. That's what the uh, the little engine evolves into. Yeah, we can get him. Oh, you can't use it twice in a row. Uh, just play rough? It's poison steel, isn't it? I thought that would resist fairy. It's not like Taffy's gonna hit him anyway. <laughs> okay, get him, Taffy! Oh no, because I didn't use a move, it doesn't let me do it again. Okay, uh, go at the pretzel. He must destroy his car. The car itself actually has a helper. Yeah, the rock bass star mobile. I'm guessing you always fight a car at the end of these. <laughs> it's quite funny. But what type is it? Is it just fairy? I think it is. Oh, okay. All right, let's lose our fighting type then. It's car type. Get him, pretzel. 
He's got a fancy hat now. Pretzel, no! <laughs> Come on, Pretzel! He's literally just like driving his car into our Pokemon. No, Pretzel! <laughs> Don't hurt yourself! There we go. And this will do extra damage because we didn't obey last turn. Oh, look at that. You pretend not to notice. That's good though. That just powers up our next attack. That just powers up our next attack. We can full restore him. can beat the car. <laughs> Come on, Pretzel, I believe. We just have to flip two coins and call it twice in a row. God damn it. Come on, Pretzel! Yes! That'll do it. We have the sick do not obey strat. Double damage comp and stop and tantrum. Car destroy. Yeah, like he doesn't look like a thug or anything like that. Like he really doesn't. Looks like he's about to put on like a panto or something. How could I lose? What the heck? About a year and a half ago. Ah, what the heck? Your toy car didn't budge an inch, huh? Told you it's not a toy. It's called the Starmobile, and I was up all night building it. Problem's clear that we're not giving it enough juice. I designed this thing to be powered by two shark a day, but it's just too heavy. Such a shame, I want to see the looks on our bullies' faces once we got him moving. Oh, is that why they're disillusioned with the school system? They got bullied or something. Seems to be the way it's going. Why to make such a remarkable contraption by dying on hand? Genius, our name is Ortega. Well, yeah, there's no point if it doesn't work, is there? If I knew all I ever would have zero payout, I'd have just asked Mother to buy a car for us. That's why people don't take it seriously. You say some stupid things, you know that. What? Well, uh, cool it, would you? Yeah, how about no? <laughs> Did we even put in this code for crying out loud? Star Team Star, we swore to quit relying on our parents or bags of cash to fix our problems for us. Instead, we used all their finances we received from them to build expensive contraption cars. <laughs> A hunk of junk doesn't move, get it moving. Short and Juice just gotta crank up the power somehow. It doesn't take a genius, man. Easy enough for you to say, Melly. Do you have an actual plan? I'm gonna train up my shark a day and we have him evolve. The boost of firepower will get the Starmobile moving, no sweat. The hour of Operation Star is nigh at hand. We succeed in time. I'll get it done. Melly, wait! You know, Melly shoots off her, her mouth, shoots her mouth off an awful lot, but she means well. No. This sucks. Sucks to hate myself for losing, but I also can't get over how awesome you were in that battle. When you have a squad boss are defeated, that means we have to step down. Going against our code would make me a traitor to the team. Fine, not like I have a choice or anything, so take the badge already. You better treat it with the respect it deserves. It's like, yeah, like, like peace in our time. It's like we're posing for like a political photo there. Let me update the stream title too, just say I have no. I mean, I do have two gym badges, but like, not no basis. I was trying to communicate that in the title in case anyone's wondering. I was just trying to communicate that. Oh, you get a TM too. Yeah, because like nobody obeys me. So it's like easiest way to communicate that was just that.
All the teachers here. Mr. Harrington! Guess it's time for my piano lesson, huh? What happens? I just lost my boss title. So I'm all good to head on home. Actually, a different matter brought me. Somebody I would like you to meet. It's a distance acquaintance, distant acquaintance of mine. Oh, gee, why are we going with this weird disguise still? The name's Clive. Okay, what's your business here? I want you to tell me something. You're the son of a wealthy family and heir to a major apparel company. Why join a group like Team Star? A question to ask someone you've just met. The answer's the same as everyone else in the team. It's because I was being bullied. The academy really did used to have an issue with bullying. Who would guess, right? School's all rainbows and butterflies these days. The bullies from back then don't even go to the academy anymore. Why, what happened to them? Former director of the academy, I believe I'm in best position to answer that question. Mr. Harrington. About 18 months ago, the members of Team Star confronted the students who used to bully them, and an altercation broke out between the groups. It did not escalate into a major incident. The altercation nonetheless caused a scandal of hetero unknown proportions. As a result of what occurred that day, the students who had perpetuated the bullying dropped out of the academy one after another. There aren't any records of that anywhere in the academy. No, I should imagine not. Your former deputy deleted all records of the incident, you see. Oh no. The school is corrupt. Just so I was puzzling over how best to deal with Team Star in the aftermath of the incident, a certain student came to see me. The student declared that they would take all responsibility for the team's actions. In exchange, they requested I exonerate the other students of Team Star from any blame. Oh, no one told me that. Except the request and agreed not to take disciplinary action against Team Star. Also, while we were deleting the records, I embezzled a lot of funds spent for the other departments. Then I assigned 18 months of overseas studies to the students uh, who took responsibility for the team. A year and a half of studying abroad. It's not intended as a punishment. You understand, Team Star were the victims after all. I want the students to take some time to rest. So I had them return home to the Galar region under the pretext of overseas study. Around that time, however, the former deputy director took it upon himself to erase all traces of the incident from the academy service. It appears his intent was to shield himself from any blame. He tried to cover up the whole thing. That's terrible. After we discovered what he had done, I dealt with him appropriately, of course. The inability of myself and the rest of the teaching staff to prevent this terrible act also represented a grave blunder on our part. I accepted the blame that lay at my feet and resigned from my position as director. So the rest of the teaching staff then joined me in handing in their notices. Wait, so because they didn't handle the bullies, like, they, they all just resigned. The entire staff. The entire institution just left. I'm surprised it's not just, like, one person leaving. That seems to be what they're suggested, yeah. Everyone left. Like, these kids are being bullied. We better all leave. <laughs> like... But they're barely, yeah, like, they're barely fixing the problem. They're barely fixing it. Instead, they just have, like, this, like, random, like, student organization that's just, like, causing terror around the, the country. <laughs> that's why the current teachers were all brought in a year and a half ago. I understand my actions have caused you a great deal of trouble. You have my sincere apologies. Hey, oh, Mr. Harrington, how come you suddenly decided to talk about this now? Master Ortega, Team Star cannot carry on in his current fashion. I really wish to give you a chance to chart a better course. No way I'm abandoning my friends and going to school without them. Not after we've come this far. We gotta, we gotta get the band back to school. My friends are the greatest treasure in the whole world. You just rather quit their job and stop a bully. Yeah, like it just—it just seems like not the right move. Like, sh surely you can just address the issue. The entire staff is gone. There must have been some really shitty teachers. Seems that Tega no longer carries a star badge, a symbol of his status as a boss. Gave yeah, it to you, did he? I see. But it's boss no longer around. The Rock Boss Squad is as good as finished. Oh, Ortega. Sorry, I got caught up in my thoughts for a second. How about your reward? I'll transfer some LP over to your phone as promised. Sure. 
Now make more TMs. Oh yeah, that's pretty good. So you get like move unlocks there. Was this your first team star boss? Yes. Oh, hey, how you doing? I'm Penny from the supply unit. Probably don't remember, but you got me out of a tight spot by the school stairs. Uh, was glad to help. Oh, so you do remember. I'm helping with, uh, with Operation Starfall as part of my independent study. No, the treasure hunt. Good at machines and hacking and stuff, so I'll be working behind the scenes. Here you go, your bonus reward. Lots of Pokemon materials, neat. Make a ton of TMs. And we get more rewards every time. Trainer as strong as you on our side, I'm sure the operation will go just fine. Okay, we need to assemble the team, so we need to get Penny as like a hacker kid. Uh, what happens to here now? I thought our crew would get beat. They're all just lurking about. What's gonna happen to us now? Seems to just be a space where they kind of hang and chill. What's gonna happen to us? There seems to be more students here than in the, in the entire school. Which is a bit surprising. Boss may be gone, but... We'll protect the space with all we've got while the boss is away. Oh, okay, you, you can do it again if you want, right. I mean, sure. This lands N as well. Oh! <laughs> oh, look at that dude! The big bird! Oh, there's quite a few of them. God, I want to be able to catch stuff. If only there was a way to do that. Gotta beat Team Star first, though. Gotta beat Team Star first. Oh, Energy Ball. That's actually pretty good. Those are good puppies. I love how... So, this dog and, like, its evolution, it literally just gets cooked. Like, it's just dough and then baked pastry. <laughs> it's kind of alarming. You have to stick that dog, like that Pokemon, in the oven to make it evolve. Anything going on here? Just a little stand. This is just so, in case you want to jump out a bit easier. Yeah, okay. We're just gonna... Let's just marathon all the Team Star. And then maybe... We might be able to take on our third gym. Maybe, just maybe. Story. God, the items are actually really good over here, too. Because <laughs> you're not supposed to be here till later. It's like, yeah, I just have, like, some free hyper potions. Like, I can't even buy these from the shops yet. Oh, this is the one we got. This is the one we got. I kind of want to explore, too, though. What do we think is going to be, like, the end of the end of the world? Like, the furthest place you could possibly go. If I had to guess, it's, like, over here. It's either over there, or, like, it's this, like, far distant corner. The mountain is definitely higher level. The further north you go, the more intense the world gets. Could be the crater, too. Yeah, it could be the crater, but we, we actually can't access the crater yet. I don't think we can get in there. So, like, outside of the crater, I'm, I'm guessing it's one of these ends of the world. There's outbreaks here. Can we just set off? Give our team a little bit of healing. I 
I do miss the multi-heal ability that I had um, previously. I know they have auto-heal now. But you used to be able to select like a potion and just like heal like everything in one go. Now you gotta menu it again. Seems like a weird step back. I guess they want you to use an auto-heal. A third gym, don't get ahead of yourself. We can go as the bird flies now too. Because we just have like all forms of transport unlocked. Mobility even. Look at us go. An all-terrain Pokemon, it really is. I'm glad I picked Koraiden, I think he's cool. I think they're both quite cool, for different reasons. There's Pokemon on spawn even up here, yeah. Yeah, ha like one of the end game areas has to be like one of these. Has to. What I'm trying to find. Here's all the packs of Sneasels. The lake was, I think, the highest level that we ever got, because I was getting up to, like, level 55 with, like, sushi and shit. There does seem to be paths, like, even all the way along there. Going. What's that? Oh, it's this guy. <laughs> Big dead dog. Yeah, it's generous with all the evolutions too. They, they really seem to just have everything popping up wherever. Holy shit, it's just a spare tomb. It's just here. This is normally such an ordeal of a Pokemon to find. It just exists now. Caught any shinies yet? Uh, nothing so far, but we live in hope. We live in hope. Yeah, maybe this is a higher level area? Just to like, encounter this Raichu real quick. What level we at? 55. Okay, we're definitely we're definitely getting there. Hey, how's it going? What? Shiny stone, I'll take it. Oh, this is where you get toads cool. <laughs> Look at him fucking run. I kind of want to pick him up. I think he'll be an easy evolution too. That That's probably, like, at level 56, that's just like one level. And he's evolved. I kind of want him, yep. His little legs, yeah. Let's try to get it. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> Come on! Thank you. Yeah, we can probably level up this guy pretty easily. Ground grass. Toad school lives in muggy forests. The flaps that fall from its body are chewy and very delicious. It's literally just a mushroom, yeah. It's made to look like tentacle. That's cool. Ground grass. He has a type shared, like, with, uh, just Torterra. Uh, we can get the Minecraft guy if I just use some candy, too, I think. There we go. Oh, people said he was level 35. He's not.
There's a slacking in the wild. Oh, it's 38. Okay. Take any and all Ultra Balls I can find. Okay, well, I, I can just put- I can pop them in for now. Pop them in for now. Uh, we'll keep, put Toad School in. We've got, like, a very, like, sand-focused team, it seems. Look at all these guys that are, like, immune to it. Could just go full sandstorm. Broccoli taking the helm. The Weather Wars are back. Wow, fortress and shit. That's, that's crazy. Yeah, look at him. There's a lot of Pokemon here that we'll have to go back and just try and get. It's just gonna be impossible to pick them all up. But we can grab some seriously overpowered items as we go. Yeah, there's Toad's Cruel as well. Look at him. It's weird, like, having them as a separate Pokemon and not, like, like a regional variant. Oh, <laughs> he's running at me. Oh, shiny Heracross? Oh, sweet! That's pretty cool. Uh, all right, how how do we weaken this uh, without killing it? The Yeetle returns. He does. Look at him. Shiny Yeetle. Yeah, I, I don't know if he'll live a Shadow Ball. I don't want to burn him just because I'll chip away at him and also kill him eventually. Uh, I don't really have much means to weaken. I have net balls. <laughs> Maybe just full odds? Oh, that's fucking scary. I might be able to get paralysis off uh, with Taffy. Yeah. That's so cool. <laughs> These fucking angles. Oh no, if it has guts, it's gonna raise its attack even more, isn't it? God, this thing is scary. Taffy, no. He's got max attack. He can probably one-shot kill anything we have. Jesus fucking Christ, that's a resistant hit. Taffy! Taffy, this one's important! Oh no, he might kill himself with the confusion. <laughs> okay, we gotta just try to catch him. I can use Sandstorm to maybe weaken him a little. This this is quite bad. Come on, Netball. Oh, <laughs> Oh, Jesus! <laughs> Come on, Netball! This is as good as we're gonna get! Oh, thank God. <laughs> oh, sweet! We found a shiny Heracross!
The Yeetle is back. What do we name it though now? What do we what do we name it this time? The yeast. <laughs> It's close enough to the usual. <laughs> the yeast. <laughs> oh, absolutely adding that to the party. That's so cool. That's such a good one to get to. Heracross is awesome. I'm very okay with that. Hey, look at this guy. Worst nature. <laughs> it's always the worst. But it got guts at least. I'm very happy with that for like a shiny. Going here was a was a good call. Yeah, so that, that that confirms how it works in the overall for like um for us too. It is very much like there's no like special animation until the encounter starts. You have to be able to discern by eye that you're looking at a shiny. It's the graffiti guy. He's cool. Hard to get up these little ledges. Uh, if I had to guess, maybe up the mountain then there's something that's even higher level. Just I'm just picking up the items and shit as we go. I might get some real good stuff early. It's just a Lorantis. Cool. I'm glad with the Heracross too, it was so noticeable as well. We didn't have to worry about that one. Once again, I, uh, you I only have two badges and I've already got a shiny. It's pretty good. Come on. It's a jank one to climb. A little gang of guys here. Look at them. I don't know if there's going to be a higher level than here. It's still hard to tell. Maybe over there, there's like an outbreak at the end of the lake. If it's not there, then like it's probably like all the way over here or something. Could just be also weird spots as well and not follow that logic at all. You know, it could just be like weird little dotted areas. Take a reversal. Crater too, of course, but I'm just wondering like the, the explorable world right now. I assume I just can't go in the, the crater yet. He was making a big point of it. How'd you get iron tusks? Uh, I found him. In the wild. Oh, here's the Gimme Ghouls, too. They just seem to be scattered everywhere, kind of like Koroks or something. Come on. Oh, if only there was more Quick Balls. We're, we're gonna just complete the Pokedex once I get access to those. Like, no joke, I'm just going out and catching, like, everything I see. I've already got mobility unlocked. We just need quick balls now.
progression will take an absolute nosedive whenever we get uh, enough gyms done for him. How do you have level 60 Pokemon when you've only got two badges? Uh, they don't obey me. <laughs> they, don't, they don't obey me. We make it work. We just have fun. Still get the job done. Big nugget. I'll take it. Arrived at your destination. Okay, the outbreak's over here, is it? Oh, what's that in the water, too? A little Vaporeon. That's, that's cool. The yeah, outbreak's over here a little bit more. I found a wild outbreak of. a mass outbreak of wild Dragalgate. Did I? Where? Oh, they're in the water, are they? Are they? Oh, hey. Hey, bud. <laughs> Big fishy boy. So, Wild Outbreak. I was doing some of this last night. It's basically just, they, they just keep spawning. Feels like it's more or less endless. Well, no, no, it's not endless. It does end. But, like, like it's like, you get, like, I want to say, like, at least a hundred or something. You get a lot of them. Uh, the best way to get through them is just to be able to auto-battle your way forward. Uh, unfortunately for me, I don't think I can do that because none of my Pokemon are going to obey me or have a good type matchup here. Yeah, see? Here's the Dragalge. They're all just living out here. I'm not, I'm not going to be able to catch him, and I'm not really going to be able to kill him either. Like, go get him! Go get him! It's not really going to work. Uh, there was another mass outbreak over here I can check out. Big fish in Little Pond. I think there was another one over here. There it is. Please get the Vaporeon? Uh, I'm not gonna be able to. No, it'll, it'll take an ordeal. They seem to come, to, to come and go anyway, so like it's fine. I'm not too fussed. We can just go back and catch a lot of that stuff later. Dive ball. Oh, this is going to be in the water. I don't think I'm going to be able to hunt him at all. Here's a Vaporeon outbreak. They're just all hanging out. <laughs> so many. Council. Gumi squads, they live all around here too. Still a lot of Pokemon I just haven't seen. But, like, I know we're in this game because, like, I've seen them from trailers and shit. 
Probably gonna take an age to find. What? Right. It's trying to pick up my items. Well, let's see. You seem to get duplicate TMs even as you explore. That one didn't even give me a crafting recipe for it. I don't think items respawn. I think they are just you pick them up once and you got them. I'm, I'm excited to see what a speedrun of this game looks like. I think it's going to be very fun. They do respawn, do they? Oh, okay. So I don't need to be- t I don't need to like, fuss too much about like, collecting every single item in his own then. Oh, maybe out in those islands is like, higher levels of stuff? That makes sense. There's a lot of TMs too. Hop out to the island, see what's going on over here. North Paldean Sea. Who's living out here? <laughs> He's gone. Well, I can hear him. He's here. Doesn't want to be. I guess he's gone. I guess he's gone. He moved over there, apparently. Okay, we'll get back to Team Starden. Let's go. So we're tracking down all the blue spots. I think. So there's, there's two over here. Uh, let's get, let's get this guy next. Can I fly there yet? No. <laughs> I haven't even visited most of the Pokemon centers. Like, my route is all over the place. Oh yeah, let's get them and then we can get them. Sure. I got these spots. Have you beaten the guy yet? Yep. Yeah, we beat him, started the stream. Let's heal on up. Yeah, we're gonna do all the team star. And then we'll debate getting our third batch. going. There's still, like, battles all over the place, but, like, I think the levels are gonna be, like, out of whack. I don't know how many of these I need to do right now. <laughs> like, let's see what level Pokemon Sarah's got. Yeah, it's level 35. <laughs> like, it's only got one Pokemon, because that's considered a strong one. It's hard to tell where I'm supposed to train. <laughs> Trainers really do feel optional this time around. It's quite, it's, it's a bit wild. The main reason to fight them is honestly just to get money. Oh, they're down here. Let's see, like, the little concert. <laughs> yeah, it's working as a dead. Back up, kid. You can't just casually waltz in here like you're one of us stars that run the joint. If you want, if you want in, ring the bell over by the entrance and storm the base like a decent person. Okay, sorry. Oh no, they kicked me out! They kicked me out, I'm gonna have to go around this area.
Who? Thank you for the thousand bits. A very happy birthday to you. Hope you're having a good one. Yeah, we just gotta gotta just blip around here. Oh, they are citizens heavily frowned upon unlawful entry. It really seems it, yeah. You are, you are not welcome. Okay, let's register this Pokemon Center. I think they're just registered by... Yeah, if you just like, even walk on their area, that's enough to register them. It's like bits of this whole mind system that we haven't even seen too. There's gonna be so much to explore. Once we get quick balls, we start. I'm gonna buy like a thousand of them. Hey, where, where's the point of lawful entry for here? Here it is. Oh, it is Mimikyu, bless. Yeah, well, I see you've applied, like, filed the proper paperwork before entering. Oh. Just crash landed him. This is where all the Grafi- the, the Grafi- like, graffiti guys live, too. You can see all the Americans uh, on the trees. It's cool. There's Peter Griffin. In his element. Okay. We're gonna reload it real quick just to help with the old memory leak. That, uh, for some reason they haven't patched yet. Just what you gotta do. Oh, should be okay. Does it actually help? Yeah, it does. Yeah, the game is great. It's just a shame that <laughs> performance <laughs> and shit. And it needs some polishing. Mechanics in that are actually fantastic, though. I, I love the open world format for this. So we're braving it. See? Runs way better now. You steal these items. Oh, hello, gang. The oh, I forgot to ring the door, I think, still. Hang on, I gotta go back for it. You don't buzz in, Team Star won't see you. Wait, is that even right? Is that What the fuck are they? Over here somewhere. Oh no, this this is just a different point that they've got. What are they doing over here? Can I talk to them? This is the home for Team Star dropouts. Operation Starfall, you've declared war. Not really any of our business, it's not like we talked to the folks in charge. Anyway, thanks for coming. I haven't really got much to welcome a guest with, but here. Oh sweet, a new hat! They dropped out of the rogue student body. Who are themselves dropouts, I think. So they're, they're a dropout dropout. All this shit. Pick up that. Just poke about everywhere. I'm gonna just step on them all if I'm not careful. Uh, 
Yeah, that's good old Dunsparce. He's doing his best. He's really been robbed of his evolution. Really been robbed. Ah, it's you, Lettuce. Director Clavel. Okay. I see you have been accepted to Operation Starfall. What's your endgame? The answers, that's all. How do I resolve the situation with Team Star and what's causing this member's odd behavior? Team Star is subject to a, a, more than a few nasty rumors swirling around the academy, you know. Some say their bullying has caused a worry, worrying number of students to drop out of school. I'll just say they're holed up in their bases, plotting to cause trouble for the academy. They're an armed militia, basically, as far as this country is concerned. Like, Jesus, you gotta be careful. We've all been skipping classes for a while now. Five of them in particular, the so-called bosses of Team Star, having so much to set foot inside a classroom for over a year. It seems the team's rank and, fi and file have recently started stirring up mischief as well. But I took it upon myself to issue a direct order to Team Star to disband. Inform that should they refuse, I would have no choice but to expel all students affiliated with the team. I'm afraid there's been no response. The deadline is set for them to make their choice between dissolution or expulsion is nigh upon us. So you see, when I overheard you talking on the phone to uh, Cassiopeia, it couldn't have come at a better and more crucial time. Oh. Another time, then. Be careful. He's just gallivanting around this world. I don't know why he's still in the skies. He doesn't need to be. I see you're coming up to one of Team Star's bases. Was there someone with you just now? <laughs> no, it's just me. You warn the Team Star will have its guard up after losing one boss to you already. The base won't go down as easily as the last one. Okay, but are you sure? Are you sure about that? Because something tells me I've done the hard one first again. <laughs> I want to see the boss of the Navi Squad. Take me to Don Axius? Like I said, kid, the boss told me not to let any outsiders pass these gates. That includes you. I don't care. I'm not leaving until you t let me talk to Don Atius. Like this, the balls on this, like, five-year-old child. <laughs> Give me a break, you little doofus. Let's go say hello. Here oh, great. Here comes another rando to ruin my day. And the grunt work for Team Star Newbies would be this much mature. Well, Mr. Grant, I think this girl might be Lettuce. Hey, Lettuce, that kid who picked a fight with Team Star. <laughs> Prepare to be raided. Your lands are mine now. Everyone else in the base is still asleep since we were up all, all last night playing video games. So that's a mood right there. Leave it to me, Mr. Grant. I'll buy some time for you to go wake up the others. What's, it, what's in it for you? Don will be in danger if there's no one here to defend the base. Why is this child on their side? I owe that man my life, he's my dear compadre. Like, dude, you're like, you're six. <laughs> How are you so in debt? When crisis calls, no one has choice but to rally to those dear to him, no matter the cost. Child has seen wars. But bring it on. Let's fight this child. Pokemon trainer Yusef. Oh, God love him, he's probably gonna be destroyed here. Level 30. <laughs> oh no, the Don! He's in danger! Don't worry, I got one, I got my Prime player left. He's got a fucking trudel. <laughs> this poor kid just set his Pokemon on fire. He didn't stand a chance. I don't think I need the life orb anymore as well. I think I can remove that. 
Give me your money, small child. He's bullying the group of bullied dropouts. It, it is a kind of bad image, isn't it? And like, like the principal is like living for it as well. Like he's actually taking pleasure in just like cracking down on this gang of students. Like no, no wonder they dropped out. The original staff's like, like, like decision to deal with how they were being bullied was to all resign and not address the issue. The current staff is just gonna like terrorize their pets. Back up this whole time. I'm not a member of Team Star, but Don is my compadre. I'll see him no matter what. Oh, clear, you have your reasons. Six-year-old child. Let us, I like to ask this boy some questions. You go ahead and get started on the base. Nice work deal on the get with the guard. That when that base lies, Team Star's poison crew. Uh, their boss, uh, Atticus, designs, uh, the outfits for the team. You can see he's clever hands. The guy's also a bit of an eccentric. You never tell what he's going to do next. So, since it's beyond us to predict how he'll respond to our declaration of war, take as many of the squad's Pokemon to as you can until they show her face. Okay, same thing again. Same thing again. Oh, I know why it was default in my Pokemon. It's because most of my Pokemon don't obey me in the Let's Go mode. <laughs> None of these do. That's why it was doing that. I'm only gonna have two Pokemon this time. It's because they don't obey me still. Oh, God. You don't have enough Pokemon that will obey you, so you can't challenge Team Star. It's not gonna let me. That's what- that's what it was. Oh, no. Okay, uh, we'll put Gelato away for a little while. Uh, we'll bring- we'll bring out Pumpkin. Bring out Pumpkin. Actually, maybe we could make this interesting for this next one. Hang on. What if we put away this in the entire team right now? Bring Taffy for- for just moral support. Nutella, Pumpkin. Get noodles in there. We can take Mr. Minecraft. I think Mr. Minecraft obeys us. Um, that should be enough. That should be enough. Can I change your team before fighting the boss, though? Oh, we can get through it. We can get through it. I, I believe in the gang. Maybe I should take one more. Maybe I should take one more. Okay, we'll, we'll bring the Yeastle uh, for for model support too. Okay, uh, we're gonna Nintello's gonna take the charge. The team is very pink. It, it is, yeah, it's like pink and red, a lot of them. Broccoli's one of the standouts. Yeah, let's get him. Some kid lucked out beating one of our sister squads and now she thinks she can take us on. Time to give her the boot gang. Okay, 30 minutes again. So you, you get a generous amount of time. It's all poison type this time. Get him, Nutella! We got Kafai eyes and things. 
Go, Nutella. I think Nutella is just gonna hard carry it. She's just slapping everything down. A pumpkin's getting hurt. Uh, could you throw out some more Pokemon, gang? Go get him, Wiglet! <laughs> he looks so weird while he's moving. He's fucking sliding. Go get him! Uh, Pommy is really badly hurt. Can I still send them out? Yeah, they, they, they can still do a little more. It's enough to finish the job. Get him, Nutella. <laughs> He's way above our level. We gotta get the boss. <laughs> Most of the trainers in this game have had that philosophy. Barely made it in time, you only had eight minutes to spare. Okay, let's get them. They have a car. They, I think they all have a car. That was a close one. <laughs> is the car a Pokemon? The engine on the front of it is, yeah. It'll take a while to load there. <laughs> Pray forgive my sudden entry. It is I, uh, Atticus. You're that scoundrel lettuce, I take it. There's some nerve bearing, bearing your fangs at Team Star. Come then, villainous wretch. A plunge into grim poison shall be your well deserved fate. And guard. Atukus. Atuki Wuki. Atokus. English major. Get him, Nutella. I'm a punch of weights, the wreck. A plague on your house. I'm not talking like a person. What do we do? Get him, Nutella! Fuck him up! Sir, so moves can poison with a mere graze. Fremble scoundrel for thy Pokemon's sake. Like, dude, I've got a poison Pokemon as well! Oh, he's not. <laughs> not hitting very good, though. Okay, yawn at him! Nutella is fighting for his life right now. I need, to I need to teach him a better ground type move. It's quite sad right now. <laughs> Get him, Nutella! You get mud on the car. <laughs> He's gonna be very upset. I have to fight the car come the end, I believe. Beat him down, Nutella. Just two more mud shots. We'll be faster soon with all the speed drops. Still not quite there. Let's get him. I love how he's just sitting there while he's like they've got this massive vehicle. Tella's just having none of it. Better send out Rever Room. Uh, Rever Room is times uh, two week. 
Is this what the engine evolves into? Like the small one. It's also what's on the front of the car. Oh, that's bad. It's got an additional engine. Um, I have Minecraft, but I don't know how good Minecraft's gonna be here. God, my team, my team's not very good here, is it? <laughs> I don't think I have anything. Okay, time for the flight of the Eastle. Let's get him. Okay, you just got a sword stats. There you go. Uh, and everything is kind of terrible from here. <laughs> I think it's gonna be a times four versus. I think Thrash is probably the best one. No, ye still. No! Come on, you can get him! He began to nap, no! <laughs> He'll get through every battle's a slot machine. This car's second engine is really starting to hurt us. Get him, ye still. There you go. About to send out muck. Keep current Pokemon. I'm hoping if it's locked in the strap, the thrash, um, it means I won't have the chance like it obeying or not again. No, I do. <laughs> no, and it's just confused if it fails. He still no. He still is confused. Get him. He's got another engine. Oh, this is his car. Give me a taste of my own poison. Fie, I will fight on till the better end. Bitter end. I think he's an art student. Get him, ye still! It's alright, he's already confused, so he can't confuse himself again. Punch the car! <laughs> Guts is activated, but I don't think Guts is gonna help us here, especially if we die. I want the E still to do this. I believe. Car is level 32. This is a weaker car compared to the one we've already taken down. Get him, ye still. Oh god, he's got his spikes. That's an interesting ability. Oh, is that Rubber Room's like base ability? That's a really interesting one. I like that. You can get a stage hazard just by being hit. Get him, ye still! We have defeated another car. Yeah, that's a really interesting ability. I kind of like that. I hope base Reverend Room gets that. Car has been defeated. Forgive me, my friends. Now we get another traumatic flashback. He had his hood down still. Forgive me, it took a goodly time to procure the required materials. Oh, sick, these boots are insane. 
And he has to move flame charge with my muse for those particular pieces. That outfit is everything I imagined it would be. Thank you so much. I really wish to create a costume worthy of the great infernal airy. It aligns with your vision and I am content. The outfit upgrades all wrapped up then. Thanks a ton. Tushi Wooshkus. Were you two looking like absolute beasts? Anyone who crosses us will be sweating bullets. So good at these sorts of crafty things. Omogus. Those people bullying you cause you geek out because you geek out over old fashioned stuff or out of our minds. The way of the ninja is rough and fraught with thorns. Neither expect nor desire sympathy from the unrefined rabble. Oh well, someone's getting fired up! Watch out, world! Our table has fighting words. You know, listen to the haters. A Tupperware container. I think you're really cool. All right, gang. Let's move on to the next step. Try to put our backs into our battle training, so we're all prepared for Operation Star. We've got to be stronger than everyone else on the team. That's what being a boss means. Indeed, it does. Henceforth, I would devote myself, my, myself, heart, and soul to honing my battle skills. For the sake of our team, I will give my very heart and soul, but I cannot defy the rules. The code must be obeyed. Though this badge is mine to keep no more. I entrust it to thy care. Like, peace in our time once again. The land is no longer being terrorized. Oh, yeah, gunk shot. A TM-102. Oh, there's, there's more than 100 TMs now, yeah. I guess because they had technical records and TMs before. But I guess now it's all TMs, yeah. All TMs are breakable. Which is kind of annoying, honestly. I don't like that. I kind of wish they just kept TMs as, like, you can use them forever. But, I guess they want, they have to do something to, like, balance or crafting or whatnot. It's a bit weird. You've utterly best me, but thy victory stirred no bitterness within me. Such was its brilliance. Don a toadstool. A compadre. These little fellows went down to speak with you face to face. Donatushus, please hear what I have to say. Only in a moment. I came to help you. If you don't start going to class again. You'll be expelled from the academy, right? The other kids at school and I were getting bullied real bad. You and the rest of the team stars saved us. As that operation you carried out, we were all able to go to school again. We got expelled for being the good guys. That'd be the worst thing ever. Forgive me. I haven't you heard anything from the big boss? And we've heard not a whisper since that fateful day. But the big boss, Team Star, cannot carry on. Uh, the team, the bright and merry student life we seek lies beyond our reach. No choice but to defend our bases till the big boss returns to us. Evidently trust this big boss here is a great deal. Who exactly are they? Sure not one of us has met them in the flesh. For their own word, they are recluse. As with the rest of us, it would seem bullying was to blame. It's awful. But our name and face are unknown to us. They are nonetheless our precious comrade. Only chose choices to maintain our vigils from the bases awaiting the day of their return. Okay, place your bets. Who do we think the boss is? Someone who went to Galar, you think Leon's gonna come back and it's like, I hate it, this country. <laughs> That's why you don't go to school. But still, don't ever think that Team Star is all that you you have, Don Atticus. You've got a lifelong compadre in me. Don't you forget us. Your compadre. Oh, you're a great debt. He's one step, step closer to the troop behind Team Star's uh, truancy and the bullying at the academy. More importantly, I can't believe I had no idea about these issues the students are struggling with. The friendships they hold dear and reasons for acting as they do. I just couldn't see it. It's shameful how oblivious I've been. But I believe Team Star to be the one and only treasure in my life. He thinks I may have been mistaken. <laughs> Imagine it's Arvin. <laughs> Like, Ar Arvin's just out to get society, yeah. It's like, I need to make my dog better, but I also need to bully everyone. Lettuce is me. I take it that Don has been slain, I see. That the boss has been taken down, the Navi Squad's day are numbered. Atticus. Sorry, I got distracted for a second there again. Got your reward. Transfer some LP over over your phone. It's promised. 
Now make more TMs. Supply rap comes to see us. Oh. What the heck? Hey, stop that. You're licking the air near my face. Somebody help! Has Sussiopia. <laughs> no. It's them, Your Honor. They did it. What even is that Pokemon? I have no idea. It makes you so calm with a giant question mark of a Pokemon at your side. Or I forget, here's your reward. Give me those materials. You're part of Operation Starfall's battle unit. Can I ask you something? What do you think of Team Star? Uh, I mean, I've destroyed two of the cars without much difficulty so far. Interesting. You know, some of the rumors say Team Star wasn't always a bunch of delinquents. Most of them used to be victims of bullying. Oh, they just found it hard to interact with people. And these misfits and outsiders found each other and banded together to form Team Star. All they wanted to do was push back against the bullies they couldn't face alone. That's just the info I got by hacking other students' social media accounts. Oh, okay, Penny, that, that seems a bit unnecessary, but sure. That's, that seems a bit much. <laughs> there was no need to hack their account. I also found out about some secret mastermind behind the five bosses. Someone who recruited them to the team in the first place. I don't normally talk this much, now my throat kind of hurts. Good luck with taking down the other bo bases and stuff. Jesus Christ, Penny. There was no need for that. Why did she hack him? Penny just wants to see the world burn. Yeah, I'm just a quick look about here too, because yeah, it's gonna be an item or two. Pearl string. List of TMs has been upgraded. Poison Terror Shard. I've gotten a few of them. I'm assuming they're like something to do with changing like the terror type. I haven't actually found where to use them or anything yet though. Okay, we can now explore this expanse. Uh, without hitting the invisible barrier. Oh, sweet apple. Yeah, that's for, um, dragon apple. Venom at. Okay, uh, do we want the Yeastle to just take on Team Star, then? <laughs> I suppose we can. Yeastle might be better equipped to do it compared to some of the team. I think the next one is going to be harder. Spikes. So much just shit everywhere. I just want to grab it all. The primitive like gamer brain is just like sparkly. Phantom Force. Oh, that used to be like Giratina's secret move, didn't it? There's Grafai. Little graffiti lemur. <laughs> Daffy's lying in like fucking ambush for this one. I'll see if I can weaken it. I'm gonna see if I can weaken it. Hang on. Get him, Taffy! I can actually catch this one! It's level 30! The odds aren't stacked against me! It's in the badge range! It might be easier! Put up a fight. I would love to get Thunder Wave on, but it's unlikely. Holy shit, a usable Pokémon! 
Never thought I'd see the day. Okay, up the ball. Will 30 obey it yet? 30 is the only one that'll obey me. That's my, like my max. I can actually use this. <laughs> Toxic monkey Pokemon. The color of the poison saliva depends on what the Pokemon eats. Your fire eye covers its fingers and its saliva and draws patterns on trees and its forests. Okay, well, I mean, it's actually usable. We do. I do want to evolve Minecraft, though. I do want to evolve Minecraft. Just put it away for now. Crow gang, we're done, Sparks. I always want Dun Sparks to get like a sick dragon evolution or something. I always thought he deserved that. We got the other kind of apple as well for the guy. Okay, uh, yeah, let's just go for the next one. They're, they're over here. What's the best way for me to get over? I think it's just walk. It's just walk. Set that as the destination first. As the bird flies. All this too. Comet charts are really good. I, I can sell them for a shitload of money. Up we go. Uh, we'll fly over in a mo. I think. There we go. Give me this. Experience Candy L. Oh, that's gonna be the big one then. I could probably boost something up if I want to with that. I think that will actually give like quite a bit. Yeah, we want to make like Nutella like more powerful. Here you go, Natalo. Natalo's been with us a long while. There we go, level 31. I think it's more of a physical hitter than a special. Stop off here. Even past the murder of Murkrows. We'll get him later, don't worry. Dan, please, you have a mystery gift? I'll I'll get it later. It's fine. It's, it doesn't matter. Say it as if like the world's gonna fucking implode if I don't pick it up now. Yeah, it's like the you get like a Pikachu or some shit, like if if you have the game now. Dan, I will die. Pick it up or else. Okay, I need I need to see. Can I teach Nutella anything? I need like a ground type attack for him. Uh, I also need stuff for the Yeastle. Uh, we probably want to get like an actual fighting type move. Get rid of the throat chop. Poison jab, it already knows that. I think maybe I, I can craft it. I, I got a lot of parts. I have a lot of this LP. This mud slap, it's not quite it. 
go through them. Like, see everything we can make. Mud shots. Not, not what we want. We already have that. It's no good. This dig. It's not ideal. Slim pickings for like just ground type attacks. A waterfall is just a TM. That's so weird to see to me. That's so weird. Body press. Drill run? Okay. No, we can't learn that. Never mind. Horror spheres is TM. Wow, they've really added a lot. There's a lot of weird ones now. Surface TM, that's always gonna be weird to me. That just looks weird. That looks so weird. Earth power, oh, I want it physical. Earth power is the only one he can learn. Watch? Oh, you can bookmark it if you're, like, you're working towards something. Name, power, sorted by category? Oh, is so that sorted by like physical or special? I'm surprised you can't sort by type. Uh, that seems like a missed one. Maybe you can relearn something? Oh, you can press the L and R button. Okay, right. Dan is so blind. <laughs> well, I, I missed a feature of the game. I just idiot streamer. I missed a feature. I guess we get dig. It's better than nothing. Sweet. We can teach a dig. He doesn't know every feature of this game inside out that he only purchased tomorrow. I'm going to unsubscribe. <laughs> oh, he only purchased yesterday. Yesterday. I haven't even bought the game. I haven't even bought it yet. Minor grammar mistake. You lose. I win. Goodbye. <laughs> Streamer is getting old. Oh, it's one of these things again. Yeah, sure, let's just pull it. No idea what they do. <laughs> but there seems to be a few of them. There's just like a hole in that mountain. I think it's supposed to be a crystal. This looks like it might actually be like the higher level area I was looking for before. Go over here. I wish they didn't make it so your glider plummets at the end. <laughs> it could be a lot cooler if they uh, didn't do that. Look in here. They're over here somewhere. We got like a little secret swamp. Oh, it's a bamboo forest. That's cute. More Heracross living out here. Oh, the boys! The 
back. It's the lads. Yeah, it, uh, I, I can try and catch them. I think I'm gonna have a tough time catching them, honestly. I got paralysis on pumpkin. Oh no, 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 no! <laughs> no, he's okay. <laughs> he's okay. It could have ended badly. The level 52. Yes, this is definitely like a later game area. Oh, Jesus. Thankfully, this is guaranteed paralysis. Let's go in the taffy just to tank a hit or two. Jesus Christ, even the size difference. You can fit all of them under that hammer. You can just kill them all in one go. I think a Gigaton hammer won't kill. It's strong, but it won't kill. You still have like a bad nature on Taffy. Come on, Taffy! <laughs> There we go. That should do. Oh, Jesus, they actually have a move to raise every single stat. That's actually crazy. No longer escape because he used no retreat. Let's go. Gotta bring the boys home. Absolutely one of the coolest Jedi Pokemon they added. It's just these guys. I love them. Oh. Boys, why? Let us love you. It's like, please. We just want to be reunited! Stop resisting our love! Thank you. The boys have been acquired. Uh, but in keeping with the naming scheme, hang on. They are going to be this time. Uh, the Bean Boys. They're incredible. Worse nature. Oh god. Well, into the box you go. You get their sweat as a collectible. Oh. Yeah, pretty good. God, if we catch Tratini here, that actually might be an instant Dragonite with the level. Because everything around here is like already so insanely strong. But try it. Get him. Yeah, level 52, it evolves at level 55 into Dragonite. Three levels and it's like instant Dragonite. It's pretty good. I already 
has Dragon Dance too, it's cool. Yeah, this could be really good if it actually listens to us. Let's try catch it. Let's go from here. Big if. I mean, we've got everything we set our sights on so far. You know, we're never going to be punished. Like, we beat Arvin when half our team didn't even listen to us. Just remember. I don't think you know who you're dealing with here, gang. <laughs> Sounds so full of myself. Oh, Pumpkin's dead. Uh, I can try weaken it with Taffy. Fairy type and steel means it should be a good enough resist. Okay. You got it. Got to get in the attack, Taffy. There you go. Oh, Taffy is just listening to us today. Thank you, Taffy. Taffy's a dragon fighter. That's what the hammer is for. <laughs> I don't. Th I don't know if it can hit us. I'm hoping it can. The Golduck in the back is me. <laughs> He's just fucking watching. I was hoping I'd get it there, because that Pokeball is really starting to lag. <laughs> the game does not like having the battle here. I don't think I can use another knockoff. It really can't hurt us though, I don't think it has anything. Come on. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Oh, give, give me my free Dragonite. I had to work hard, I had to climb that hill for this. What's going on with those guys in the background? Fucking slacking, like jab it out. <laughs> oh my god, the performance is horrendous right now. Game can't handle weather that well. Slacking's calmed down a bit. Look, he heard me. No, Dratini getting the ball. I, I really don't think I can hurt it. I think it'll be like down to max min damage. It's like right on half. I can keep trying to use Thunder Wave. Maybe I can get it back for a while. Might as well. It'll increase the odds. Taffy is just on point today.
I do have some timer balls. I can try them now. Thank you. <laughs> the game is really struggling with that fight. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, we got Tratini. People want me to call it Martini. I mean, that's cute. Martini the Dragonite too. Oh shit, a good nature! Oh shit! <laughs> I never thought I'd see the day! I think that might be a team member. I think that might be like an instant team member. <laughs> It's like, you have, like, a decent nature that isn't, like, crippling your best stats? Welcome aboard. Welcome aboard. We need you on this team. He still won't obey me. Hang on, so what? what's, like, the super team looking like? Let's see. God almighty, we've got like a all-out fucking cast. Even if we go with this gang. Holy shit, like look at the power level of everything on this team. I normally try to go into like a Pokemon game with like my team and that like a bit more relaxed. But like I think here like it's worked out that like it's just absolutely busted. Everything here is like remarkably strong when it gets going. It's just a shame that only two of the team actually obey me. <laughs> it's a real shame. Yeah, and we have a shiny. We do have a shiny, yep. Yeah. It's fucking powerhouse team. Don, thanks for a thousand bits. Dan, why does your stream tell us that you have no gym badges when you have two? False advertising like a true capitalist. It's because I didn't know how to communicate the fact that nothing obeys me on my team. So I thought that would be the best way. The main thing is, like, nothing obeys me. And, like, we're just ignoring the gym challenge. Like, wow, he's really changed. Okay, let's just get like our quick and easy Dragonite here. If we can. <laughs> we can just like acquire one. I think, are we gonna have like, oh, we have one bit of type overlap. Bug fighting, ground fighting. I think that's it though. I think that's the only overlap we have. We were very close on it. Okay, if I use all these, that's another level. And then we pop a rare candy. And that's a Dragonite. I deserve this. <laughs> okay, now we can probably teach this like a shitload of moves. I also learned Hurricane. Uh, no, we, we do not want Hurricane. Give it, like, a super powerful build. God, like, yeah, God, like, this team is busted. I think the only- Weirdly, I think the only one we would cons even consider swapping is the Yeastle. That's the only one I'd consider, even though that's a shiny.
Because like all of these ones are giant and he's he's just not big enough. He's just not big enough. Squad is look like like look at the power level across these five Pokemon. <laughs> Absolute titans. Yeah, this is probably like the most stacked team I think I've ever had playing a Pokemon game. Base stat total is probably very high too. Like, I mean, these are six hundreds. I imagine this is quite high. Picnic time. I, I, I'll get a picnic in in just a mo. I'm just gonna get away from this little area because it's lagging so badly. Yeah, I'll take another fire blast. Get up to the petrol station here. Pick up our free points by interacting with that. Oh shit, there was just Dragonite here! They're just flying about. That's crazy. I mean, ours is like perfect nature though, right? So I think ours might be better. I think ours might be better in this case. People work here of all places to have like a petrol station. It's pretty uh it's pretty far out, ain't it? And yeah, there, there's the base over there too. Uh what can we teach Martini? Remember moves. As Dragon Dance already, it could just get outrage. It can get extreme speed? Oh my god, like, they, okay, this gets everything. Holy shit. <laughs> we can just make this, like, I, I, I can just remake my competitive set, I think, with this. Dragon Dance, Outrage, Extreme Speed, and then, like, one other move for coverage. Probably pop like Thunder Punch on it. Probably want actually you probably want Fire Punch, but but we yeah we we already have a Fire type. We do already have a Fire type. We don't have a, like Thunder on anything. Maybe that's something we can keep an eye out for. We still don't have Mareep. Maybe that's like ultimately what we replace uh, the Easter with. We just get Mareep on the team. Uh, this is so stacked. <laughs> uh, the only other thing we need is to get like its hidden ability. Rearrange moves. How I would normally do it is like that. Uh, let me uh, rearrange moves here too. For some reason, I, I always like having the status move as like my third option. Sometimes, if it's like same type as the Pokemon, they go up top. It's just how like, this is what my brain finds satisfying. Weird move is always like the third one. You can see I've done it there too. Will O Wisp is in the third slot. Thunder Wave in the third slot. R Rapid Spin in the third slot. Uh, here. It's gonna, it's gonna happen again. Like, sword stance, you gotta go in that third slot. Okay. Let's get, let's get the picnic, yeah. Let's see it. Let's just see the team. Oh, he can't host one here. Come on out, gang. <laughs> Look at the fucking giants. We still have Koriden as well here. Koriden's just here as like mount duty. 
It's a lot of big boys. Yeah, like everything's fucking massive. Here's the yeast still. Got like a lot of pink and red across the team too. How is Karine overshad overshadowed? Like, I don't know. Yeah, we have like so many giants. I've really grown to like the, the new Don fan. I, I'm, I'm not really a fan of Don fan usually. Not a Don fan. Uh, but like this new form of it is really cool. I know there's a different one in Violet that they showed in like the trailers. You get like the robot one. Personally, I, I, I prefer this one. I think I prefer this one. I think this just looks a lot cooler. It's just a really cool design for the Pokemon. I feel like it should be like a third evolution or something to that. I love how this guy just sleeps as well. It's having a rest. I think Taffy here may be my favorite like new gen Pokemon. Might be my favorite. I'll, I just love the design. I wish she'd just listened to me in battle. <laughs> I think at some point too I might shiny hunt one of these. I kind of want to see what it's like. So you can tell, that's how you can tell like I like a Pokemon. I might make that one a shiny. Dragonite is such a classic design. Dragonite's probably my favorite, like, Gen 1 Pokemon. It's weird, I've actually got, like, a weird amount of favorites. Like, uh, Tyranitar is definitely my favorite Gen 2. I do love Mareep, but, like, Tyranitar has been, like, my boy for years. I've used him on, like, so many competitive teams. I've actually got, like, so I've got, like, three favorites, at least, from, like, Gens. Gen 1, 2, and, like, 9, I guess. You have a thing for pseudo-legendaries. I don't think this one's a pseudo-legendary, though. I don't think this one is. Dragonite's just awesome. I love Tyranitar. Yeah, it's not. Your Dodd fan's great, too. Yeah, I think I think looking at it, we probably replace the Yeastal at some point. We'll keep the Yeastal for now, of course. We'll keep him for now, of course, because, like, I mean, it's a shiny Heracross. I think we've done well enough to even find that. But we will shiny on again at some point. The yeast still isn't beefy enough. Like, that's the thing. Like, if we've got, like, a giant monster aesthetic. Like, like it, you need to be fucking massive to be on this team. <laughs> Taffy sneaks in just by virtue of her hammer. <laughs> Look at the fucking size of the hammer. It's as big as Tyranitar. I can't get over that, like, the, the proportions. That hammer is as big as this Pokemon. It's insane. Everyone's having a nap. Okay, uh, let's make a sandwich for the gang. Come on. Creative mode. Gonna make a ham and egg sandwich with a single pickle. That's, that's kind of sad. Okay, next. Just gonna use some butter. Just butter. And yeah, we still gotta put the red flag in. We're actually playing this how the devs want. I don't know why the table shakes randomly. We gotta make sure we use all our ham. Stick like an extra bit in there. It's gonna be a fucking beefy sandwich. I didn't mean to put this many egg in, I think. It's a lot of egg. 
I don't think the pickle compliments this at all as well, like... <laughs> Probably shouldn't be pickle in here. But the bread- No, it all fell! It's all falling! <laughs> no! <laughs> oh, god damn it! I actually tried to make that one, too. I tried to make- <laughs> Oh, it's awful! All the eggs started fucking vibrating. Why is the table shaking? <laughs> oh god! Also, this fucking animation. A tasty lettuce original. <laughs> I think they're all a lettuce original. Okay. We'll have to get some more sandwich supplies next time we're back in town. Good fucking lord. <laughs> oh, how you doing? Gladys. Hey, Director Clavel. Okay, I think this is the same as before. Yeah, we're trying to resolve the situation. They're not coming to school. I'm to disband for good. Try to get some success and open up a dialogue with Team Star. I'm starting to understand things more clearly. I don't have enough information just yet. But I want you to speak with students from Team Star's other squads as well. Okay, let's go. Have you beaten Arvin? Yes. A lot of people just like hopping in the stream just now. I keep seeing the question pop up. We beat him. First thing we did today. Oh, there's like good shit items here too. I kind of want to explore that some more. Okay, let's go. Let's go in with like our like beefed up super squad here. Pretty skilled. My trainers could try off my Pokemon's attacks like that. Same to you, Eri, was it? Your Pokemon have clearly spent a lot of time honing their moves. Surprised to find the boss herself out here defending the gates. Can you trust your grunts enough to put him on guard duty? Watch your mount. Here because I don't want to risk anyone else getting hurt, that's all. The benevolent boss. Now if you want to get on with our battle, I'm already on my side. Hey, how's it going? Lettuce, there you are. They're talking to this girl since she looked like she was in t she was with Team Star. And she and her Pokemon came at me without warning. We were just battling it out. Riri, I knew you'd be here. Carmen, you okay? You're not hurt, are you? Fine, honestly, now get away from here. It's not safe. Taking over guard in the base, Riri. You should get back inside. Having problems with their position in here. She just cares for all the students. That's all it is. It's not like she's jeopardizing this part of the countryside or anything. This boss is squad, I just can't. Here, please, I'm your friend. Listen to what I'm saying. Fine, I'll go. Sorry, Caravan. No way to sign off. Let me hear a hasta la vista from you. Get hostile the V star. I want Arnie to be like the head honcho. It's just like the actual Terminator is like the, the final guy in charge. And that's why they picked like hostile the V star. Hostile the V star. I'm your opponent now, you two. Come on, I'll take you both down. Your last Pokemon are actually running on empty. Clive, you're, you're no help. I can't handle this grunt alone. I need your help. <laughs> I just gotta go. Lavelle is useless. Okay, let's go. What level are we dealing with? 
Get him, Pepper. 54. I think this is... This is higher level than the last one. Let's go. We're actually going to be at close to equal level once we get in here. We got a primate. Okay, Taffy. You can take this one. Taffy the sociable. I don't think any of our Pokemon got marks yet. I think it's just Taffy. Okay, go get him. Uh, actually, no, we need to save that for the, for the boss. Come on, Taffy. No. Come on, Taffy, you can smack him. She's loafing. Oh, God. <laughs> Taffy, no. Sorry, we can still get him. I think with Bug, we'll resist fighting. Go. Get him, Yeastle. Forgot to give him a bat. I think that's what it is. The yeast will not obey. No. I guess he got outrage. Get him, you still. Get him. No. Okay, he's locked into outrage. Oh, no. Taffy's already dead, though. Taffy's already dead. Okay, switch to the pretzel. What the fuck? He got a shiny. That's right. <laughs> I love how like people hopping on the stream and just like 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 holy shit! Like how do he do that for like different reasons? Lettuce is on like a fucking anime arc with like ridiculousness for everything we've accomplished at this point. Get him, pretzel. Wait, how's he level sixty three? What do you mean he has no badges? Pretzel, no! Come on, Primeape, just hit yourself. His defense is so low, just any attack will do it. Get him, Pretzel! We're in. Alas, but my defeat's not the one that matters. Even if all I do was buy Riri a bit of time, that's fine. The job here is done, so I'll head back inside. Hasta la vista! You can tell even with that line that they, they really struggled to find something to include the word star in. That's <laughs> like a greeting or a catchphrase. Yeah, yeah, the guard's down. This is where my team starts fighting crew. Their boss, uh, Eri, is a skilled wrestler and coaches the whole of Team Star and Pokemon Battler. Of all the bosses, she'll likely be the most alert to hostilities after our de declaration of war. Yeah, maybe we shouldn't have declared war then. Maybe, that, maybe that's the issue. Okay, yeah, we got him though. You're a tree, we're talking about the same Eri, right? Yeah, we got two more squads to clear. Let's heal up our Pokemon, because God only knows they were hurt. Oh, wait, oh, wait sorry. Yeastle's not dead. I don't need to revive. <laughs> they're, just, they're just looking a bit dead. I'm good to go. Oh. <laughs> oh, hey boys, how you doing? K 
Okay, uh, we need to- we need to take something else. Um, that we're just gonna, like, box. We need to just take something else on the team. Uh, for the upcoming fight. I mean, it's fighting type, so- uh, No, we need broccoli, we need broccoli. We're absolutely gonna need broccoli, what am I talking about? Uh... I mean, Martini's got Mar We gotta use Martini this time. We also get a different Pokeball for everyone in this team. Yes, we did. God, that is... That's really nice. That's really nice. That just worked out that way. Party goals. You gotta bring that times for weakness. I do! I don't have anything else. Okay, Nutella's just here to take on the world. Nutella's like our emotional support Pokemon. Honestly, I- I trust him for that role. Look at this guy. Yeah, Pepper is probably gonna be MVP, at least for the auto battle bit. Um, just because... She can tank anything. Okay, let's go. Team the folks behind Operation Star Fool. Oh, you sure fucking showed us. Okay, ten minutes. Oh, we might- we might get away with some of the auto battle here if they have the ice guy. God, they're hitting a bit harder. Get him, Claude Sire! Tell us putting in fucking work. Yeah, get him to her out of there! God, the party's not looking too good. It's Prime Apes. I might be able to get this one. No. Oh no. <laughs> the party's dwindled. Okay, Pepper, Pepper, you can just tank it. Guide us to victory, Pepper. <laughs> All I need is one Pokemon to get through here. God, they have so much more Pokemon diversity for like this one as well. You can tell even like the layout of this, like they really want this to be like the big ultimate challenge. I think I'm supposed to use more than one Pokemon for it, but times are tough. <laughs> get him, Pepper! I don't think- they haven't actually physically hurt it- hurt Pepper at all. I think it's because they're all fighting types. We absolutely picked the best starter. <laughs> Just hard carry here, yeah. Very generous with the time, too. Not a single point of damage. Job done. I bet she's gonna clean up a little bit extra. <laughs> I don't think we can hold her off much longer, boss. She has like a single ghost type on her team. <laughs> All we have is fighting type attacks. Here we go. We must defeat another car.
Okay, I'm ready. Doesn't matter who you are, I'll bury anyone who tries to take down Team Star. This time I won't run away. In fact, I'm gonna run over you with my automobile. Yeah, let's go. Get him, Taffy. This is precious, though, so I won't let this raid of yours go any further. Level 55. Okay, yeah, we're we're matched. It's basically five on five too, because we got Nutella as one of ours. It's unfortunate she's leading with this. I guess I'm still immune. Nah, uh, fighting type's gonna hit me. If I go, if I terrestrialize now, then like she'll get me with poison. Get her with the hammer, Taffy. Taffy. Give as good as I get. That's a promise. We'll see who's left stand in the end. Come on, Taffy. Oh no, she's bricking us. Okay. Evasive action. Go in the pepper for this one. <laughs> oh no, a ghost type. That's right. There's absolutely nothing you can do. In oh shit. <laughs> All right. All reliable. Really should have willowed. I like how the bird's still locking onto the Pokemon there, too. Let's get him. We got a Lucario. Ooh. Uh. I have Fire Punch now on Martini. It might be time. The latest edition is here. Uh, what's my Terrastalize? Dragon. Okay. We want to get the Dragon Dance. Oh no! <laughs> Bad start. Okay, but if Martini lands this next hit, we're fine. And we're faster now. <laughs> oh god damn it. <laughs> well she landed the next hit, alright. Martini, no! Okay, get him pretzel. You can tank another car. Uh, both of these are good, but Stomping Tantrum in particular, if it fails. There we go. Okay, uh, Passimian. I think that's just pure fighting. Let's stay in here. go pure ground if I want. I don't think that helps, though. Pretzel, no! Oh, if we can get it now, it's a one-shot. Especially with the power boost, because it didn't obey us. No! Oh, the power shot's meaningless if you don't land! Come on, Pretzel, I believe. Okay, it's pretty weak. It's pretty weak. We just need to get something in there. Is it time? 
<laughs> I don't know if Natal I don't know no, this isn't for Natal this isn't Natella's fight. This isn't Natella's fight. Get him, Pepper! Okay, Torch Song. Annihilate. Oh, let's go. This is Primeape's new form. Look at him. This is actually really cool. Sadly for him, I believe he's ghost type. Forever rooms last. I refuse to lose, so please lend me your strength. I will finish it off with like the superpower attack. It's room in time. Just getting ready to run us over now. Oh no, the car is faster! <laughs> oh, there we go. Defense Rose, it's got stamina. Get him, Pepper! We just need a hit to go through. Wait, could it be? This is your moment, Nutella! Okay, we start with the yawn. We start with the- it, No, Nutella got ran over. Okay, right. <laughs> unfortunate. Very unfortunate. Uh, we're actually in a bit of trouble. <laughs> we're running out of Pokemon here. <laughs> okay, Taffy, get us out of this. Just fucking leap at it with your hammer. Oh no, it's faster. Uh, we got Broccoli. Broccoli's times four weak. If it uses a fighting type attack. Do we believe? Do we believe? <laughs> no, no, we don't. We do not believe. <laughs> what if I believe? Oh, <laughs> We got fucking run over. <laughs> let's uh let's quickly do this again. Can't believe we got run like hit by a car. <laughs> Pokedex was updated though. Yeah, we gotta challenge them again. Yeah, thankfully it just lets you jump to the end. We'll get him this time. Where are the Mercedes GLA noise? I mean, the carrot's doing a good enough job there. It's making those. 
Alright, let's get him for realsies. Get him, Taffy! I think actually this time we just move off of this. This thing was just murdering us before. We'll save Taffy for like the end. Just go straight to Pepper. Just fucking annihilate him this time. Yeah, the music's really good whenever you fight these ones, too. It's like so hyped up. Okay. All else fails, we got Pepper. We don't need to mess about. We just need Pepper. I'm gonna Willow, too, around the Sucker Punch. Oh, he's still, he's still gonna go for Sucker Punch, but now it's fine. Now it's fine. Okay, we can get to the car this time, I think. Pepper's just gonna clean sweep him off. Give us, give us two minutes to just, like, annihilate everything. We can take Lucario. Give us even more special attack. That's actually such a good move. You can basically just start sweeping with this thing. I want to see like a competitive build, but you just like max this thing's speed. Even Choice Scarf with this guy would be like potentially quite fearsome. It's basically Moxie, but a move. I think this thing is really good. We're already so strong. I could have even terrestrialized if I want to get even more strength. Like, just torch song into torch song into torch song. Special attack keeps getting higher. I, I'm not even using Shadow Ball. Let's just keep going. <laughs> Not a torch song. <laughs> what about a fucking concert? Please let me your strength. One more time. We got one more musical number of the night. The car is dead. Almost, almost dead. Okay, thank God it's confused. And we're good. This has been a musical number. <laughs> Pepper is strong. About a year and a half ago. Oh, sorry, I think it went a little too far. It's fucking going on with the shadows. Nah, don't worry about it. We're the ones who asked you to put us through some tough battle practice so we can train up. Yeah, but... Truly, you need not apologize, my late... Oh, no. Thanks to thy sage instruction, I am making swift strides towards master in the art of battle. I'd never have evolved my Pokemon without you, Eri. Even the big boss says it's thanks to you that we have a fighting chance against our bullies. See nothing but gratitude. To us, you're the brightest star in the whole team. Come on, quit being silly. Just one thing. 
trained for four whole hours now. I'm totally pooped. Ah, I'm sorry. You really, you should all, all really should take a break. Go for a run while you rest up. Oh, yeah, we have four. We four have each trained in our turn, but you are steadfast mentor. I've rested not once. I cannot help but worry for thy health. This fucking guy. Thank you for your concern at us. But lately, I feel like I can take anything, everything. Anything. Even if I'm really tired, I feel like crying. Remember that time we all got together and riffed on the gym badge designs to create our very own star badges? I don't know what it is, but just looking at my star badge makes me feel so strong. Like I want to give it my all. Give my all, but it wasn't enough. I wasn't enough. Yes, you weren't. Give me your badge, please. Team Star defeated. Oh yeah, we get the TM for close combat. Like, that's crazy. It's actually cra it's so weird to see like that. I know you're part of Operation Starfall. I can tell from our battle that you're not a bad person. The way your Pokemon look at you with such trust gives it away. A are you sure? They don't obey me like half the time. <laughs> oh, there she goes. Looks like it's all over. Oh, Riri. This is the Team Star member you battled at the gates earlier. I asked her to come along for a talk. So what do you want to ask me? You'll be on much friendlier terms than Eri compared to the other grunts. Why is that? Oh, you spotted that. Alright, I don't mind telling you. Here it is, they used to hate Riri. She's an amazing trainer and an athlete, and she's really pretty too. It took, her, it took her no time at all to become popular at the academy. I was queen of the class before she came along, but then everyone liked her more than me. Let me guess, you started to pick on her. Pretty much, I got our classmates to join in too. We were all so stupid. In the end, kids were always fickle, and once one thrill wears off, they look for something new. Before long, the class chose me as their next target and started bullying me instead. I guess I deserved it, but then Riri chose to help me even though I've been so horrible to her. She told me that she understood how hard it is to have no one on your side. She invited me into Team Star. Even after you bullied her like that, what a kind girl. Lavelle's just like, okay, you're expelled. Bully and soft. Bully and soft, you're out of here. Could have prevented all of this. You know how much like in legal fees we're gonna have to pay. Half our students don't attend classes anymore. Team Star aren't the bullies. Here and the rest of Team Star made me who I am today. Please don't take away our greatest treasure. Treasure was friendship all along. It literally was the friends we met along the way. God, it is that cliche. <laughs> it is that cliche. Okay, another star badge. So it's boss, another squad's gone. Now every two. Oh, I've got a lot in my mind right now. Operation Starfall, you've taken out all but two bases, so it's fair to say it's going well. It's like a good time to let you know what we're ultimately aiming to achieve. Our final goal is to defeat the mastermind that first recruited the five squad bosses and created Team Star, the one they call the Big Boss. Who are, who's that? Who knows, they control the five squad bosses from the shadows. That's all anyone can say. Defeat this person and get them to declare the team disbanded. That'll be it for Team Star. Since the Big Boss never set up their own base and keeps their identity hidden, Take it, they're not one for the spotlight. Once all the squad boss are out of action, the big boss will finally have to take the stage. I thought your reward, I'll transfer some LP over to your phone as promised. I mean, I'm assuming it's Cassiopeia, and she has some reason to, like, take them all out. Okay, thanks again, Penny. He's under attack. Yeah, another one down. Let's go to the next. We're just gonna do them all. Beeline them. Team Star's founder, the person who caused all kinds of misery at the academy. If you don't take him down, I'll lose what I treasure most in the world. Ah, uh, no, I just... That's right, you need your reward. Here, take it before I forget. 
We're getting closer to getting some lore with Penny. That EV bag looks absolutely soaked in the rain, too. <laughs> oh, Lettuce, don't lose those guys. Go! Ah, uh, where are we going next? There was one over here, wasn't there? Yeah, there he is. The Dark Crew Base. I, I think we should be able to get them quite comfy. We still haven't explored, like, the left side of the map. <laughs> we have not been here yet. I don't know where the closest point to actually reach here is. It must, must be here, yeah. Passed through this town before. We've completely ignored the left side of the map, yeah. Not spent much time there. Heal our Pokemon. The left side doesn't exist. So that's all just the crater. Okay, uh... Just gotta set off from here, I think. We might have ran through some of this earlier. Where the fuck is Dratini? Uh, I still need to keep Clodsire on the team. Uh, cause I actually can't do Team Star cause none of my Pokemon obey me. Oh, it's a Zerua! Oh, that's cool. I should probably catch this, I'm probably not gonna find that. Otherwise. Okay. Get him, Taffy! Uh, I don't think we can weaken it from here. We still don't have false swipe. We, we never found it. It's, it's out in the world somewhere. <laughs> Shouldn't be disadvantaged trying to catch this one. Oh, I do have... I, I do have uh, Cloth Sire on the team, actually. I can switch, can't I? Alright, try one more Ultra Ball. Then I'll switch to Cloud Sire and it can probably weaken it a little. Unless we get it right now. Oh! Yeah, that's a nice pickup. Level 32, I think it evolved like close to them. I'm sad we don't have like uh, Hisui uh, Zuru available, it seems. Because that's definitely, like, the more interesting of the Titans. The normal Ghost is the one I really want to try out. It wasn't in the trailer. It was. It was, but, I mean, it doesn't seem to be, like, anywhere. N none of the Hisui forms seem to be. We haven't seen any of them. Oh, there's just like, oh yeah, this this full on town. There's a gym there too. Just skirt around it. Continue on our merry way. Okay, the down here. I, they're not gonna let me come down here. I think I, I gotta. I gotta walk around. This is their little valley. Oh. 
What are you? <laughs> oh, this is the parrot riding who does the taxis. Squawkabilly. Oh god, I kind of hate him. <laughs> yeah, we can go back and catch later. Kinda hate him. Okay, we're here. He's Elvis Presley, he's perfect. I mean, I think that guy's trying to be Elvis, but... Regardless. Okay, two more bosses. What do you think of Cassiopeia? He can't be trusted. Not so. First, I don't think Cassiopeia feels any hate or resentment towards Team Star. There must be some other reason behind Operation Starfall, but what could it be? I mean, they're like the mastermind that just want people to move on with their life, I think. And that's what it comes down to. Keep going. Yep, just let us in. We, we, we know the drills. But we know the drill at this point. Send us packing. Are you that lettuce kid? Uh, yeah, I'm the one who declared war. That's right. I still haven't figured out how to put on my new hat. Let's get him. Smeared vastly on the gate. It really looks like, yeah, their emblem is not looking pretty. Okay, level 19 Murkrow. Can Taffy beat it? <laughs> Here's the challenge. Watch out, Taffy! <laughs> yeah, no, it's dead. That Taffy fucking leaps. Got like the might of Thor or something. Okay, hasta la vista. Okay, I know the drill. We know the drill at this point. Gorman, Gorman, thanks for a thousand bits. Thank you very much. Not a hostile of V-Star. Okay, you wanna tell us who you are yet? No, we need we need to we need to go through another one. The boss, uh Gia Como? Pretty much runs the whole of Team Star. Also produced that wild soundtrack of theirs himself. Oh, it's the music guy! Okay. We have to fight the composer. Yeah, let's go. Yep, we know the drill. I love them, they're gonna be massacred. <laughs> These poor Zeruas. They don't stand like a fucking chance. Even Clodsire is not having much like trouble like fighting them this time around. I think the level difference is just too severe now <laughs> for them to be able to do anything. Go get him!
This is where Ed Sheeran comes in. Oh god. <laughs> You're not safe even in Pokemon now. We'll find you. She's way above our level. <laughs> yeah, no shit. We gotta get the boss. I'm gonna take out another car. Oh, there's like the little engine guys on the back of it, too. There's like a few of them. Let's take them down. In a moment, after a brief intermission, done a real number on us, party crasher lettuce, was it? Giacomo, at the deck I got... I go by DJ Vice. Call me whichever. It's a vibe either way. Oh, jeez. <laughs> nice to meet you and all, but how about we skip straight to your outro? Don't worry, I'll play you a sick requiem as you crash and burn. Let's get this party started. He's so relatable, it hurts. It really hurts. I don't feel well. Let's get him. Dude, he's got a party art. What are we gonna do? You don't really think things through, do you? Declare war on Team Star is a real bad move. You're level 21. Get him, Taffy! <laughs> Just leap! We're already on his last Pokemon. <laughs> okay. Our attack drop because of Intimidate. What are we gonna do? Taffy, no. Don't give him a fighting chance. How's that for an opening track? I'll spin you up good, Party Crasher. He did five damage. He's so happy with himself. If my Pokemon actually listened to me, this would already be over. No, oh, Taffy, why? Taffy, you gotta wake up. Somehow dodge the attack, but fast asleep. <laughs> this could take a while. Most intense battle yet. Come on, Taffy! Taffy woke up! Okay, yeah, it's over. <laughs> The car is destroyed. <laughs> Can't even see my trainer because the hammer's so big. <laughs> Guess that's that. About a year and a half ago. Yes, that's that. What's up, Gia Cohen? It's something happened. Big boss is wanting to take on. My, my take on some stuff, so we had a chance to settle on a few plans. A few plans, like for what? Operation Star, first of all, and also a new code of conduct for the team. You know, tons of new members have joined up recently. I figure we gotta make some team rules, like a code, so we'll all be on the same page. Let's come up with a great code for us, won't you, Giacomo? Ah, no thanks, way too much pressure. Yeah, I used to be president of the student council. You know, you know everyone ended up hating me after that, right? Of course we know. You're forced to tell the stuffy rules on everyone, they wouldn't take it. Got some other nerd to replace you after like five minutes. <laughs> well, it's got no chill. Can't help but concur. Male well, students' hair must stray no further than 1.8 inches below the nape and so forth. Your rules of vexation made manifest. 
Put exactly so you all agreed I shouldn't be let anywhere near this new code. I always know what's best for the team, Giacomo. You look out for us. As long as your hair is a particular length, anything goes. Stuck up student council president isn't who you are anymore, man. Code written by the Giacomo I'm looking at now. I'd follow that any day. As would I. Thanks for the ego boost, everyone. Do it. I'll write up the darn code. Yeah, the code is done. Give me your badge, please. He's responsible for the game codes. Like, ah, so you're the reason why this lags so much. You know, it makes a lot of sense, because whenever you're on your laptop, you keep, like, shaking and, like, bobbing. You don't put it down on the desk. One of the game only runs at 25 FPS most of the time. This is how the party ends. Let's talk about those Pokemon of yours. Crazy strong, huh? You learn those trainer chops at the academy. What moves you should use and stuff? No. <laughs> I just kind of went out into the, the wilderness. Uh, no, I haven't actually been to the academy, like, once. <laughs> oh, yeah, so here's the principal. I'm expecting a giant pompadour to make a guest appearance today. Get a, get a quackswell to style that up for you? Just after a quick word, would you mind? I can tell it's gonna be something annoying, but I guess I'm newly freed up for time. Thanks, I'll get straight to it. So all you and team start headed for explosion if you keep up your current activities. So why won't you break up the team and start attending class at the academy again? Waiting on a pal, though we don't know if they're gonna be coming back. Oh, who is it? And the strongest boss in all Team Star. That is the top champion who's the absolute number one trainer, you know? I don't want to invite us other bosses to form the team. We call him the Big Boss. This is Big Boss of yours now. And we'd like to know. We haven't heard from him. I don't know. It must be a year and a half now. I think we kept this Team Star going. We get back in touch one day. Teachers keep pressing us to call it quits. And we get party crashers like you two. God forbid you, like, attend your classes and exams. Boss is important. Let me put it in words you eggheads at the academy might understand. They're my greatest treasure, this boss. And now there'll be a brief intermission. <laughs> there we go. It's Giovanni. Like, Team Rocket's back. I could see it being something real stupid like that. Gotta get like the Gen 1 tie-in somehow. You guys remember Charizard? Okay, another one down. Operation's been a huge success thanks to you, Lettuce. Live has also performed admirably as you support. Remember him saying that your acquaintances, how have you known each other long? Uh, I bought the game yesterday. But it's clearly a reliable friend. It almost reminds me of the gang back in the day. Back in what day? You know, Team Star was formed by a group of students who were being bullied at school. Shortly after forming the team, these students, none other than the squad boss themselves, burned their bullies head on. The outcome was a resounding victory for Team Star. They could hardly call it a contest. The bullies didn't even put up a fight. They all got bolted from battle the first chance they got. They had spitless of Team Star, the bullies then dropped out of school one after another. Team Star ended up the villains of the story. There's like so many layers to unpack there. So like the bullies, the bullies just left. There was no try attempt at discipline. There was no attempt to like reform. The bullies are gone and then Team Star are the villains. Then also remember the teachers left after the bullies left. Like the outcome that I'm seeing here is that like these guys were bullied, and the entire school left. <laughs> the staff is gone. The bullies are gone. The victims are gone. <laughs> There's no one left. Like, what a mess. This school sucks. I want my tuition back. We haven't even got like attended classes there like at all. Penny's under attack again.
Someday we'll go to school again. They just wanted the bullies to go away, but then they became the bad guys in everyone's eyes. What a joke, the students, the teachers, they're all so messed up. Even just one of them had been paying attention when everyone was getting bullied. i able to tell right away that Team Star wasn't the one in the wrong. I guess the big boss was the one who urged everybody to face their bullies. Despite knowing how messed up the academy is. What a massive idiot. Creating Team Star and just hoping their plan will miraculously work out. Sure of it. It's your reward. Next boss is the very last one. We're counting on you, Lettuce. Okay, uh, yeah, where, where's the last one? I think we, we, we drove past it earlier. Over here. We might want to challenge the artisan j- Uh, let's heal up. I think we took like 20 damage, so I want to avail of our health care here. Just in case. Okay, uh, next location then is. There. Oh, thank god, they're just down the road this time. I don't think we've explored much of this grassland either. Went through it once. What is this? Oh, nice, the TM for Fling! I'm gonna see this famous piece. I can't say I really get it, but I like it. Oh, okay, it's like a sculpture. What are you doing out here? Blossom and Infinity, a work by an unknown artist. Oh, I thought that was a sun floor, it's just a statue. Pick up Sunny Day. More of the parrot gang. I'm not gonna be able to jump down there. I gotta go I gotta go to the front door. You have to be polite. Now, fifth base. Hold up, and there is the Team Star's last remaining squad. Fought well to make it this far. Thank you, Lettuce. Lettuce, Cassiopeia. You made it as well, Clive. Of course, it's the last base. I wouldn't want to miss out on the action. Clive, owe you my thanks. Your help has been invaluable to this operation. I'm sorry I was so wary of you at first. It's all water under the bridge. When we're finished with this base, will that be the end of Operation Starfall then? But we'll still need to handle Team Star's secret mastermind last of all. Hope they'll come into the open once all the squad bosses have stepped down. Okay, this, this is it. Second plot line's gonna be resolved. Take over the base. See you later, Clavel. You're fucking useless. I don't think he's helped us once. Clive is 50 years old, he's the principal. He's just the principal, but like with a wig. Okay, I'm not turning back. I'm gonna self-defense back. What have you got? A hound hour. Hound door. At okay, what level are we talking? 25! Okay, it's it's not the weakest one. I think we just did the weakest one, which is like the head. Get him, Taffy! <laughs> Still pretty easy, though. Still pretty easy. Give me your money, please. God only knows I need it. Man, you're crazy strong. 
The kid who declared war on Team Star. Call me letters. Thanks for the terrible news. Excuse me while I book it back to the rest of my crew. Hasta la vista. Oh, you're just hiding in the bushes. Fire crew's base. You can still give me backup and help. Oh, look at this dude. Is that you, Charlos? Woo. Thought so. What are you doing here? This Pokemon yours. This is Charlos, the the Char Char Cadet. Ooh. And the Pokemon the Academy takes care of when in its grounds. Woo. Ah, Charlos, wait! Looks like he made some connection to the Team Star's fire crew. I chase after him. Don't worry, I'll regroup with you soon enough. Yeah, Charlos. I feel like most people are gonna nickname that one Carlos. It just makes sense. It's cute. Okay, we gotta get Mallow next. Let's take them all out. Same as before. Ring the bell. Last squad to destroy. Uh, I was gonna check something. What about the check? I forgot, there was something I wanted to do. Something I wanted to do. Phil, thank you for the 2,000 bits. Thank you very much. Hope you're well. Um... Oh, there was something I was gonna do. I can't remember what it was. It's all good. Uh, let's just press on. Last one. Patella's just here. For moral support again. And the small stars can light up in the sky when they shine together as constellations. Yeah, sure, let's go. I'm surprised so much of the countryside is just abandoned that, like, they can take over this space completely for their own. Yeah, they're, they're just beating them up. God, this one's lagging pretty bad. <laughs> He's enough of it. Get him, gang. Bloodsire, are you good? Just doing his best. Oh, with the rain. <laughs> Quickly. Fight my Pokemon! We need to escape this! Get us out of here! It's graphically too intense. Next slide, Screamer. <laughs> Now we gotta fight the fire car now. Let's get him. You're the dope pick the fight with Team Star. Don't know why you do something so stupid and I don't care. Challenge us, so we'll beat you down. That's all there is to it. Prepare to get messed up. <laughs> Go. He's just gonna start by screaming at us. Okay. Go on, Taffy. Ready right now, you're going down. 
It's very unfortunate that it happens to be raining in the, this part of the world right now. It's in their entire team is fire. Oh no, they have... Yeah, the drought failed. This is very unfortunate for them. They're not going to be able to do much. Uh, get him, Taffy. That did actually not enough. Let's move a torch until there's ain't nothing but ash left. Oh no, Taffy's in trouble. That was for the rest of the... Is it Cheddar? As in Cheddar Squad? I think we terrestrialized just to lose Steel Type and, and then... We just knock off again. Probably, actually that probably will do more damage, especially after terrestrialize. Basically regular damage, yep. Get him, Taffy! Gotta take the Cheddar Squad out! <laughs> Can Taffy do it, though? It's the real question. Yeah, there we go. It's just because it's a Torkoal. Tor Torkoal is like a bulky monster. We do not have very effective attacks. Taffy, no! <laughs> Taffy, don't lose here! It'd be very embarrassing! <laughs> Come on, Taffy! You can take him! Taffy woke up! But turned away. <laughs> Taffy, get him! <laughs> Taffy, you're gonna die! We still have to fight the car! Taffy! <laughs> it's not looking good! <laughs> I'm gonna have to switch. I'm gonna have to fucking switch. <laughs> Taffy's just not listening. Get him! <laughs> Starting to get a bit low, uh. Battle's getting close! Taffy! Taffy just doesn't care! Taffy, this is lit! It's dead. Didn't make it. <laughs> Taffy, why? All you had to do was swing! All you have to do is take the shot. Okay, Nutella's gonna clean up from here. Nutella can take this car down. Ain't burned to a crisp just yet. Oh, I keep I keep pressing it too fast. Get him, Nutella. Flatten the whole car. Yeah, we can use dig. Nutella's just gonna take his time. Take it down. There he goes. Speed boost every turn. It should be alright. I don't think we're worried about speed here. Okay. Just like two more digs should do it. 
Tyler's going to be okay. His time in the spotlight. Get him, Nutella. Why the hell did she pop out of existence? I think the idea is like you're hitting the car, so like for the animation, it's like two separate models. Uh, but yeah, it's still it's still kind of bad. It's still kind of bad. I don't know why it's like randomly flashing all the time between turns. There's like a frame where it's just like. Eh. Well, we did it. Atella has triumphed. He's so happy. <laughs> really, how it's gonna end? What a hassle. A year and a half ago, I said, what a hassle then, too. <laughs> That's how they always link them. <laughs> Pulled it off just in time. Welcome back, Melly. And to get a bunch of Chaka Death to evolve. That'll be enough pa to power the Starmobile and finally get that hunk of metal rolling. Glad Titans indeed is not so, Ortega. I'm just surprised she's not all hot air. Shut up with the snide comments. You can be such an annoying twerp, you know that. If you're any better, Mella. Being rude and saying mean things is literally your whole deal. Not true, Ordy. Because the Academy have always been jealous of how cute Melly is. Just puts on a surly attitude so they'll stop picking on her. So I guess you're not wrong to say that her surly attitude is what people know her for. Come on, not you too, Eri. But we leave it at that, folks. It's almost time for the big event. Operation Star. It's finally happening. The big boss, what prey is their plan? They already got in touch with all the bullies and asked them to head over to the schoolyard. Finally time, huh? Man, I'm so stoked. Thrills burning me right up. Burned through everything I had and now I've sputtered out. This is where it ends. That Tinkerton of yours really let us have it. I know it died. <laughs> On my Torkoal, but uh... Sure put up a hell of a fight, didn't it? Like hit itself in its own confusion like 16 times in a ro row. It's crazy impressive if you just stop to think about it. <laughs> Beat me and Bowser's a huge deal, so here, take the star badge and be proud of yourself. What is happening here? <laughs> well, the matter, you can have this TM too. Flame charge. You make one thing clear I'm not giving these to you, I'm giving them to your Tinkerton. Her <laughs> walk. She has to raise her legs really high because of the boots. You know, you came for to leave me alone. Mela from Team Star, right? This Pokemon I'd like you to see. Who are you supposed to be? Ooh. A Charka Day, wait. Oof, oof. Of uh, Aunt Charlos, what are you doing here? Seems he came to this base looking for you. Ooh. Did. Very attached to you, isn't he? Yeah, because I used to play with him every day back when I was still going to school. I can, even, I can even tell more or less what he's thinking just by looking at the way his flames move. Any idea what Char why Charlos wanted to visit you? Foom. Please come back to school. Charlos. It looks like he's saying he wants you to come back. Shut it already, would you? Play Team Stars. Pulled himself itself up in these bases to plot something against the academy. Were you aware of this? I've heard of a stupid rumor like that. And then the change back since back then. Everyone's still spouting garbage. What about that modified car you were motoring around in just now? The Starmobile. We made that thing a long time ago to help us out with a big fight. We never actually used it against anyone before you two came looking for trouble. They made five cars for a fight. Okay, yeah, what's going on here? You ever heard of Operation Star? Operation Star, not Operation Starfall. First I'm hearing of it. Yeah, I guess you wouldn't know. But for me and the rest of Team Star, it's a memory we'll always treasure. Jeez. Oh, they just sneak it in every time. 
treasure. Okay, they're all they're all gone. Lettuce, it's me. Did you do it? Did you claim Mela's star badge? Uh, there's no boss to lead them. The rest of the Shader 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 Squad shouldn't last long. But Mela was the last. All five squad bosses have been toppled from their pedestals. Imagine a lead team star before long now that they've lost their special positions. After that, they should soon be back at 10 class at the academy. Nice work out there, Lettuce. That Clive I hear. Cassiopeia, well done. Well done to you too. Thanks, now about your reward, Lettuce. I'll transfer some LP over your phone, as promised. More TMs? That reminds me, I'm doing the whole supply unit rep thing this time, right? Indeed, you can go ahead and give Lettuce her bonus reward now. Sure? The long last Operation Starfall has entered its final stage. There's only one thing left on the agenda. You must defeat the big boss and have Team Star disband for good. Okay, where are they? Don't worry, there's no need to search them out. The true identity of the big boss is none other than me. What a, what a fucking plot twist there. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to keep it from you for so long. The right moment never came. I'm the one who formed Team Star. Back then, the members of the team were my closest friends. I treasure them more than anything. They go on like this, Team Star won't, won't do any good for anyone. It's gotta give up, so I'm using the code we made together to force them to disband. Let us. We'll be waiting for you in the schoolyard after dark. You should come as well, Clive. I'll see you both there. Cassiopeia was the big boss of Team Star this whole time. I guess they thought it was possible. It's a revelation, I might- I just might have an inkling as to their true identity. Seems that we'll find our answers after dark in the academy schoolyard. Let's prepare as best we can before heading over. Giovanni is the gym leader! <laughs> it is that kind of twist again, ain't it? Okay, we gotta- we gotta gear up for the fight! Let me flick on a light, too, real quick. Hang on one sec. Hang on one sec, Harry. Right? I must take down a Rotom now. Okay, we'll get, we'll get our full team for this. Because I, I think we're going to be doing something challenging again. Need to get the squad. Natella, you've done great. Terror Orb is recharged. I'm, I'm just excited for the grand reveal that this was Leon all along. <laughs> That's what we're waiting for. How does it link back to Leon and his Charizard? It said you have to come at nightfall. Are, are they gonna be there? It might not be. Might have to wait. I don't know if I can change the time of day. Power orbs all charged. Sup, Lettuce? Director Clavel! Come on, the name's Clive, remember? You know, it's time for me to bring this little performance to an end. Allow me to reveal my true identity! Oh my god! I do apologize for deceiving you with my disguise. <laughs> In truth, the boy you knew as Clive was none other than the director of Naranha Academy, Mr. Clavel. Holy shit. No way. This must be quite the shock. My disguise is perfect after all. Guys, there's still one more astonishing truth I must reveal to you. Wait, the true identity of Cassiopeia, the big boss of Team Star, was me all along? 
Hey, for real? Honest to goodness. When you heard Cassiopeia over the phone, that was actually a pre-recorded voice. I pulled it off using, uh, you know, one of those high-tech gizmos. Oh yes, it was very clever. So, Miss Lettuce, now you know I'm the big boss, that means there's just one thing left to do. Face me in one final showdown to decide it all. Oh shit, we're going! You're challenged by Director Clavel? I'm Cassiopeia of Team Star. With this battle, I will finally bring Operation Starfall to an end. Oh no, he's strong. He's got a full team of six again. Here we go. It's gonna be a tough battle. Help me out, chat. Is this monkey psychic type? I feel like it is. I vaguely remember. Yeah, it is. Okay, cool. Taffy, no! Yeah, we can't fall victim to the yawn. But we do have broccoli. A taffy, have a nap. I love how the rest of the students don't seem to care that like their principal is engaged in a battle and has revealed himself as like orchestrating the student uprising. <laughs> They're just not phased. Well, that's interesting, the terror type's still ground with Tyranitar. It's not actually a ground type anymore. That's actually it opens up some weird possibilities, yeah. I can negate my weakness with that. That student just walking across the fucking battle. <laughs> Guys, we're trying to have a battle here, right? <laughs> oh no, Broccoli's asleep now too. We can wake up. Not particularly worried about foul play. Unless it's a crit, that's a bit unfortunate. Get him, Broccoli! Come on, you got this! There we go, putting in work. Fucking students just constantly. <laughs> Look at this fucking gif walking in the background. Yeah, he's gotten a bomb in the snow. Uh, yeah, that that that's a that's one for Pepper. That's one for Pepper. It's like a sandstorm raging too. Guy at the side is like, yeah, go my rock off. Freak weather conditions. Just annihilating everyone. But send a poltergeist. I mean, yeah, I'm pretty good against that too. This guy, like. <laughs> no respect for the camera. Psyduck just going as well. He's about to set out Hound Doom. Uh, yeah, we can go back in the broccoli there. Get rid of this hail as well. Just rock slide this down. Thunderfang, that's an interesting choice. <laughs> Got a broccoli. Cast an earthquake here, like all the students just panic. It's like, oh no. 
Director Clavel is about to send out Among Us. Will Twitch chat be able to remain calm and composed? Based on the name of this Pokemon. No. No, they won't. I mean, Pokemon-wise, it's actually been very convenient. Pepper and... Pepper and Broccoli have been able to take out most of them. We haven't actually needed to go to, like, our Do Not Obey Pokemon yet. And we've got through, like, most of the fight. That's a little unfortunate. I don't think it can hurt us, though. You can just take a tough moment to wake up as, like, the sandstorm slowly kills it. Oh no! Director Covell has a Moongus! Because he was the imposter all along! He deceived you with his disguise! They know exactly what they're doing. Oh Jesus, Pepper, you alright? Pepper toughed it out so you wouldn't feel sad. Uh, it's a shame about the sandstorm. <laughs> Didn't tough that one out. Okay, last Pokemon. Uh, we just gotta send out our Pokemon. Let's go. Get him, Broccoli. Did the eye Cassiopeia will be backed into a corner like this. Oh no! He took the duck! I don't think I'm going to be fast enough either. I think I just have to EQ it. Very well, it seems I have to terrestrialize my Pokemon. Quaxley's out for revenge. He wants blood. Tired of all the slander you issued against me. You take a step back, please. This may get dangerous. You should probably tell that to like all the students here. Aqua step. Oh Jesus. Jesus Christ. His dancing's too powerful. Oh, that's gonna power up if we're not careful too. Uh, we're actually in a lot of trouble. Uh, Taffy, we're gonna need you to get in here. Is he gonna sweep you? Not the duck. Not like this. Just can't stop dancing. Okay, get him a player off. Oh, the rain is so- why did it just start randomly raining? It's so unfortunate. Come on, Taffy! God damn it! <laughs> Taffy, please! He's faster than everything now! The duck is killing us! We shouldn't have made fun of him! God, we, we don't have a lot of options left. Okay, get in there, Dragonite. If I can get a Dragon Dance off. Ice Spinner! Oh no! Oh no, we're being destroyed! This duck is gonna kill us! No, not like this! Okay, send in the yeastle. I, I think I need to revive something. The problem is I don't even know what I revive. 
Taffy is best equipped to deal with it. It's because of the fucking rain. It's because of the rain. I don't have anything. This duck is countering my entire team. No. Uh, but if Taffy obeys, though, if Taffy obeys, we can do it. Oh my god, he's got every move! <laughs> it's gonna come down to Taffy. Taffy's gotta land the player up. <laughs> Not the duck! Not like this! Everything else was fine, it's just this duck! <laughs> Holy shit! <laughs> okay, Taffy. It's all up to you. You gotta land. Come on, Taffy. We're in a real bad spot. Otherwise... We're gonna have to terrestrialize too. Here we go. You gotta do it, Taffy. Come on, get him. Okay, Aqua Step, we can live one. The rain wore off, thankfully. We can live one. Get him, Taffy! This is your moment! Yes! Go, Taffy! The oh, no. Oh, no. It didn't do enough. It didn't do enough. No! Oh, shit. Oh my god! It's not even close! I don't know how to get through it. I don't even know what I can use. It has ice, so even Dragonite's useless. It has Aerial Ace for the Heracross. It has something on everyone. And it's so fucking fast. PP stall with potions. <laughs> That's, that's a pretty fucking desperate move, I'm gonna be honest with you. It's pretty desperate. I don't think it's gonna work for long. Okay. There is a world where we can do it. How many turns will it take for Sandstorm to kill it? <laughs> we can get the duck. We have sand. Sandstorm does six percent. Okay, I, I I have to use a revive every fucking turn. We're having a battle. <laughs> Don't fucking clip through my Pokemon. Oh, broccoli toughed it out. So fucking jank. Broccoli, no. Okay, but 
the sandstorm's getting him. The sandstorm's getting him. And we just have to revive Tyranitar every now and then so that we can get the sandstorm going. This damn duck. <laughs> he just keeps killing us. We'll get him in the long run, though. Victory is assured. Okay, I can use an extreme speed here. Assuming that it goes through. Does it help us? <laughs> no, okay. <laughs> okay, back in the broccoli. We'll revive Dragonite again. Maybe we can get the extreme speed off. But Sandstorm and extreme speed, maybe. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> he might be running out of power points. Oh, no, the Sandstorm subsided. Okay, we'll get it back. We'll get it back. Why? Why did it let me do that? Why did it let me do that? <laughs> Fucking! Why did it even let me do that? I miss fucking clicked. Why does it even let you do that? Oh god, damn it! The duck. Oh, Why the fuck does it let you- It never let you do that in older games! It never did! It never let you do that! Oh, I'm devastated! Damn it, why? Why? Oh, I'm devastated. I'm devastated. Okay, alright, we're gonna take him down this time. Oh, we're gonna fucking annihilate him. Also, I need to buy some more revives. I'm, I'm uh, running low. I can't believe Quaxley got fucking revenge. Buy some more great balls too. Any Pokemon we encounter. You need a duck counter. I have a duck counter. I can I can beat him. It's called the sandstorm. I, I haven't checked chat for this, but I guarantee there's at least one person there who said at this point in time, it's like, well, if you actually did the gym, your Pokemon would have been you. Guarantee you there was at least someone who said it. <laughs> Missing the fucking point. It's about sending a message.
We're gonna get him. It's about sending a message. <sighs> also, the fucking students just walking through your battle. They just don't give a shit. Okay, let's go again. There's an option to, dis to skip cutscenes if you enable an options only, but if you do that, it skips all cutscenes. So if we beat him, uh, you know, we'll just skip whatever happens afterwards, which we don't really want to do. The grand reveal one more time. All right, we're gonna sweep him. Cassiopeia of Team Star, with this battle, bring Operation Starfall to an end. All right, so here's the new strategy. We're just literally gonna use Torch Song constantly to get to the end. Here we go. You powered up, get in there. No ghost typing anymore. Uh, just stay in. No, just stay in. It's fine. We'll just power our way through. We're just gonna keep get increasing our special attack. Dark Pulse with a longer ghost type. Oh, fuck. I forgot he gets that. <laughs> no, no longer ghost type. Unfortunately. Very unfortunate. Uh, okay, yeah, we're gonna have to switch. <laughs> that plan did not last long. Oh, god damn it, come on! <laughs> Give me a break! We can still set up set up the stand the sandstorm with uh Tyranitar, so yeah, that's the main thing. Even with the bird. Yeah, a bomb in the snow, uh, I can I can still take that with pepper. We're faster. Another torch song. Get through everything we need to get to the end. Nice. Pepper wants to learn overheat. Uh. No, that's not actually not that good. Suddenly an arm. We can 
take the teapot. Okay. Last one, and then it's duck time. Uh, just use a flamethrower here. Okay. Probably gonna die here. Fucking... <laughs> <laughs> uh, I can't get over them just walking directly into the camera. And like just ruin in the battle. <laughs> I can't get over that. Okay. Need to get the sandstorm set up. Okay, and now we simply beat him down with the power of the water. This is the game plan. We can maybe like bait him into a few attacks as well. They're probably gonna go for like a fighting type attack here. Even if it's water, it's still good. We could just mess with him. This will give us some, like, free turns. We might be able to get an extreme speed, too. What about ice? I know about the ice. I know about the ice. I know what I'm doing here, gang, right? We got this far. Yeah, this will look weird still. But we just go for extreme speed each time Martini's alive. Ice is fine. Because we're going to revive it. And get it back. And I know Taffy can always take one hit. Go, Taffy. Okay, so now we get them back. So now we can use another extreme speed whenever Taffy is fainted. Take a step back, please. This may get dangerous. He's just fucking going for it. Sandstorm is already set up though. The long ter like the long game has already been won. We can just like use a max potion and stall a turn each time. He's confused now. Doesn't know what to do. I could maybe chance getting a hit off here. Thunder Wave could be good too though. Go for it. Come on, Taffy. <laughs> Put in an inch of your life and you still don't notice. Welcome to like Pokemon AI battles. We also don't have control over our team.
Uh, we can go back in the ta taffy and we can simply revive Broccoli. And that keeps the sound going. Now we just wait a while. You did your best, Taffy. Taffy! Oh, she loves us really. She just doesn't show it much. Taffy does care. Just unfortunately not in the ways we need her to. But she does care. Here, we'll give you another max potion, Taffy. The fucking duck is the final boss, it is. Oh, it's confused again. Taffy might be able to do it if the player off lands. Maybe. Max Min's gonna come in there. Oh! Not quite. Okay, well now we can go back out to Dragonite and we can chance the extreme speed. The duck will be slain. <laughs> Not even just, I won't attack this turn, it's I'm gonna put myself to bed this turn. Sandstorm subside it. We'll finish when I say we're finished. Okay, he's probably gonna use a fighting type attack. Uh, this is a good time to go into the yeast still. Send him out just to tank a hit. Oh, he's probably not gonna tank that well. <laughs> so fucking strong. There goes the Eastle. The duck is almost slain. We just need to keep reviving some Pokemon now. And we get through with a combination of still alive Pokemon. Tank successfully. Oh, look at this fucking guy! Just keep reviving. But we could get the- We could end it right now. With one extreme speed. Oh, we did it! <laughs> Good job, Martini! Didn't expect that to work so well. strong you have grown. 13 grand, I'll take it. Well now, Miss Lettuce. Seems you have grown quite splendidly over the course of your treasure hunt. Here once again, I must apologize. I am not actually Cassiopeia. But Clive and myself being the same person was no lie, mind you. I don't know what I can believe anymore, Clavel. You've told so many lies. Cassiopeia's true identity remains hidden. I believe I can hazard a guess as to who they may be. That is why I sought to spare you from having to confront them in battle. Their sorrows should not be yours to bear. However, Cassiopeia has settled on a course of action and is determined to see it through. I not imagine any ordinary student could hope to stand against them and win. I challenge you to a battle to test your skill. You really struggled on my duck, but outside of that, you're doing pretty good. 
If you had lost, it would have fallen to me to bring down Cassiopeia. Such was my resolve. But it turns out you are as strong as you are kind. If anyone has a chance to save that poor child, it's surely you. An educator changed me to burden one of my students with such a task. Please defeat Cassiopeia. Take on the big boss of Team Star and win. Let's go. That student just walked in the circle. Thank you from the bottom of my heart. I leave this in your hands. You there, what do you think you're doing? Ah, Miss Time, a pr pleasure to see you. No pleasure at all, Mr. Clavel. Come here to investigate reports of an illicit battle on school grounds. What do I find? A director of the academy himself, facing off against one of our students, no less. What were you thinking? I know if I could just explain, you see, it's a rather sad tale. Well, spare me, your excuses reek worse than a stunky's behind. A stunky's behind. You're an asshole, Clavel. Remember, the big boss asked us to meet them in the schoolyard after dark. I am counting on you, Miss Lettuce. You write a letter of apology to the students and faculty at once. If you're reporting this to the chairwoman of the school board, make no mistake. Clavel sacked. He lost his job. Everything ended okay! Oh, we, we. Oh, we got healed. We got healed. Okay, give an item to hold. We do have stuff. Uh, where is it? I have. I, I do have a life orb. I randomly found that when I was, like, outside. Very handy one. Uh, given I'm the whole- I think- do I have like the sandstone rock? No, it's a kind of sad one. But, I mean, it's something. Don't have much to work with. Rents from the additional effects of moves. Uh, sure. We'll get- we'll give the cloak. And we'll just give Martini a bell for now. Yeetle, the uh, yeast still can't be contained. Yeast is all right. Okay, I think we're ready. Uh, so once again, just cause it's funny. Pokemon caught at level 30 or below. We'll listen to your commands. Okay, where where are we going? Just talk here? Interested in any classes? Oh, well, I don't want to take a class right now. I already saved it there as well, yeah, I'll save it again just to be sure. I think we've got a bit of a final showdown coming. Oh god, we've unlocked it. We have not been back here, like, at all. <laughs> we've just not been here. Uh, there's so many places. Director's office, I assume it's here. Talk to him. That's just a Pokeball on the floor. They keep dropping these. Oh, why, hello, Miss Lettuce. How's your treasure hunt coming along? It's been pretty rough. My Pokemon don't listen to me. Oh my, is that so? You keep in mind that the treasure hunt is no set course or criteria you must follow. You'll be go where your heart takes you, and you should do splendidly. Being in such pursuits, there's been something on my mind as of late. If you ask for your expertise in the matter, I'd be most grateful. See, I recently heard word, a word whose meaning escapes me. I believe it to be some sort of slang. Tell me, what does Chugi mean? What? Okay, I've, I've never heard of this one either. Chugi?
I don't think it's cool. It's not a gumball, so it'd be an outdated and cool. <laughs> I think I understand. For both speaker and recipient, it's not a pleasant word, I take it. The words used by young people these days are quite often beyond my comprehension. I learn the means behind the words. I find that I feel them that much closer to my students. I'm most grateful to you for your help on that front. You became slightly closer with Director Clavel. Wait, has there been friendship and like social mechanics this entire time? Travel adventures certainly have their place, but it does, it does one good to attend class as well, no? Speaking of which, there's something I would like to discuss with you. I understand you've joined a variety of classes during your time here at the Academy. I may ask which of our faculty members has made the most favorable impression on you. <laughs> the correct answer is you, of course, sir. <laughs> Me, are you quite sure? I suspect some element of dip diplomacy uh, may be at work here, but is that indeed how you feel? I'm most happy to hear it. We are truly blessed to have so many wonderful teachers and staff members at Naranja Academy. I firmly believe that our faculty is second to none. And their commitment to our students' ongoing education and well-being. We can't... Okay, no, this is a thing! What the fuck does this do? We've been, like, gallivanting across the world this entire time. What is this social stuff? We've missed all of these, apparently. A good friend of mine has been telling me of your recent exploits. I mean, Clive! Leave their identity to your imagination. And lest I forget, there's another matter I'd like your opinion on. You know what manner of gentleman's hairstyle is considered cool, as it were, among the youth these days? <laughs> I think we were supposed to talk to him about this before he, like, adopted his disguise. Yo, know, ball cuts. Ball cuts is where it's at. Is that so? Because I have indeed seen some of the Academy's male students sport in such a style. It would be that the Pompadour has already had its day in the sun. Perhaps I have to consider a change of wig. I have to say, never mind. Thank you for your insight, Miss Lettuce. It was most enlightening. You feel trusted by Director Clavel. What does this do? What does this do? Well, oh, trust it by him now. Rank up. Gives you a persona. Okay, um... We can go to the schoolyard. I think this is where we're supposed to go. Schoolyard at night. Less. Oh shit! Thanks for coming. This must be quite a shock for you. The big boss, Cassiopeia. They were bolting me all along. When I saw you make quick work of those Team Star lackeys outside school that time, the idea for Operation Starfall suddenly came to me. My skills let me get get hold of as much LP as I want, so I decided to use that to tempt you and to help me out. After the operation started, I kept an eye on you as a member of the supply unit. And I had you battle the bosses on my behalf. All for the goal of defeating me, putting an end to Team Star once and for all. But still, there's a part of me that wants Team Star to live on. I can't just roll over and let you win without putting up a fight. This is the final showdown, you're ready. Uh, give me like a moment just to save the game, hang on. Give me... Wow, just another day in high school. Why am I crouching? <laughs> this is the final showdown. Are you ready? 
I'm ready. Thanks. Sorry to keep you. The letter of apology Miss Time had me, uh, I mean, preparations took longer than expected. Voice, are you Clive? Penny, so it was you after... I know what I mean, is that you? Ethiopia. Ethiopia, in the flesh. I have a task for you, Clive, if you'll accept it. I'm going to record what happens next so I can send the video to Team Star. I need to see the outcome of this battle for themselves. Okay, will do. Allow me to introduce myself properly. I'm the big boss of Team Star. The name's Cassiopeia. No, Penny. Now bow down to the overwhelming might of Team Star's founder. Here we go. You're challenged by Penny, a Team Star. Get him, Pepper. I'll hold back in this battle. I'll stay true to Team Star's code. Okay, first things first. Lose Ghost Type, but it's gonna be bad here. And we start buffing. I'm gonna go pure fire. Oh, of course she's got an, an Umbreon. She's got the Eevee bag. Let's get one more song in. Lock him dead, Pepper! I wonder which song Toby Fox worked on this game. It's really hard to tell sometimes. Uh, he's got a... He's got a Vaporeon. Uh... Let's just fucking chance it. It'll still be powered up. With stabbing that, it's probably still better to use Flamethrower as weird as this fucking looks. There we go. Oh, it's gonna hurt. But Pepper's just that good. You don't understand, Penny. We're the protagonist here. I have powers beyond your comprehension. Another torch song. Jesus. It's an evolution team, yeah. I don't think she has room for all the evolutions on the team, though. About to send out Flareon. This would be a good time to switch, yeah, because we're gonna we're gonna die anyway. Go to broccoli. You did amazing. The flame of Olympia will stay lit. <laughs> yeah, that actually shouldn't that shouldn't be too bad, yeah. That hits them with recoil too. Got a broccoli! Okay, Leafy on next. I think I'm slightly faster than Leafy on, but I'll die. Okay, I mean. Okay, you still. It's your time to shine.
Get on with the pin missile. You're gonna resist this very well. Yes, it connected. Get him. Oh, we're gonna need to hit more than that though. Baby doll eyes is pretty bad. Yeast still won't obey. No, you still. He's doing his best. He's struggling. Leaf Blade, you can live one more. Come on, you still get him. No. No, you still. The sandstorm. <laughs> What have you done? <laughs> Come on, Martini. You beat the duck, you can beat this. Just try land a fire punch. Disaster. Come on, Martini, wake up. Come on, Martini. I believe. Yeah, take a long, take a lion, take a lion. You'll feel better. <laughs> Jesus Christ! Full fucking five turns of sleep. Oh, the sand's got. We're gonna wake up and do it now, though. Come on, Martini. Martini woke up. Fire punch. Oh no! It's okay, we're gonna do the extreme speed follow-up. Get him, Martini! Sylveon's the last one. We got just the one for the job. Get him, Taff! Can't fault in your battle skills at all. No wonder the bosses fell at your hands. Okay, Taffy, it's all on you. We're, we're quite literally begging you. Get okay, to that hammer. Have to terrestrialize, shine bright like the starry sky, and become who you really want to be. Like glass. <laughs> Come on, Taffy. The attack drops are gonna be unfortunate. Yes, slow. We got it. That's one. Get him, Taffy. Okay, we have to play rough next. I th I don't think fairy versus fairy. God, the attack drops are getting really bad. Taffy, no. We have to get a hit with another attack before we can use something else. Well, Gigaton, my VV power will crush you into Stardust. Work with us, Taffy. Jesus Christ. Get him, Taffy, no! No, Taffy! <laughs> it was such a good start! Taffy, why? Oh god, okay, uh... I think Pepper can just clean up? I think Pepper can clean up. I think we're faster. 
I'm kind of hoping we're faster. <laughs> Please be faster. No, quick attack and we lost Ghost Typhon. Oh, disaster. Fuck it out, played. We got extreme speed though. Get him, Marty. <laughs> Okay, uh, what we got? Yeah, it's time for that old sandstorm again. <laughs> if we can take down the duck, we can beat you. Behold the ultimate game strategy. Good medical insurance. Cower in fear, as the sand will soon claim you. The USA doesn't know this strat, oh no. Oh, Taffy, Taffy could just win us though. Taffy could just win. Taffy could exit, come on. Yes! <laughs> You did it, Taffy! <laughs> Go on, Taffy! Pretzel wants to learn Giga Impact. No, that's terrible. You defeated Petty, a team star. The fucking stakes every battle, it's so hard. It's all over now. It's finally over, guys. It's done. But I don't think we're making it back to the Shire, Mr. Frodo. One more flashback. I'm done here. I think we should call it quits. Hold up, are you saying we should break up the team? You gotta be joking. We gotta carry you over Operation Star. Now everything's gotten out of hand. Yeah, well that's what happens when you round up a bunch of bullies in the courtyard and make a show of learning them some manners. Didn't even fight them in the end, we didn't do anything wrong. Did we, merely, did we declare our intention to battle tooth and nail should the villains persist in the tyrann... Or, <sighs> tyrannous oppression, I guess, jeez. Mouth... Fucking mouthful just to read his lines. <laughs> it was a bloodless victory, we assure you. Yeah, they didn't even send out their Pokemon, they just blubbered and apologized to Holoha. Our outfits must have spooked them good. The bullies made a huge stink about what went down, and then they all ended up leaving the academy. Our plan backfired epically. There's no way we're getting off scot-free. Guess you're right, still stunt might have put it might have put us up the creek. We'll fix this mess on my end. Just leave it to me. What are you saying? I'm the one who started Team Star, I dragged you all into this. I'll take responsibility for everything. Oh noble and kind big boss, you cannot Now the bullies are gone, you guys should start going to school again. Oh yeah, and what about you? Can't go back. Well, there's no reason for you to stay shut in your room anymore, right? All I can say to you guys is thanks. Even though we never met in person, you're all so kind to me. Stop it right there, BB. Why are you talking like we'll never speak again? I need to go take care of some things. Pretty speak to us. What is thine intent? Has anyone read Macbeth lately? Hey, big boss, answer us. Bye, bye, guys. Thanks for everything. You were in something outside the window? Thanks for everything, Lattice. And you too, Clive. Glad I could sh see this through to the end. I guess this is it for Team Star, and me too. Well, that thought, Miss our Penny. I'd like to check something with you first. Check what? Why resort to something like Operation Starfall if you're the big boss of Team Star? Wasn't there any other way to handle this? I tried telling the boss that we were done once before, but they still didn't quit. Why not simply order them to? The code states that no one in the team has the right to order people around. It asks them all to do stuff, but I can never order them. 
Back to the code once again. The boss must have taken it very seriously. Did. That's why I knew I could use it. The force team started this band. Bosses would do anything the code required of them. Even leave the team. Yes, and according to the code, they had to accept any challenge mate. That's the idea for Operation Starfall. Cassiopeia, let me ask you one last thing. What does Team Star? No. What do your friends in the team mean to you? They're my treasure, Clive. That's what they've always been. My treasure. I hunted them down because they're my treasure, Clive. <laughs> Fucking screenshot here. Splendid. Thank you for apprising, apprising me of the situation, Miss Penny. <laughs> what? Now, young lady, there's something I should very much like to discuss with you. You quit with the old geezer act, Clive. You're creeping me out. Indeed, but before we talk further, allow me to reveal to you my own secret identity. Director Clavel! Just as Cassiopeia was your disguise, the boy you knew as Clive was mine. But why? Need a way to talk to Team Star on equal terms. Students pretend to shy from speaking their mind to their teachers, after all. Much more so when faced with the director of the academy. So where do I even start? Wasn't the outfit a bit much? Plus I have some f big feelings about that wig. It's quite enough of that for now. Everyone, why don't you come on out? <gasps> the gang is here. It's time for the real final fight to begin. Yo, big boss, long time no see. We're like long time no meet, right? I mean, we only found out your real name just now. Melly. Verily is thy long hidden countenance a sight for sore eyes, my lady. The worst. So, um, I heard your real name's Penny. How have you been this whole time? 40. Found you at last. You've no idea how worried we've been. Harry. Okay, gang, on the count of three. One, two. Hasta la vista, Cassiopeia, and hello, Penny. Bless. And Miss Petty and each of you young bosses as well. I have the academy. I have something that I would like to say to Team Star. You all have my sincerest apologies. Come again. Director of the academy, I'll let you down. My handling of your situation was a dismal failure. Yeah, it really was. But I still don't... I mean, why? You all told me about your reasons for forming Team Star and about your subsequent actions. Ever since my first days as director... All I've ever experienced of the Academy is an environment blessedly free from bullying. Now I know this piece was built on the backs of your hurt and anger. And of course, your immense courage in putting things to right. So I'll get straight to the conclusion. The Academy's order for Team Star to disband and my threat to expel those who did not obey are hereby revoked. You can terrorize the students of this campus now. This is your ground now, Team Star. Build a better team. Build a stronger empire. Does that mean what I think it means? It's time for the Great Purge. We've been meaning to wean out the weak of this academy for too long now. <laughs> oh, Penny, isn't this great? Now we can all stay together. Oh my- I f fucking hate you. But I betrayed all of you. <laughs> you mean Operation Starfall? Director Clavel told us all about it. As far as we heard, you only went through with it to save us from getting expelled. You are just worried about us, right? Not like we've ever chucked the team just because someone told us to. After all, ain't our style. Sorry for making you worry, PB. We're all okay now. <laughs> but even so... Hold on, everyone. I've more to say. As previously stated, the requirement for Team Star to disband has been revoked. However, there are still some unsettled matters to discuss. I'm going to provide a few examples. The protracted truancy. Your brazen customization of school uniforms. Your unauthorized usage of academy equipment. 
The reckless modification of jeopardous driving of Pokemon powered vehicles. You know, go on, your flagrant disregard for school rules cannot simply be overlooked. You're all expelled. As a punishment, you will all be required to engage in community service. Community service? Yeah, specifically, I'll be asking you to manage the STCs. And that stands for Star Training Centers. There'll be facilities for cultivating Pokemon trainers' talents. Time for the Academy to found them in collaboration with the Pokemon League. The idea came to me when I saw Miss Lettuce battling her way through your bases. Bases construction as well as the battle tactics employed by the students and Team Star. Remarkably unique and creative. I would ask that you continue your team activities, but henceforth as STC staff members, using your former bases as training facilities. Okay, right, so we can battle against them now or something. Sounds like fun, I don't see why this would be anything but a win-win. It would be a weird thing to say since the STC is supposed to be a punishment and all. You're totally joining too, Penny. We can go to school together too. That way if anything happens, we'll be there to protect you. You are already talking about how great it would be to have both Team Star and school in our lives. This would be a sweet deal for us. So what do you say? You guys, let us, what do you think? I think it sounds great, or I think it sounds great. But, um, I don't need to give you a response right this moment, Miss Penny. It takes some time to decide. For now, at least, I think our little group should go their separate ways. Not to say you should break up Team Star after all, I simply mean it's time to leave. Miss Lettuce, please stop by my office later if you would. I think we're near the end, go to the director's office. Not quite the end of the arc yet, there's still an objective. Here you are, Miss Lettuce. I want to thank you for all your hard work in resolving the situation with Team Star. If not for you, I suspect I would have done the team a grievous injustice in my choice of punishment for their actions. You have my sincere gratitude. Oh, who is it? It's Penny. It's Penny, do come in. Hello, Director. Penny. I'm putting together a team. We need to infiltrate... The Great Crater. <laughs> Thank you very much for your favorable response. You'll be punished more heavily than the others, I think. Why so? Because of Operation Starfall. No, not that, because of the other really bad things that I did. And what would that be? Uh, you know the LP I gave you, Bolt, in exchange for helping me with Operation Starfall? I got hold of it sort of illegally by hacking the Pokemon League's LP management system. That's pretty bad. Oh no, she's actually been embezzling. <laughs> I not think such a thing was even possible in the first place. It wasn't all that high. I mean, I'm really sorry and I won't do it again. This matter is rather out of my jurisdiction, I'm afraid. To consult Miss Gita. Gita? Gita? The Pokemon League chairwoman. And how best to proceed. Figured as much. I do apologize, Miss Lettuce, but I have to ask you to give us some privacy. Ah? Uh? Is it just over? We didn't get like a screen complete or anything. Is that it? This feels pretty anticlimactic. Benny's not here. Director. Is that is that <laughs> What an abrupt end to that arc! I just walk out, alright! I believe there's more to do, but where? Where's Penny? Genuinely help me out chat, I'm not just missing something, am I? She wants to meet the chairwoman. Where's the chairwoman? Where's the chairwoman? Here we go. Lettuce. Penny. Something I want to talk to you about. Could you come meet me in front of the school stairs? Okay, perfect. Oh, thank God. I was about to say, it's like, that's just like a really fucking anti-climax. <laughs> if that's it for this arc.
Hey, how's it going? Lettuce, you gotta bail me out. <laughs> Hasta la vista. The six of us thought that up, up that catchphrase back when we created the team. It's so cringy, it's perfect, you know? <laughs> yeah, it's pretty cringy. Anyway, about the LP thing. Thought I was going down big time for hacking the league's point system. They're letting me off easy. That's great! We get free money! Pokemon League said they'll waive my debt if I do some volunteer engineering for them. They even asked me to come work for them after I graduate, if you can believe that. Dr. Clavel and that uh, Gita lady kept complimenting me like a weird amount. Apparently I have outstanding talent or something. Sorry for calling you out here to meet like this. Still not so great with people face to face. Never seem to find the right words, but um... Thank you so much. Save Team Star and my friends along with it. No words won't ever be enough to properly thank you for all you've done, so here. Here's a TM. Nice. I'm sure you put this to good use. One more thing. Want to repay the debt I owe you? If you ever think of a way I can do that, just let me know. I'm great with machines and hacking and stuff. I'm putting together a team, Penny. Be seeing you then. Pasta la vista. Starfall Street complete. We might be able to get the third gym badge now. Let's take a look at that map. So here's how we're looking. It's only six gyms left, and God love him, this guy was looking the wrong way for his photo. God love him. Ah, oh, God. How much of the Pokedex can you complete before doing the gyms? I ass You might be able to complete all of it, actually. <laughs> or at least the vast majority. You could do a lot of it. Probably not all of it. Maybe not all of it. There's gotta be something that's locked. It's gotta be something that's locked until after you do the gyms. You could do an awful lot of it though, yeah. Don't give him ideas, damn it. Is it time for the for the Pokedex arc? Wait, what was that? Go back up? What was that? Oh, was that for the stairs or something? I might have been for the stairs. Did you max out the mount yet? Yeah, we already did that one. Okay. Save the game. I think we're doing pretty good. Uh, we are going to take a little bit of a break, gang. Uh, I got some food that I want to do up in the microwave, because we're still going to be streaming a while because I started early. Uh, I want to remember to eat. And I'm going to refill my water and use the loop. Uh, we're gonna take like a five minute break and then we're gonna keep streaming. We're gonna go uh, keep going after. Let me guess pizza in the microwave. It's actually not pizza. No, I uh, I made a lovely stir fry for myself the other day and I put like half of it to one side uh, for today. So I'm gonna I'm gonna go and get that. Uh, I will leave you in Marie uh, capable care. I'll leave you with Mareep. Uh, I'll be back in like a good five minutes. I'm gonna like make my food and probably just bring it with me. Okay, so give me just a few minutes. I'll be right on back and then we're gonna keep playing. No, we can, we can do the Pokedex next. Who needs that third badge? <laughs>
Hey, -o, folks. I'm back. Still gonna be on kind of like a bit of a break. Just for a few more minutes. Let's do this so people know I'm here. Uh, cause I got some food and I'm just gonna take a moment to eat it. We can just like have it like a moment of chill and I'm just gonna try and like get some of this into my system. So I don't perish. Yeah, how y'all doing? How are you all enjoying the streams? I hope so. Highlights coming of them soon too. It's gonna be broken up into parts. Should be the first one tomorrow actually. It's been great, I'm glad. Gonna be anything left to do after tomorrow's stream the way you're blazing through it? Ah, uh, I still want a shiny on shit. And like shiny on for me is honestly most of Pokemon. Like, like that's how I spend a lot of my time. So like, uh, there's, there's just still gonna be stuff, yeah. Um, like, we're probably gonna do like shiny hunting streams on this game now going forward. And like, I'm sure there's probably gonna be some DLC and stuff for this game down the line. Between this and the Persona highlights, the YouTube crowd will feast. Yeah, there's gonna be a lot of good content there. There is gonna be a lot. I reckon from tomorrow that like, you'll see like all the highlights from like yesterday's stream and this stream kind of like just trickle out each day. It's kind of like the plan. Uh, I'll be probably late to tomorrow's stream actually, just specifically so I can do a bit of editing um, before I go live. But I think it's fine because like we've been live so much lately anyway. We've been live so much. Like, today will probably be, like, the last, like, massive long boy stream. And then, like, you know, we'll probably just get, like, four or five hours in. But it should still be good. It should still be good. Please let the child go to school. You think this game is worth the money? I'm not a reviewer. Uh, I know a lot of people are, are kind of asking, though. I mean, I am having a lot of fun. The game is jank. The biggest criticism is it's just, it's, uh, it's unpolished. There's weird technical issues everywhere. It's inexcusable. Like, I, I, I think it's awful. It looks like a PS2 game. <laughs> There's no way about it. But, like, the actual concept and premise of the game with open-world Pokemon, yeah, it's, it's great. I, I love, like, the free-form kind of gameplay. I, I've been hoping for something new like this for pretty much forever. It's better than, at doing that than Legends Arceus, in my opinion, too. Ugly graphics add nostalgia. Yeah, no, they don't. No, no, they don't. It's just kind of ugly. New Pokemon, at least. The Pokemon, at least, themselves look great. That's at least something. It's getting more food in my system, too. But yeah, like, I mean, I'm having a lot of fun. I've been so excited for this game for a while. I'm loving it. Pokemon's needed a shakeup like this forever. And this is that shakeup. It's just a shame that there's so much technical problems. And I can guarantee you, like, any reviews are probably just mainly criticizing performance. Like, look at that, like, gif man walk in the background. Like, that, it's inexcusable. There's, there's no reason for shit like that anymore. You can't justify it. Apparently the fr bad frame rate is partly due to the fact that the map is always loaded. Then maybe don't do that. I don't know. Maybe maybe optimize it in a way to do it better. Threat of the Wild can exist and so can Pokemon. But like, not laggy as shit. You ever tried Splatoon? I actually played Splatoon. There's a video of that on the channel. I haven't played the new one. In case you wonder why this long pause, it's, I, I'm literally just eating. I'm just eating. But I'm reading chat. Why the Pokemon have wheels if he walks? See, I don't know. I don't know why people are freaking out about that though, because like I think that it's supposed to be a difference of design, right? There's very much like a past and future aesthetic going on, and there is one that has the wheels, and he uses the wheels. But this isn't that one. There's another. There's there's a different one. There's supposed to be like air sacs, I think. 
A lot of people are freaking out about the fact that this guy runs, but like, I mean, it makes sense considering like the premise and what they're trying to do. Yeah. Like, he's got a curled up tail too. Here, I'll move a bit so you can see it. Um. Okay, it's actually gonna be quite hard to see. It's kinda like blended in, it seems. But that is like his tail all curled up there. You can kind of see the circle in the middle. Yeah, if, if, like, if it bodies it, they haven't got wheels though. They did the one with wheels. It, it's it's the other game. You can just pick that. It's all good. I just think it doesn't look nice with the useless wheels. That's fine. Get the version of the game with the useful wheels. That's what I'm saying. Like, yeah, you're, you're fine. You're fine if you don't like that, like how the wheels operate on this one. This is literally a version of the game where the wheels operate how you want. Just get that. You're fine. But that's all, that's what I would say to that. Like, there's a reason there's two versions. I personally I quite like this one. I like how he kind of runs. I also just like red. Have we gotten all the Titans yet? Yep, yeah, we did all them. Why'd you get Scarlet in general? Uh, Coriden's cooler, in my opinion. I, I prefer him. And that's like the biggest thing to, in choosing which version of the game you want, because you're stuck with that one. You know, you're going to see it all the time. So it's like, I just like based it purely off of that. But a very funny, a uh, good way that he runs despite having wheels. Yeah, no, I think it's cool. Probably learn more about that before long too. There is clearly more to be uncovered regarding the war the lore. We got to beat the third gym first before we find out what that is. Got to beat that third gym. Be right back, just one more minute. I'm almost I'm almost ready. I'm just getting one other thing. Hang on one sec. my food. I just got a bicky after the half too. Bit of sugar keep me going. We have a poll stream next? What do you mean? Pulse? Favorite Pokemon this gen? Uh, Taffy right there. Tinkerton. It's wonderful. I love the design. Interest in typing too. And it's got like a pretty cool unique move. I miss the old Atura version of the games they used to release like Emerald and Platinum. See, I don't. Um, I don't actually because those third versions were basically the same game but DLC. I don't think a lot of people realize that because like you basically paid a full price for the game to buy the game again but with the extra content. 
Whereas at least now, like, yeah, there's DLC and yeah, it costs a bit more, but it's still actually cheaper compared to buying the same game again. It used to cost more, it actually costs less, arguably. I would say. I, I think the DLC is better. I'm doing a third version. Personally. Because all, like, the third version, basically, you just have to reset the game again. And then you just play it true for, like, the, you know, what is basically 15 quid a DLC. That's slapped in the games. Typically. Sometimes they revise it, sometimes it can be a bit more. But, I mean, I, I don't mind that they're doing the DLC route. I think it's probably better to do it that way. It gives you more shit to do in one game. Now, I, I know, though, like, they did the third version, too, because they revised some of the internal bits in that, but, I, I mean, there could have been a way to do it, basically. There could have been a better way to do it. Even though it was, like, you down the DLC, and then when you start up the new game on that game, it's like, hey, here's the new content, and we sprinkle it in. You do it that way. A lot of ways. End game's the same price? Uh, no. Sorry, most of the games tend to be 50 bucks, and then third version was another 50. Even at the modern price with 60 and the 30 euro, 30 quid for the DLC, it's only 90. So it's still cheaper. It's still actually a bit cheaper if you even look at it that way. How do you like the new Pokemon so far? Uh, I think they're wonderful. Yeah, it'd be less if you just waited for the third version, but like most people don't. Most people didn't wait for the third version. It's better value proposition when you wait for that. I'll give you that. That's not what most people did. Most people bought it after buying the first one. They'll they just get an excuse to play it again. Are you gonna shiny on Taffy? I might. It's the one. I, it's the one I'm leaning towards. Let's have one more Vicky and then we're gonna start. So many doggos in this game. Yeah, there's, there's a lot of dog Pokemon. They really like the dogs. Because there's the ghost one, there's the dark one. Uh, there's like the bait the pastry one. I feel like we've been counting another dog somewhere. Arvin's dog, that's a dark one. Yeah, there's a dark one, there's a ghost one, and then there's a dull one. There's even with three, yeah. Even with three, that's a lot of dogs. Feels like it. Thoughts on the music? It's really good. There's pretty much no mistake with the music. Like, how dynamic it is is really cool. Got some brilliant Diamond Shine and Pearl getting close to outselling Diamond and Pearl. Depressing. <laughs> Very depressing. Those are soulless games. And they make me sad in retrospect. They're very soulless and a waste of opportunity and potential. You could open a buffet with all the food themed Pokemon. Oh no. You think we'll get black and white 3? I highly doubt it. I don't think we're ever getting Mario Galaxy 3. <laughs> Doesn't need to be a black and white 3. The problem with just black and white, if they ever remaster it, I'm worried. Because. You can remaster Black and White, but Black and White 2 is so radically different. So radically different. I, like, Black and White 2, like, I don't even treat that as, like, a third version. Like, that's just, like, a new game, but, like, similar enough setting. It's, it change it just alters it to a significant extent.
Was it actually that different? Yeah. No, it, it, it really is very different. Some huge changes. It's a, the direct sequels, yeah. Which is the same setting. So it's not, it's not even just the third version. This is like straight up sequel. Ultra games are so shit. I've heard really mixed things about the Ultra games. Apparently they revised like some stuff, but like they did a, a disservice in others. It's the only Pokemon game I ever skipped was uh, Ultra Sun and Moon. I just didn't care when it came out. I had no time to play it. And I don't feel like I've missed much, like, you know, by not playing it. Okay. I'm good. I had some food, got some... Oh, excuse me. I got some food in my system. Uh, let's see. Where are we heading? Okay, gang. It might finally be time to check out one of the gyms. It might finally be time to check one out. There's nothing left to do in the world. The normal type is, is neat. It, wait, which is the first one? Which was like supposed to be the first one? I'm assuming it's this one. Because at the start, uh, Nimona was like, hey, go left. Yeah, the sugar bug. Bug type user is recommended. First stop for anyone considering taking on the Pokemon League. Maybe it's the Pokemon League, actually. Is that tucked away in there? How do I get there? Hang on. Okay, quick sidetrack. Hang on. Before we do the third gym. Before we do the third gym. God, our Koroiden really can climb now. Oh! What happened here? Oh, we've been... blipped away, I think. Some. There he is. Give me your coins. Look at all the happy mice families. Very cute. Oh, this is so. This is just the Pokemon League up here. There's a trainer here we can fight too. Let's let's see how we're doing. Making my way to the Pokemon League. Let's battle to mark the occasion. Yeah, let's see what the the levels are looking like. He's only got a Meow. Doesn't seem too bad. Okay, no, we were supposed to be here sooner. Hey, what's going on? I think we were supposed to be here a little sooner. The Elite Four is going to be like level five. <laughs> We're losing is one way to mark the, the occasion. Can I just go up here? Pokemon do not seem that fearsome. I'm guessing this is like a normal thing to do. Take it on the league. Yeah, sure, another battle challenge. See if he's any stronger. Okay, he's got a crocodile. Okay, yeah. That's way more fearsome. That's way more fearsome compared to what we just did. Uh, but he also, like, really hard counters us here. Uh, Dragon Dark. No, uh, Ground Dark, sorry. 
think I can resist most of that with Pretzel. Get him, Pretzel. What the heck is the level scale in here? Imagine you just walk in here early. <laughs> this guy would fucking obliterate you. The weather is rain, whether you like it or not. Pretzel, no! <laughs> Okay, he really wants to set up his sand. Come on! <laughs> what an intense battle! Things are really starting to get exciting here. God, what is he gonna do next? Pull out another sick sandstorm like that. Pretzel woke up. <laughs> okay, we got him in the end. The sleep four. <laughs> okay, uh, Bronzong. Yeah, we can we can deal with Bronzong. We got something for that. Probably use Ghost just because of the rain. Bronzon gets an ability too. Got him. We're never doing the gym, sir. I don't know. Is the game gonna let us fight the Elite Four? <laughs> That's the real question you should be asking. Oh, he's got a Cerulean Ledge. Oh, this is this one's really cool looking design-wise. It's like one of the better, like I think, Violet exclusives you can get. He just looks really good. Uh, it's a shame though, because he's Fire Ghost as well, and because we're faster, we can one-shot kill him. Good fight. Get some growth out of that. Sweet, nine grand. I'm starting to get money from winning the fights. I mean, there's a Pokemon Center here. Am I gonna be able, am I just gonna be able to go in? Kill my Pokemon. I mean, I have a team. I don't think he's gonna sell many recovery items, sadly. But still locked to only super potions. <laughs> I'm finding the Elite Four, I might need these. I might be in a lot of trouble. <laughs> oh, okay, there's a guy here. All right, maybe my progress might be stopped. Are you ready to face the Pokemon League's champion assessment? <laughs> okay, hang on, let me save this. Uh, is the game seriously just gonna let me do this? I've only got two badges! Let us from Narana Academy, is it? Because you have a total of two gym badges. Very well, you may now proceed to the interview room. Dude, do you do you want to double check? I've only got two. Thank you very much for your time today. Please do have a seat. Are we doing this? <laughs> Irika will be your interviewer. Now let's get started with the first portion of the champion assessment. As I mentioned, this portion will take the form of an interview. First things first, let's see how many gym badges you have. I see, so you have two badges. And then they're just glossing over this. <laughs> At 
Did I sequence break the game? I'm amazed it's letting me do this. Please think carefully, he's maybe disqualified immediately, depending on your answers. Let's begin. How did you get here today? I rode on my Pokemon. Aha. What type was the very first Pokemon you chose? That was fire. I think you like the fire type then. Next, please tell me why you want to become a champion. I just want to see if it's fucking possible at this point. Each person has a different reason, of course. Please tell me, is there anything that's very popular at your school? Battles. See, I'm glad it's something wholesome. This is the final question for me. Do you have any comments or questions about the Pokemon League of the Gyms? Ah. Uh, um, am I able to, to play this right now? You might feel differently if you gather all eight badges. That concludes this interview. When the staff let you know the results, thank you again for your time. And please excuse me. I think you have to have the badges. Better keep you waiting, Lettuce. Regarding the results of the interview portion of your champion assessment. I'm sorry to say you didn't pass. <laughs> Just between you and me, I've heard they won't let you in. They, they won't interview you seriously until you have all eight gym badges. Oh, they knew. You can take the champion assessment as many times as you want. I hope you come back with another try soon. Jesus, the game was about to give me a heart attack. The game was about to give me a heart attack. Also, I thought I heard a gimme ghoul there. Yeah, how's it going, friend? Give me your coins. I thought it was just gonna let me do it. It was gonna be like, like, fighting Ganon in, like, Breath of the Wild. Like, just go. You know, like, he's, he's waiting there for you. Jesus Christ. Gave me a heart attack. They baited it, you hard. I mean, we were all freaking out though. Everyone else was here too. You all thought it was about to happen. Okay, well, let's just see if we can go into um, the crater instead. Oh, hey, how you doing, Magnazone? It's a long way down from here. It's a long way down. <laughs> I don't know what's gonna happen. Oh, it just blips you out. It blips you out. Wait, can I get on top of the stadium? Oh gang. I'm here for my champion battle. Can't call the elevator. <laughs> Can't call the lift. Damn it, they thought about this, but maybe I can call the lift down here. Here, if the champion doesn't show up after 15 minutes, you automatically win. <laughs> if only. Uh, there was like an entry point though to that crater. You could see it there. It's like a station set up there. We're like fucking determined to like not do the first gym in the game. <laughs> God, this is a bit rough going. Fly into it. So I, I unfortunately with the flying, it, it catapults you down after a while. So I'm gonna need to actually just run around it. It's 
cool if there's even like a Magnezone up here. It seems to be the only thing though. Yeah, we'll just Skyrim horse it around. I wish it was possible to just do the champion, like, the Elite Four just already. God, I wish they did that. That would be so fucking funny. Just at any time, like, yeah, you can fight this unstoppable trainer. But, like, they go all out with it, and, like, they just give him, like, Arceus and shit. It's, like, team of all legendaries. Is that a Garchomp? <laughs> Garchomp, wait, 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 what are you doing, buddy? He's just taking off. <laughs> what the fuck? It looks like he's T-posing. Hey, buddy. I would love to fight you, but it's really hard to get your attention. Hey pal, you wanna come down? It's like a fucking kite. <laughs> yeah, come over. Come over. <laughs> Jesus. He fucking dropped. <laughs> okay, let's get him. Garchomp use Dig. God, this is actually gonna be really tough to take him. Um, I don't know what's best to just even weaken him here. Probably just go on the pretzel just for tankiness in general. Could have gone into Dragonite there, but like it's um, Dragon type and after. Why is Garchomp not standing? This is how they fly, apparently. It's <laughs> so broken looking. Get him, Pretzel! Pretzel, no! We could catch this if Pretzel cooperates. He's a full restore. That's a way to save the animation budget, I guess. It's just T posing. It's so jank looking. Get him, Pretzel. Pretty good. One more time. The bloody music. It's very country sounding for some reason, isn't it? Oh no, it killed it. Disaster. Disaster. Okay, well, see you later, Garchomp. I mean, what's this over here? <laughs> Let's just <laughs> break our legs real quick. Oh, it's like the Chosen Axew. What's its type? Oh, it's ground. That's actually kind of interesting on Axew. I think Axews can get Earthquake. Chosen boy. Yeah, I can just hurt it without fear of killing it, thankfully. Thanks to the crown. Always lives. It's 
get it. Nice. It does not have rivalry rejoice. Oh, does it not? That's actually amazing. I think you a nickname. I think we got an Axio at a different point in time. Okay, sure. I'll, I'll, I'll take it. Still need to get over to... I think that's where the center was? Right along the crater. It's so weird to me that they have like even a few Pokemon encounters out here. Like between like the Garchomp and the Magnezone. Just like the middle of fucking nowhere. Yeah, we can make it in. Oh, is that Pokemon? Not a Magnezone. Yeah, let's just uh, crash land in here. Head this way later. Ah! <laughs> Wait, what if there's a way to like clip out like over that area? Hang on. Because that's a very finicky area, like load zone there. That's a very finicky load zone. Man is determined to not do the third gym. Like resorts to glitching out the game to progress. There's something over there. We can go around the back of it. See it? It's in there. <laughs> oh, it's not letting me access it. They thought of that. They thought of that. There's gonna be so I I can already call it. There's gonna be some kind of like speed run skip for the game, and it's gonna be something to do with just getting past this little area and getting inside. <laughs> the fuck is happening out there? <laughs> oh, we're just not supposed to be in here, right? Okay. We just, uh, climb out out real quick. Don't go towards the light. Yeah, it's just, just like, locked here. Hey, give me ghoul, give me your coins. No one really comes on her, and it's just like a. Do you know anything about this, actually? You say there's a tunnel around here that leads into the Great Crater of Paldea. Yeah, I, I just went on the other side of it. I've been around. Thanks, NPC. I think you might be a bit over leveled. No, no, no. Okay, I think it might be time to finally tackle 
the first gym in the game. It might be time, because there's the we're getting to the point where we literally can't progress anything. <laughs> but honestly, as far as this run is concerned, I think we've done pretty damn well. Our Pokemon will obey us from the moment that we complete a gym, because we caught most of them when they were level 34. Uh, Dragonite won't for a while. Dra Dragonite's gonna take a bit longer. Could just try and get higher level Pokemon. Oh, there's your man's dog. Cute. Yeah, I, I want to get some balls too, so I can actually start catching this stuff. I want to get that too. I can't believe the game faked us out. Well, I think we could do the. Uh, Take on the Elite Four. <laughs> Quite funny. Yeah, I'm just I'm just gathering some stuff. My brain's on autopilot right now. Uh we could try a cheeky bit of exploration in some of the initial zones. Chosen Rock Ruff. The Elite Four said Gaslight Gatekeep. <laughs> well, have one of those. Have you considered Jim? Okay, you know what we can do? We can go back to the first area of the game. How about we do a thorough exploration? It might be time to actually check out some of the world. We can go catch some Pokemon. <laughs> Please just do the gym! <laughs> You don't need to do the gym, you have classes to attend. Oh yeah, sorry, do you want to like have the go to school arc? See what's going on here. Have you caught a gimme ghoul yet? Yeah, I, I got one in the chest earlier. They're cool. Go to school arc. Finally out of class. I'm finally in class. He's finally gonna get false swipe. I can believe it. Oh shit, is that how you get it? Because I've like ignored here the entire game. <laughs> oh, and it's left on the D pad too to change your outfit. I think someone mentioned that earlier. You can get a nice uniform. We've had the summer uniform this entire time. Oh, they don't give you many options, do they? Okay, we'll go we'll go with spring. We got a crew socks. We can wear our school gloves. I don't like the school gloves. Why don't I get the backpack? Oh, I can put on a new hat now. I can get one with a star. School helmet. <laughs> okay, we'll put on the we'll put on the star hat. We can add glasses, and we only have one phone case. There we go. We're all ready to take on the world. No notices. Oh, and this is how you emote, too. They're very rough with their transitions there. Wait, no, that one has expression. These ones do. Okay. Okay. 
Yes! Over here! Moten in the hallways. So I, I need to start like kind of talking to the characters then to see if I can get like false swipe and shit. Also, there's so many classes that like we've just ignored. Do we just go through them one by one? Welcome. Oh, this is, this is the actual school cafeteria. Here's the guy still trying to put Rotom in the microwave. Is this a school store? We haven't checked this out at all. <laughs> what they got in the school shop? Oh, it's, it's the same as every other shop, but they got lemonade, okay. Uh, actually, I shouldn't shouldn't sleep on the lemonade. 70 HP and it's cheaper. Be 40 cans of lemonade. Okay, biology lab, we'll go through them all. We'll go through them all, just see what's happening in school. Looks like Pikachu looks different depending on their gender. I don't know what the difference is. You know, bigger Pokemon are we here? There's some, someone in the city who loves seeing Pokemon that are really big or small. Hey, how's it going? Nima, thank you for finding your bits. The Daily Bird store has some pretty good stuff to buy, even Hell Limes. I checked it out once, but they didn't have much. Hi, hey, how you doing, Jacques? We, we've never talked to you. You've gotten used to things at the Academy, though. Glad to see you're having fun. You've been using the Pokedex app. I'm the one who made it, you know. Every time someone uses the app, using the app catches a Pokemon, that data gets sent to me. It really helped with my Pokemon research. Be sure to catch any new Pokemon you find and work on filling in your Pokedex. For your first goal, let's say, aim for 30. <laughs> yeah, Jacques, Jacques, we haven't been here in a while. We haven't been here in a while. Oh, this data, that's the best! Take these, consider it my way of saying thanks. Oh, we finally get false swipe. That's gonna be real good for catching stuff. We also have a hundred species for him. Little Pokemon, big Pokemon. Do you even have data on Pokemon of this specific size? Twenty Ultra Balls. Those are that's actually huge. We can't buy Ultra Balls yet. <laughs> Okay, 200 is next. We don't have that one. That's actually huge if we got Ultra Balls. Okay, there's an art room. He wants your data. <laughs> oh, this is actually really cool. Jesus Christ. My muck. I tried washing my muck at a picnic and it seemed to hate it. Jesus Christ, muck, muck is really disgusting. Like, look how much like this Pokemon's just seeping everywhere. Floor is gonna be a mess. <laughs> look at these. Look at poor Cactia like doing his best here. Like ditto. People are really good at drawing. You can make pictures that look as realistic as photos. Why not just use your camera app? Yeah, look at Ditto, he's so happy. <laughs> Bless. Found the gyms is important, but one must not neglect her studies. I, th I think we're good on the study front. I think the gyms is the, the problem. Yeah, home ec room.
Oh, look at this dude. <laughs> this you'll feel to relax and unwind if you wish. No need to concern yourself with me. I go up here is a little secret, got it? One in the cafeteria is always being used. I wonder if there's like any free items or that I can pick up. I'm just talking to the students. Like surely there's like some bits about the place. Bathroom? I don't know why I'm allowed in here. Oh yeah, we were here once before. I'm supposed to have classes with these people eventually. We, 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 we still haven't been to a class. How do I actually take a class? I don't know, I've never done it. Was it the front desk? It was the front desk, yeah, okay. Oh, Mr. Clavel is something for us again. I'll tell you how relieved I am that we were able to help Miss Penny as we did. Oh, she's exceedingly grateful to you for your part in all this. One more thing to ask of you. The request is admittedly of a delicate nature. I think you can continue being good friends with Miss Penny as you have thus far. You <laughs> just know. <laughs> It's not possible. Oh, he has a big nugget. Nice. Formed a close bond. You got anything else for us? He's giving us more shit every time we talk to him. Well, at least he... No, he hasn't actually before. He gave us something, though, after talking to him a lot. Big nugget's good. Yeah, it's 20 grand. Oh, the poor giraffe. <laughs> Little Pokemon nursery. Oh, when you get injured, you can bring him here to the nurse's office to get him healed up. This is quite cute seeing this. Hey there, come on in. Everyone's welcome in the nurse's office. I don't, I don't know why we introduced you by staring at your feet for a second, but it's nice to meet you too. What brings you here today? I don't see anything super wrong with you or your Pokemon. This is your first time here, isn't it? Oh, so I guess you transferred in recently. Must be lettuce, right? Everyone's been talking about you. There are all kinds of rumors. Apparently you fell off a cliff right after enrolling in the academy. Uh, I did actually. I don't know if she's referring to that one moment where we saw our legendary, but I, I've jumped off a lot of cliffs accidentally. Even picked a fight with Team Star. Oh yeah, you've started your treasure hunt thing, right? Don't tell me about anything super interesting you find out there in your adventures. And a bored just sitting here all day, you know? I don't have any classes to teach and students only come here to skip class. Yeah, drop by if you can. Deal? Deal. This is not a confidant, yeah. Let's see what the nurse gives us. Hey, how's it going? You toughened up a bit. Yes! I've got a hat now. Having a wild time out there. Super cool! Sure, I'm jealous of kids. You get to try out new things every single day. Me, on the other hand, I actually wanted to become a teacher. I'm just a school nurse, you know? I can't teach class or anything like that. She seems to be lamenting her position here. She's stuck forever in the nurse's office. God love her. Can you give me a TM if I talk to you more? Lie down and have a quick rest. Oh, they actually let you. That's cute. The nurse's trauma dumping. <laughs> Oh no. There's the schoolyard, there's the classrooms. My dorm room. Is there anything that ever happens in my dorm room? No, it really doesn't seem it. Oh, she's back outside. She's in the entrance hall now. She's moved. 
social side quest game. Let's go. We're never getting to the gym. <laughs> We're never getting there. Oh, hey, Lettuce. Sorry, are you looking for me? I've been away from the nurse's office lately. You need something from me. Yes. Hey, your Pokemon hurt. Just a sec. Here you go, a little first aid. So we really have an adventure out there, judging from those scrapes and cuts. Jesus, you're bleeding! <laughs> yeah, I guess it's pretty unusual for me to be out of the nurse's office like this. I'm actually go doing a bit of studying. Well, I'll try my best at the health teacher certification exam one more time. You can do it. So, you know, it's totally not because I'm inspired by a certain somebody working out of their treasure run, okay? We met five minutes ago. Already inspired her. Right, there she goes. You'll trust it by the nurse. Can I talk to her again? If she moved there, it seems like a lot of people are moving in and out of reality here too. Uh, all right, let's take a class. God, there's a lot of classes. Fuck it, let's learn home ec. Yeah, let's go. See what this is. We, we've, we've largely ignored this mechanic. See, we have some energetic young ones in our class this time around. You may call me Mr. Saguaro. The time when we would spend obtaining knowledge and skills indispensable for daily life. And if you've left to carry your parents to live here on your own in the academy dormitory. Pray that the knowledge I impart to you will improve the quality of your lives and the necessities thereof. Food, clothing, and shelter. Those three categories assume the most pressing and interesting for you all is food. Oh no, he's gonna tell us about how to make like new sandwiches. Oh, that's gonna be his entire class. Yeah, sandwich class. No. They've gone all fucking in on the sandwich mechanic in this game. <laughs> like, what? Let's see, Miss Les, tell me, what must you keep in mind to receive even more powerful, helpful meal powers? My choice of fillings and condiments. Oh, I see someone knows about their sandwiches. There's a sweet ingredients help you gain egg power. Numerous bitter ingredients can give you item drop power. How do I get make the shiny power sandwich? Can you teach me that, Mr. Eduardo? I must say I would feel the utmost joy you all came, all learned much here in my class and came to better understand home economics. A sandwich class has been attended. Knowledge up. It really feels it, yeah. And, and oh god, they all like. Okay, there's. There's a lot of these. Like, there's just mats? <laughs> sure. Just learn mats. See what's going on. Like today we're learning long division. Let me ask you a quick question. Do you enjoy numbers, arithmetic, and the like? Sort of. Uh. <laughs> oh my, thank you for your honest responses. Some of you may like numbers and some may not. I think that makes a wonderful mix. No matter your opinion on math, I hope you find yourselves yourselves enjoying our lessons together. I'll do my best to find a good way to match up your interests with all types of math lessons. Speaking of which, are you all caught up in your studies of Pokemon type matchups? Okay, right, that's what that's what's gonna be happening here. The move water gun hits a fire type Pokemon, what becomes of the move's damage? It's double. Teaching your type matchups. Okay, so it's not really mats. It's mats in the sense that like multiplied by two. Okay. That's how they're gonna make mats fun. And the class is over. Well, being multiplied by two was enough for today. The very short class. Is there any benefit to doing this? 
It seems like I can just like marathon cutscenes. There is a benefit. You learn how to make a sandwich. Oh, okay. It stops you from doing gyms. It's like, what if, like, for today's stream, instead of doing the third gym, we spend the next three hours just going to school? <laughs> no, we, we gotta do the gym, guys. Please, please do all the classes. Please. Responsible person challenge. I want to get out and explore the world. I want to get out and explore. History class is a bit of lore. Oh, oh shit. Okay, we got to do history. We got to do history. How many of these classes are there? This seems like there's a lot. We have new students here with us today. My name is Rifle. Have you won the knowledge of the past to your little minds? History is a wonderful thing, truly splendid. The lives of our ancestors throughout history forged the path to the present in which we live. Today you should learn about the most mysterious location in all of Paldea, the Great Crater. As you are all aware, a massive crater known as the Great Crater of Paldea exists in the heart of our region. The area inside this crater is called Area Zero. The research of its geological strata and material composition has shown that the crater is in fact over one million years old. Does long believe that a certain something rests at the bottom of this mysterious crater? Perfect time to make eye contact, young lettuce. Answer me this. What exactly was believed to rest in the depths of the Great Crater inside Area Zero? <laughs> the Snorlax or a Pokemon set? <laughs> it's just one big Snorlax. Incorrect and affordable answer to be sure. Or were you perhaps fooled by my use of rest? The correct answer is treasure. That's right, so... Some believe, if you said the right answer, that's what, it would just cut to the scene. That's right! Some believe that a treasure more valuable than anything else in this world rests in the depths of the Great Crater. So much for Dreams treasure hunting, though, as the lab has been built in those very same depths. Before I forget, you all do well to remember the Great Crater and Area Zero are both off-limits. All but those who have official business there. You want to entertain the foolish notion of gallivanting off to Area Zero in search of riches. There's no place for children dreaming of treasure and adventure. Besides, if it were all possible to investigate the area, I would surely be the first to do so. Like, don't go there, but also, there's loads of treasure, but don't go for it! I know you're on a treasure hunt, don't go down there! Wait, was Lavender there? Did you see Lavender? No, I didn't. History, I'll go- oh, hang on, I'll go in the history class again. I didn't see him. Oh, it is Laventon! Yeah, it's like the picture behind her! On the board, it's his hat! Students, my little students, whatever you did yesterday is now part of history. They will continue to unravel the marvels that history has presented to us. About 2,000 years ago, this region came under the rule of the Paldean Empire. Historical accounts describe the Paldean Emperor as being quite the dictator. The Emperor also zealously believed the legend of the treasure that rests deep within Area Zero. I must mention that the civilizations of our ancestors were not as developed as ours is today. People back then were far more likely to believe in mysterious legends, magic, and beings beyond human comprehension. In an attempt to gain the power to stand against Paldea's neighboring countries, the Emperor sent people in droves. Join the hunt for the fabled treasure of Area Zero. Perfect timing. Okay, so actu actual lore here. Ask me how many years ago was it the Paldean Empire began to rule this region? You said 2000. Surprisingly clever one, aren't you? I see you listen intently to my lecture. The answer is about 2000 years ago. That's when the Great Era, era of Exploration began. Where it said not a single adventurer sent out by the Emperor ever reached the depths of Area Zero. Was it the punishing journey itself that barred their way, or perhaps some unknown creature? The sound and failure of this great era of exploration almost certainly heightened the air of mystery surrounding the crater. I wouldn't give the explore area zero in its untouched its un, in its untouched state at that time. But I suppose I can only hope for the swift invention of a time machine. 
Okay, history class. History class actually might have some important shit here. History class is actually quite interesting. Oh, it's gone! Oh no, there was only two classes! It's gone! Oh no, do you think it's bound by the amount of badges you have? I think it is! <laughs> I only have two badges! The game's not gonna let us progress school anymore anymore! Just anymore? Oh! Oh no, we can't! The locked out of school! Like, do the fucking gym! Do the gym! <laughs> oh god. Okay, but what if- what if we just explore the world a bit? What if we just explore? What if there's something more out there? Enjoy your adventure, else. Yo, there's a lot of terror dens we can still do. If I open the poker port. Where's the deadly bird shop again, actually? I want to check that to see what its stock was. It's around here somewhere. Oh, that's an item. Oh, they definitely respawned though. I already got that one before. You need to train before the first gym. We might get, we might get in trouble. This is the deli bird shop. Yep, yeah, this one can have like good stuff. Deli bird presents. See, this one this one sells like a lot of battle items. This is where I got the the I think I got the muscle band here before. General goods. You can get all the power weight items. Pokeball. Sadly, there's nothing new we can get. You can get a new phone case. God, the, the, these are kind of kind of scare me. No one wants the Quaxley case. Uh, I mean, we gotta pick up green. We gotta pick up green. Anything else we can offer you? It's the era of exploration! <laughs> oh, the game did not like that. Fucking flawless masterpiece. <laughs> oh, we're just okay, yeah, we're just teleported here. You can explore, but not there. Yo, there's probably like a lot in these starting areas that we have missed. Like there, there's like a gimme ghoul already with coins. There's probably a lot that we haven't, like, uncovered at all. And there's probably a lot of Pokemon, too, that we simply haven't captured. And we can we can actually get these ones, too. I can see, like, a Pachirisu off the bat. If I teach something False Swipe, then we can actually gather some of these. Might be able to just catch some of them outright just because of the weak. There's the stakes as well. We pulled a stake before. Surely there's something going on with those. It's time to finish the Pokedex. <laughs> yeah, let's just explore a little bit and just see if there's any like cool shit we can find. Cause there does seem to be stuff that's actually like dotted everywhere. And we have absolutely missed a lot of it. We haven't been in this area, like, since the start of the game. 
I feel like with how we've been playing it too, we, we've missed a lot of cool shit. Like, even like basics, like start by going to the top of that mountain. See if there's something going on there. It's absolutely Pokemon we've never encountered. I need to teach something False Swipe. Yeah, I should just run for a mo. What what can learn False Swipe? Open a lot can. Also, where is False Swipe? Uh, Heracross can learn it, but Heracross doesn't listen to us very much. But the odds of actually getting False Swipe off are astronomically low, but... You try it. Like, m maybe it'll work. Let's try to get this Survivor. Get him, Heracross. They don't do the sparkle effect if it's like a wild battle. Only if it's trainer battle. Good job, Heracross. Teach Metronome to Taffy and Hope. I don't think that's gonna work. <laughs> like, our best bet to get this. We could actually just spend like a lot of time completing the Pokedex here. <laughs> I never get into this gym. I just want to have a little explore. I'll catch a few bits. There's a Zangoose here. I'd be down for that so chill. God, the Yi still is, is all for catching Pokemon too. Like he's on board with this plan. It's actually such a cool shiny to get. It's such a, like a vibrant color. Ah, but thank you for a thousand bits. Thank you very much. Hope you're well. Hope you enjoy playing the game soon. I checked the Deadly Bird shop in my game and I have more item options. It's badge tied. That's real unfortunate. <laughs> It's really unfortunate. <laughs> like, well, guess we can't go shopping a while. Oh, hello, friend. So we got we got you already. There's still trainers to battle as well, and like all the TM rewards you get for that. Which we've also largely missed. We might do some chill Pokedex streams at some point. On a more serious note, outside of me just like fucking around here, we might just do some like Pokedex like kind of hunting. And just try and capture everything. That seems to be quite a bit, and like maybe even like going back and fighting some of these guys. I don't think there's much point in doing it right now because like the, re the rewards are pitiful. We're also like such a vastly higher level. Like level 20. <laughs> Did you get a shiny Heracross? I did. I got very lucky at the start of today's stream. He doesn't stand a chance, this poor guy. <laughs> no, ye still.
Oh, fucking disaster. Come on, you still... You won't obey. At least if the confusion thing comes up, it means that the move went through. So we know that. You still why? <laughs> you still We're gonna die to so many low level Pokemon. Oh, maybe the battles are harder than I thought. I shouldn't I shouldn't have spoke like uh, so strongly about him so soon. This is this is uh, increasingly more difficult than I gave credit for. It's actually one of the harder Pokemon games I think they've made in recent years, you know, they really upped it. He still please. He's gonna die. He's gonna die. How did we get this far? It's actually so bad. He still. Oh wait, he connected the move. Get him, he still. Thank God. Lost almost all his health, but then picked up the kill. He got it in the end. Oh, Jesus. It's a, tough, it's a tough game. Hardest Pokemon they've been in recent years. Appreciate all the difficulty. So injured after that. Okay, top of the mountain. There's got to be something cool there. Thank God, we already have this room, which we don't need to worry about it. I'll do a proper Pokedex hunt once we someday get those gym badges. I think doing, uh, trying to complete the Pokedex without the badges is gonna be torturous. I think that would be, like, awful, and I don't know, even know if it's possible. Just because everything has, like, a, like, so basically, if you don't have the badges, it's higher to catch higher level Pokemon. It's how they kind of gate the bit of the game. It was a shiny? I don't think so. Is that shiny thing down there? Why would you force yourself to play with Brawl Trippin? <laughs> basically what it is. I've decided like this is the proper way to play. Oh, there's one of these. Wait, there is something else we can do. There's, there's like several of these. There was a shiny squab blue at the bottom of the mountain, was there? To be honest, I did not see it. Behind you. I, I see that. Go, goat. Shiny mag. Yeah. Okay, you you guys just fuck it with me, right? I'm not. I'm not. <laughs> you just missed it. There's no swablu there. Clip or it didn't happen. Yeah. This is the regular swab loop. Oh, despawned. You just missed it. I don't. I don't think there was one. 
shiny Karida. <laughs> I think more people would have been freaking out about the shiny if there had been one. I think we're good. Turns out this is where you got Larvitars all this time too. We probably should have looked here sooner. Probably should have looked here sooner. Okay, we're looking for the stakes then. Like, whereabouts are they gonna be? I mean, that one's on top of the mountain, so I'm guessing like points of interest? The fuck is that? It's like a circle. Oh, hey, Wooper. Head on over here, let's pick this up. South Province Area 1. Oh, we made it to this pond before, didn't we? But like a long, long while ago. We never made it over to whatever this is. What the hell is this? Faint writing is carved into the shrine. Herein lie sealed the runous tablets. Oh, this has to be lit. Yeah, that's the stakes then. All right, we gotta get the stakes. That's absolutely what that is. God, oh, but they, they really could be anywhere, couldn't they? Try and pick this up. Like, that one stake was pretty high up. I don't think I've seen another stake. Well, like, another stake in this area. A lot of the gimme girls. Just they like to hang out at the ruins. Um, okay, if we look at the map, where realistically do we think another stake could be? South Province. South Province. I'm guessing it's in this area. This mountain, and maybe this whole, like, pass here. That's all spaghetti. If I had to guess, it's one in that swamp. I'm trying to think what game logic would be. These are going to be positioned around the place to kind of make you go there. It's in the gym. Uh, good one there, good one there, gang. Hop it, please. Yeah, let's try go up here and have a look. Oh, it's like the big dog, yeah. How's it going? Give me go so much just like collectible shit everywhere. Island all the way out there. That that feels like it could be like a stake location. I wouldn't be surprised if one ended up there. I think there's gonna be one in this swamp. They're gonna be out of the way or something like that. They gotta be where like they're gonna be harder to find.
That's a lot of gimme ghouls as well. I'm only starting to notice them now. Chosen Flamingo. Oh, you found a mass outbreak of wild Psyduck. Monsters. Guy doesn't like Psyduck, apparently. They're gonna be hidden. They're gonna be hidden. Let's try let's try that island. Maybe this little beach. Check the internet and there are eight purple stakes. All of them are inside gyms except the ones you found. <laughs> okay, thanks. This is cute. Oh yeah, the sand, the sand one made it back in too. Chalos is here as well. I didn't realize he was in the game. Sandstorm. Give me cool coins. Head out to that island real quick. There might be something. Is this a steak hunt stream now? But you guys remember when we did like the Diglett search? I think they've made a new version of it. I think they've made a brand new version of it. What are you, what are you doing out here? <laughs> Pick up Surf. Sure, we have we have to fight her. She's like all the way out in the middle of nowhere. She's gotten very lost on the way to school. Put away the whole item. We don't need the life orb right now. There's a woman named Miriam working at your school. She and I once worked together. Oh, that's the nurse. What are you doing standing out on this island? We used to work together until I was shipwrecked. She's stranded on an island with a surf TM. Yeah, there's actually something not quite right there. Also has a water type Pokemon. The model trainer class. Okay. Miriam and I used to work together at a Pokemon Center once upon a time. Of course, we've, got, we've each gone down our own path, but I'm glad to hear she's still doing her best. Why is she here? We're so far from civilization. I'm also surprised the game lets you go this far out into the water. I thought it would have turned us around, like, way sooner. Can I just do, like, a lap around the region? I imagine it's not going to let me just go into the ocean forever. Found a mass outbreak of Magikarp. They, they, they were just waiting for me here. Hello, friends. Oh, wait. This is... I've been hoping to see this one. They finally made a dolphin Pokemon. Look at him. Go Pokemon. Oh. 
Uh, we may need to weaken him. Oh, it's so cute. Right, get him, ye still. Oh yeah, Heracross can fly, that's right. It's actually kind of cool. But he's still pretending not to notice anyway. <laughs> he's still, please. We're gonna, we're gonna be here a while. <laughs> Aqua Jet, we might, there's hope yet. Nope. Please don't dive. There you go, ye still. We got him. First try. First try. Okay, and catch it in a luxury ball. He's a nice one. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> I did have actually some quick balls. I have a dive ball. That seems appropriate. There we go. Finizen was caught. Dolphin Pokemon finally added to the game. Took a very long time. That's so cute. That's so cute. Okay, pop it away for now. That's so cute. Oh, Echo, that doesn't fit the name and scheme. We name them all after food. <laughs> There's more of them just like about here too. Wait, was that a gimme goal? I thought I just saw something in the water. Oh, this is a shelter. They dive under the water quite a bit. There's a tentacruel down there, is it? There's a tentacruel. Surprised even out here, like, there's so many Pokemon spawns. Like, they really want to make sure that you've always got Pokemon. There's a dolphin school. Love this too. Let's keep going. Another beach up ahead. We're definitely like a bit away from the uh, stakes that we were looking for. Oh, it's like the Toxapex one there too, under the water. I can see him. Just have to wait for him to come up. Damn, I thought we were close to finding a stake in that ocean. How could there not have been one? Tauros gang. One of these days we'll make it back to the gym. I want to find more stakes if I can. I do I do get the feeling this may be one of those things where it's like, yeah, you want to check a guide. 
But we did do Diglett last time without that. Very shiny flower. We did do Diglett last time. It could be a matter of principle. This map is a lot bigger than the Isle of Armor. It is. Oh, give me that. Hop that. Yo, know, I'm just casually like shiny hun, that's all it is. Trying to see what we can find out in the wild. They're way too well hidden. I mean, I found a few though. Oh yeah, the koala Pokemon's back. He just sleeps all day. By accident. Yeah, but think of how many I'll find, like, now that I'm actively searching for them. Track them all down. Is you find me take history class? I can't take history class anymore. We finished all our classes. Yeah, there's gotta be something up here. The music's died, that's how you know. That, that, that's a big hill. It's gonna be harder just to spot them just because of like the render distance, I think, more than anything. <laughs> you have to be very close until they appear. This is a Flareon. Track down most of the evolutions as we've gone. It might also only appear at night. I, I don't think that's the case, is it? We got one during the day. We got the last one during the day. Oh, there's our little guy. What's RT looking for? We're looking for, like, stakes in the ground. That are presumably all over the world. There was one on top of that mountain. And we're just like grabbing as many items as we possibly can in the meanwhile. Avatar, how you doing? I was just cautiously checking, like, shiny? But, um... I mean, I hope we'll spot him. We got the Yido. How densely packed do you think the, the stakes are gonna be as well? There wasn't one by the swamp, I don't think, in the end. And we go. Tower there. One per zone, maybe. Yeah, but it's hard to tell even where the zone boundaries lie. The map is so sprawling, <laughs> like. I would have thought there'd be one in the like the swamp area, for instance. Uh there's there simply was not. 
Oh, there's gonna be gimme ghouls just everywhere. I doubt you're gonna need to get every single one of them for something. Just coins in general. So around those fancy doors you found. Yeah, so the fancy door was in this area. We can just explore a while. I'm okay with that. I'm having fun exploring it anyway. We're getting like loads of cool items and shit. You know, so it's, it's not like we're getting like absolutely nothing out of it. Like we're actually picking up a lot of useful stuff. Finally exploring a bit of the world too that we've been meaning to. Home in the world. Hey, man, how you doing? So that, like, that, that's what the door was down there. Take more stuff. Someone's made a map already. That's cool. Yeah, I, I, I've no, I know, no doubt they have. But sure, we just want to look. Like I'm happy just looking a while. I want to explore the region. I'm not at the point where it's like right. Where it's like the Prima Games guide, you know. appreciate the game giving me like way more quick balls lately too. Those are gonna be handy. I doubt there's another one on this mountain just because it like this is where we found the, the initial one. For this area. Search continues. We, we could finally go over to that left area. <laughs> I don't think we've actually been there. I don't understand what he's looking for. I'm looking for a stake in the ground. We found one. We're trying to see if we can find more. We've never been up this mountain. We've never even explored like over here. Like look, there's like a TM like just sitting here. Look how close that was to like where we started. We have not touched this area. Just checking out some of the Pokemon while we go too. I'm gonna go back and catch them all later. Uh, just with quick balls and shit. Cause it's just easier. It's just way easier. This looks promising for us. This is where I'd hide a stake. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> this is what we're looking for. Pretty good. I think we might be actually three of eight as well. I think while I was like just grinding around last night, I think I found one like on that bit of hill there. See that what spot there just over the Pokemon Center? I think I found one there. Can't quite remember. It might be three out of eight. 
if it's eight, if people are saying. Search that lighthouse area, yep. Yeah. I think there was one I got. Might have been here. Oh, this is just a gimme go. I love how they just sit in the box. Static encounter. Northeast of Lost Plateau. So, you know what? I, I sure go on. Yeah, we'll look for them together, chat. Some people might know where they are. You can like vaguely direct me. Let's try and find them. We're gonna try and get them in this uh this starting area. Not gonna look up like a direct guide with like pinpoint accuracy, but like vague directions. We're gonna try and track them. It's not in the gyms. So northeast of the town, someone was saying. This might be the one that I got before, if it's just up here. Cloth area has one. Oh, we saw the one with the cloth area, I think, before. We couldn't reach it. Turn around. Is it over here somewhere? Here we go. To your left, up there. Yeah. I kind of want. Yeah, I, I want to see like what what we get for all the stakes. I want to see. So let's do them. Donkey boy. Up here somewhere? Mm. Search continues. This might have been where I got one. Was there supposed to be one here? Can't remember. I got one on like a hilltop in this zone. That's where it was supposed to be. Okay. Right, there were, th so there's one apparently by like the cloth area. Is that the right color stake that we're looking for? There's like there's like a few of these. We found ones in other areas before. It's not okay. All right, well let, let, let's go to the cloth area then. Cloth area is in here. We haven't been back here since, like, we've accessed all, like, our terrain abilities. No badges, didn't you defeat Iono yesterday? I did, but it's like, I don't have enough, like, I have no badges as in my Pokemon don't obey me. And we've been avoiding gyms. Even now we're still avoiding them. Just to try and explain that, I was talking about it earlier. There we go. There's one. Crumbled and vanished. Okay, where are we headed next? Where are we going? Pick up more of these as we go. Oh, he's like the Charlos guy. He's actually quite cool. I get him. Back at that. Just, uh, yeah, just go, go quick, ball. We have a few here. Wow, we could have got him, like, way earlier. <laughs> they put him in quite early spot in the game. Come on, friend. Oh, 
I'm worried that if I switch in uh, Heracross, he'll slowly die. <laughs> but like, painfully so. Look at that little mushroom go. Jeez, he's got a low catch rate. Okay, we'll let him go for now. We'll let him go for now. We'll track him down later. It's such an ordeal catching just the ordinary Pokemon right now. Pretty rare. We'll find it again. It's fine. I fate. Great crater up how there. Oh wait, are we going into it again? Hang on. Yeah, we are. Isn't that a Magnezone? They like patrol the perimeter. God, it's so eerily quiet when you get up there. Okay. So where on like our PS2 overhead view of like this savanna zone do we think we're going? You can use the tower, the lake, and the Pokemon Center as reference points. Northeast. Like, there, is it? There's some low down areas here. He just fucking nose dive. Give me that. Have you got any stakes? Checking all the corners. Vague directions continue. Close to here. Off with a sign pointing this direction. Playing, we're getting a lot of repeat TMs now. Not the worst thing though. Oh, uh, maybe up here? Heavy slam. There's gonna be like the quantity of even good items that are just everywhere. Like, you get so many compared to any other Pokemon game. You're definitely just gonna be able to, like, constantly get materials in this game. If you want that. Like, items and shit. Yeah, we still think in, like, northeast a bit, is it? What? Oh, I'm... Hey, how's it going, bud? Oh, apologies, friend. Just go east now, okay? Head up here. Continue our search. I feel like they're always in like on these like slightly raised bits or hills. What's your favorite new Pokemon so far? Uh Tinkaton. There's one between the transition and biomes. Oh god, right. Uh What 
Will Dan complete the Pokedex? I will. I will eventually do it. I, I aim to do everything in this game. That includes even, like, champion the sandwich mechanics. We did the curry decks before, we can do sandwiches. Go west, go back. What's that? Oh, that's a rookie beat. That was something else. It's maybe down low. Do you think it's in like the valley? Most of them have been kind of like raised up. In that crevice between orange and green. Hey, give me go. Like the the Reddit icon Pokemon. Here? It's boink. It's between these areas, is what we've been told. There's a tunnel in here. Maybe? It'd be nice if it was that straightforward. North of this. <laughs> we're, on, we're on like full chat nav right now trying to work this out. What are we looking for? We're looking for a stake in the ground. There it is. This is our target. Okay, yeah, another purple one. Purple ones are the ones we want right now. Okay, next is southwest. Let's go. Southeast. Southeast. This way, is it? Oh, it's this one. Yeah, we can we can check him off. If we just throw a quick Pokeball. Yo, I'm sure how you doing? <laughs> I like Young Goose. I kind of hate this guy. <laughs> like he looks awful. <laughs> Detective really went south after the Ace Attorney series edit. It's the only role he could get, yeah. Got fired from the force again. Salary was cut too significantly. Have I been up there? I feel I, I have, I have. It's so hard to tell. Not a nugget. Okay, we still going southeast, is it? There's another one of those little fellas. Where's chat nav pointing us? Southeast? It's 
next to the town. Up here? Talk to the history teacher. I, I don't know how many times we've said we cannot do that. There's no more classes. Oh, wow. Look at that windmill go. God, it's doing its best. It's doing its best. Okay. Where are we going? That's another one obtained. Six of eight. Back west. That off again. Keep on going. Jeez, what was that? <laughs> Shadows loaded. <laughs> Yeah, we still we still going west? How's the steak hunt looking? We're getting most of them. Okay, we're still going west. We're back in this zone, is it? Keep going west. Next is on the edge of the dirt from the crater. It's like up there, is it? Nothing in the title is correct. <laughs> it's not a Pokemon marathon. He's not being stupid about it. His Pokemon obey him fine. we going from here? Go backwards some, okay? This bit of dirt here, I'm still guessing. Keep on top of it here. You have two gym badges not done. I've, I've tried to explain it though, why I've said that. I've tried to explain why I've said that. We don't have the badges we need. I can update it. I don't have enough? <laughs> I, okay, hang on. Right, right, here you go. I lack. <laughs> there you go. Lack badges. Okay, uh, south from here, is it? Thank you as ever, chat and have. <laughs> Go south towards the river. Go. Pick up these just as I go. Get some nice points.
Always gotta check on top of just the big pillar. That's where, that's where half of them have been. Buy the bridge thing over the river. Are you on top of this? Oh, th th this bit of dirt here, you mean? No, the other bridge. Other bridge to the south. Oh, okay. Oh yeah, there's this one here. I didn't even see that. Alright. I'll uh, need to climb up a little bit here. Down here? I don't see it. Down by the supports. Down here? On the green. I don't see it here. He's so close. He's so close. Where are we looking? Other side of the dam here? Close look around the bridge. Oh, I really don't see it. I'll keep looking. It's further south, like over here? It's getting a bit further away. No, too south. <laughs> We'll find this stake. We'll find this stake. It's around this bridge somewhere. Is what we know. There's nowhere else to really go down. Unless it's down there. Okay, here we go. You might have gotten this. He's already got this. <laughs> uh, okay, all right. That's all right. That's all right. This must be the one I already got before. <laughs> That's all right. Uh, where else we gotta go? There's two more. Then there's two more. We're terrible GPS. We've got no you're grand. You're grand. We got most of them. We got most of them. There's two more. If we do them now, then like it's just done and we know which ones we've gotten already. One guy has said go south. I've got the one on top of the hill. I've got the one on top of the hill. Oh, there's the look of these. Go up. No, I've gotten that one. Go like southeast. Oh, jeez, the fucking birds. <laughs> I keep stepping on them. Okay, southeast. Southeast, yeah? 
Try over here. Keep going this way. Step in the snom earlier, it happens to the best of us. You just look down at your foot from time to time, like, no, oh, not another one. Okay, where, where, where are we going, gang? Where are we going? The only direction has been southeast. Are we still going southeast? There's one at the lighthouse. Now, okay, lighthouse. We'll do the lighthouse in a moment then. Someone said go this direction though. We're gonna try to go this direction. You saw it. Did I? Where was it? We saw it. Okay. Okay, compass directions, there we go, south, thank you. There it is. Another stake. Oh yeah, I think we've done it. You heard a mysterious cry coming from the shrine. Alright, we got it. Got it. Good job. Good, good job, gang. Chat Nav has accomplished this goal. Let's have a look in here. A massive shield. A faint sound is coming from within the shrine. Will you touch the shrine? Oh. Kerbang. Oh shit, look at this dude. Scribe. The snail. Tablets of Rune, weaken the attack of all surrounding Pokemon. <laughs> Look at this guy, he's so cool. Okay. Gotta be careful. Don't burn. He's got Giga Drain. Uh, okay, how do we power- yeah, I think we just go in the taffy and we try to get paralysis. He's so cool looking. Ruin nation. Oh, good god. <laughs> was that half? I think that was half. Get him, Taffy. Oh, damn it. Yeah, we, we gotta get paralysis off. Taffy, no. It's time to play the age old game. really different, but it's cool. Wo Chien. Thunderwave. Taffy, no! <laughs> Taffy! 
Ruination. Yeah, that always deals half. That's like nature's madness. Thunder Wave! Okay, how do we get it lower? One flamethrower. I think in the I think a flamethrower can get it. If I use my uh, song ability, a uh, song attack. Could also just try shadow ball it. That works. So you can hold this to kind of reset the camera a bit. Okay, it's looking good. As long as we don't crit it, I can weaken it some more. I don't know if I take that chance though. Maybe I just like toss an Ultra Ball from here. Oh, he's gonna be hard to catch. He's gonna redrain his health, uh, regain his health a bit. It's actually not a bad thing for me. That gives me more of a safety net to weaken him. Get him with a Shadow Ball. I can get one more. It's not gonna crit. Okay, there we go. Uh, we should probably just heal Pepper, because Pepper can tank the hits, like, remarkably well. Pepper's probably best equipped for him. Like our bulkiest Pokemon. The one that halves our health is going to be annoying, but if it's anything like Nature's Madness, the power points are actually very low. <laughs> Such a tease. I can pop off a shadow ball from here. Close. Don't crit. Uh, are we in timer ball range? At five. I can never remember how many turns it is. Yeah, we are. Okay. Let's go. Get him. Just trying to ruin us again. I really want to catch him just to see what his stats are. Oh. He's cool. Last time we're all come on. Oh. Doesn't want to get in the ball. We have our ultra balls for this though. I mean this is a, this is a good use for them. 
I don't think I have any other type of ball that is like worthwhile here. Nest, because it's a lower level. Probably not. Needs to be significantly. God, he's healing a bit. Pop off another shadow ball. That's handy. And then I probably need to max potion again. Come on. He doesn't want to go. It's annoying how he likes to use that move. It's like specifically after I've healed. <laughs> like the AI knows. Like, oh yeah, they'll, they'll hate this. Yeah, we're in low catch rate uh, hours here. It's gonna be tricky. I think I need to heal again. Whenever he gets me down to about like 20. Dude is not having it. No, he's not. Oh god, he's been holding out on that move a while. <laughs> Get him. Please, sir. Oh. <laughs> God almighty. I can try the East or the East will at least resist. The problem with just spam false swipe is it's very unlikely false swipe is gonna go true. <laughs> For safety, it's probably, it probably actually makes sense to sword stance and false swipe. Yeah, I think that makes more sense. I think we might... Yeah, this is the problem. <laughs> this is absolutely the problem. Can't rely on the yeast still. Our Pokemon don't obey us, remember. We don't have the gym badges. Come on, ye still. <laughs> I wonder whose fault that is. Do you not understand the concept of a challenge run? It's like if my Pokemon faints and I'm doing a Nuzlocke run, you're like, well, if you didn't do the Nuzlocke, your Pokemon be alive right now. Guess it's your fault, huh? It's as if we're to doing a self-imposed challenge because it's quite entertaining and fun. <laughs> no, ye still. Just get him with a false swipe quickly. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
Why don't you just use the level 90 DLC Persona to steamroll Persona 5? I don't understand. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Okay, Martini, you're just gonna tank a while. I've had an absolute blast playing this. I didn't mean to set out and do a challenge run for this game. Honestly, I did not. But it just worked out that way because of like, the way we played the game. And honestly, I'm thankful we did it. It's been wild. Those battles would not have been as intense as they were if we were just playing normally. We had to like fight for our victories. Jeez, this guy does not want to get in the ball, also. <laughs> he does not want to go. The capture rate may unfortunately be too low because it's a combination of legendary and also we lack badges. It may be physically impossible to capture him if you think about it that way. But we might get him at this point, but like, I'm honestly not- I don't mind if he wipes or something like that. Because we just save our balls and we can come back and do it later. We might have to just let him go. Same time, we also caught this Don fan at like full HP by just chucking an Ultra Ball at it. You know, so like, who knows what's possible these days? It's kind of hard to tell. I'm gonna let it just knock us out. If it comes to it. I'm gonna just keep tossing balls. If we get it, we get it, and it's fantastic. If not, that's okay. Does not having gym badge make catch rate difficult? I believe so. That's what people were I, I think that's how it works. Ending above level 30 is increasingly difficult to catch. It's a miracle we got this far. Legendary or something. Yes. <laughs> yeah, if he knocks out Broccoli, that's it. Also, the sand's gonna be a bit unfortunate here. We are on the clock. Oh no! <laughs> We were a bit more on the clock than we'd like to admit. Okay, that's as low as he goes. No, the sand! The sand! No! He became sealed in the shrine again. Okay, that's actually nice of the game. It's kind to you there. So even if you do knock him out, he just goes back in. That's nice. Yeah, we're gonna- we'll go back and try- attempt to get him later. We're gonna attempt to get him later. Um, cause we can attempt to get him at a point when we actually have badges and we actually have access to the timer balls, crucially. Timer balls is like the severe thing, cause that would just make that significantly easier. It also would help, you know, if our Pokémon obeyed our orders. Which they currently do not. That would make these fights significantly easier and open up some of the strategies available to us. Your map to find your next destination. Well, that was fun. Thank you for helping me get the stakes anyway, though, chat. That's really cool. 
We have all that just done now. I, I know there's more of them in other areas than that, but like, I think we've done enough stake searching for now. I think that's enough stake searching for now. It's finally time. I think. Gather all the gimme ghouls. Let me see how many point coins I have. See how many we're on. <laughs> I'm just fucking with you. <laughs> it's, it's so easy to wind you up. <laughs> Get all 999. Oh, Jesus. Oh, Jesus. Yeah, I, I think it's time. I think it's time. Um, for the sake of, like, kind of story progression and that, that we actually get the badges. Because we're not even going to be able to catch all the Pokemon. Because so many of them are going to resist. It will be an ordeal. Uh, one that I do not think is worth it. But for what the challenge has been, like, this last day. Well, like, day and today. Uh, th this has been, like, one of the most interesting runs I've ever done in a Pokemon game. By far. Uh, I'm I'm very happy with what we tried to do. Uh, I thought it was really fun. I'm amazed we got as far as we did. We completed the other two like main quests in the game, from what I can tell. Do the gyms from last to first. So we already did the last gym. <laughs> we already did the last one. We've been we've been putting in work to say the least. That was our second gym. And we, we, we beat Starfall Street, we beat the Path of Legends, the Titans. We also somehow managed to find a shiny Pokeball on the way. It's... Okay, gang. It's finally time to face our third gym. We're gonna finally set off down the road to it. I think for this one, yeah, we, it's got to be the first one. We have to do the first one. I want to see how, like, comically stupid this is going to be. over this hill and get there. It's like, just look at it, it's like, done a little bit of grinding, gang. I think we're finally ready to face this gym. First one in the game, you know, I want to make sure I'm prepared. Oh, Toxel. I have, a, I have two quick balls, I can try to get it. Oh, hey, gang. They're, they're just trying to kill me in the background right now. Oxal acquired. It's Rock Tomb. Is there, like, there, there's like a tunnel path or something here, isn't there? Oh no, it starts from over there, I see it, okay. This is all walled in. Because how they, they want you to progress from the first town. Basically guide you there, and then 
the world opens up. Jesus, that's fucking lagging. <laughs> Finally time to explore the left side of the map. South Province Area 2. Never been here. The first time. <gasps> They're finally here! We found you, friend! We finally found you! Do we have a nice ball for Marie? I, I have a luxury ball. Hang on. Okay, so uh, if I go into the yeast store and we try to get a false white buff. Trumpet has been acquired. Hopefully. Let's not accidentally kill her now. Come on, ye still. Yeah, I, I, I think we're gonna be able to take a fair few hits here. Okay, luxury ball, go. This is another one watching. <laughs> Marie has been caught. Crumpet is finally here. She's coming home. At the party. Uh, see you later, Yeastle. <laughs> You've taken my sister from me. What have you done? Trumpet acquired. Ah, uh, not a bad nature. Sub special attack, at least. Not terrible. Not terrible. Oh, bless. Mareep is so cute. <laughs> hey, Mareep's been acquired. Uh, so, this could very well be the final team if we wanted to be that. I feel like if we could get a shiny Mareep, that actually would be cool, though. It would kind of match, like, the weird pink kind of red aesthetic we have. <laughs> it would be cool. Um, but I don't think we embark on that hunt just yet. I think a shiny Mareep is like a pink sheep. If you ever see it. Before the gym, get the shiny. <laughs> no, no, not again. No. <laughs> we'll never finish the game. We'll be here forever. I don't even know how I shiny hunted here. There's like no packs or anything. You shiny hunted cupcake. Okay, what's the best way for me to actually do this? Is it just... Debating the possibility. It would have to be, I would need a mass outbreak of the Pokemon. And then I would just need to like kind of auto battle them down. I doubt we're going to get like a mass outbreak of them though for a while. I don't know how mass outbreaks even work for them. You can get the shiny sandwich. I don't know how to make a shiny sandwich.
I don't know if I can make a shiny sandwich yet. You just make a sparkling sandwich of that type. Oh god, look at the pack. Oh, this just makes me so happy. This makes me so happy just to see him. <laughs> look at the little flock. Hello, friends. Hello. How do I take a picture again? How do I take a picture? I, ca I can't remember. Try it. There we go. Me and the squad. Uh, do we have any other types of camera that we can use? <laughs> cool. It's gonna be hard to get them all in the picture. The fucking fish eye lens. <laughs> Yeah, we've got like a little bit of every Mareep in. Move forward a little bit. The thing is, if I move forward, I think the flock is gonna follow me. Because they're so sweet. And Mareep only want peace and the world to be wonderful. <laughs> I can't take the picture. <laughs> by walking forward because they're just gonna follow me. <laughs> All is happy in the world. Make a bigger pack. Can I like lead them over? Hello friends. Come with me. Come with me, friends. No, they're having none of it. I'll be here to check out what's going on. There's another stray Mareep. Don't get lost from the pack from the herd, friend. A lot of Gen 2 love with the Pokemon they've selected. Like, you can hop it from that, too. Oh, that's like the dog. That's like the pre-evolution of the dog your rival has. Mass Chief, yeah. Get one of them. I am honestly tempted the shiny hunt. <laughs> Just to get him a reef. After all this time, we're never gonna get that third badge if we do this. We're never gonna get it. I'm happy to try and get it so that we get at least one herd and then we can give it a fair shot. The crazy thing is, I reckon Shiny Hunt is probably gonna be a bit easier in this game because, like, just look at the encounter rate. It's like why in Legends Arceus you'd find so many just by naturally exploring the world. Like, if you just walk about, like, I've walked over here, that's four encounters. Five. That's basically ten encounters there, that's eleven. Like, the rate you can cycle encounters is, is insane in this game. Gotta see, uh, where is everywhere Mareep can spawn, too. Is it just the Highlands? Gotta give me go. I think it's mostly up there. 
Let's make the sandwich. I, I, I don't think I have the materials to make the sandwich. I just don't. I don't know if you even get the shiny sandwich materials. I don't know what they look like. I doubt you're going to be able to buy stuff for shinies in, like, just the town. Oh, I thought that was an item. <laughs> wow, I've been playing the new Pokemon game for a few hours, and my favorite streamer is in the same area as me. The level 17 Pokemon nearby are really challenging, but it seems your level 50 Pokemon are having an easier time. <laughs> Fucking NPC moment there. <laughs> it was like commenting on the game. I feel like you find a trainer that says that and like comments on what you've got. <laughs> yeah, I, I think Mareep are only in these highland areas up here. They don't appear to be spawning down below. Seems also like shiny hunting if you're not going for the herds might be quite a frustrating process because I think you're it's gonna be quite easy to spot a shiny but like of something else as you go. I think that like uh, the likelihood here is probably for a hop hit more than anything. So many Marie. Just touch base there. Other nice thing for shiny hunting though is that you're gonna have other shit to do. You can just pick up items while you hunt. Low kick. We think they'd be down there on the farm? What's Marie's area? Actually, we have a Pokedex for that. Oh, look at the pit. <laughs> I'm so happy. Okay, so, yeah, it, it is mostly this area they spawn. Mostly this area. God love them. It's mostly around here. But I think it is in the farms even down here that you can find them. Just a lot of random spawns. It makes sense if it's just in the plains. How do we want to do this then, other than just like aiming wanderously? Well, aiming wanderously? Wandering aimlessly. Between the fields. What, what, what kind of like method do we want to take to like actually shiny up this? There's more Mareep. Yes, they, they do spawn over here, too. Basically, this tit in the grass. Like, they, they have a chance to appear wherever. We're never doing the third gym. <laughs> Shiny electric sandwich recipe, a yellow bell pepper, salt, salty herb of mystica. Okay, I'm gonna just like assume right off the bat I cannot get that. Those are requiring herb of mystica. I imagine I'm not gonna get them till later in the game. Yeah, that, that, that sounds like it's gonna be like an end game item or something. Oh, an adamant mint. Oh, I can finally fix Taffy! Oh, that's huge! Because Taffy all this time, I think, was modest, which was up in special attack 
I'm lower in physical attack. That's a huge difference. That just swung Taffy stats. I just jumped up like 30 points just by doing that. Is there a way to try and force a mass outbreak in this area? Have we devised a mass outbreak reset? Just pass time. Can I change the calendar date? People are saying yes and no for that. You need to do the third gym. I don't, I, I don't think I do. You can sleep in game. It resets every day. Okay, so let's see, right? This is gonna be important. Okay, mass outbreak is here right now, right? Set a destination so we have that marked. It's the little yellow thing. Now we save it. Um, oh, I gotta be careful going through here. System. Date and time, right? We're gonna unsynchronize it. What I'm- I'm just gonna bump it forward a day, right? Uh, obviously I'll need to close the game as well after saving it, so it has a proper chance to reset. Okay, let's see if it works. See if it works. Set your time to 11.59 and wait a minute, you don't need to close the game then. That's a good idea, yeah. Okay. The ma Pokemon from the Mass Outbreaks- Okay, that does reset it. That does reset it. See, look at that, our pin- That they've moved. See? This is how you cycle them. Okay, now interestingly, right, let's let's work out another thing. Let's remember where this Noibat is, okay? I haven't saved the game. If I just reset it, it's gonna be reloading what it was set to before. Is it going to reload this configuration or is it gonna reload a new one? As far as the game is concerned, I haven't played in a day now. Let's look at- so... We're looking out for where that Noibat was. We're just chancing this to see if we can get it so we can get a Mareep Mass Outbreak is the ultimate goal here. It just re-rolls a new one. The Noibat's gone. Do you see that? The Noibat's gone. So all I have to do now is I just re keep resetting the game. It just re-rolls. Because it's based on when, like, it, it, it's not a set seed or anything. It's just re-rolling. And because I've seen a Mareep, I'll be able to know when it's here. So if I just keep resetting the game now, in theory, we will trigger a Mareep mass outbreak. Yeah, I need, I need to turn off autosave as well. There's some five-star raids for Herba Mystica. Uh, I do not have access to five-star raids. I don't think. I've never seen one. This is much better than doing a gym. <laughs> it's like, Jesus, he's really trying anything just not to go there. <laughs> The man's getting desperate.
Yeah, like that, that is moving every single time. We cracked like probably what is shiny hunting in this game. They only spawn over here, so I just... I just keep resetting. This is what gambling does to you kids. Okay, I'm gonna need some, uh... Let's see, we're gonna need some nice music to play. We're gonna- we'll try this for a good 15 minutes. Let's give this a proper shot, okay? We just keep resetting. It's Scarlet Violet Overworld music. But just try that. This is a quick way to check it too for just the outbreak. But again, I just kind of give it like a little scout. That's not repeated at all. Yeah, like that's been different every single time. You can just look at this area and see it. We can get one hour of the field theme from Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. Play the Ed Sheeran song. I'm sure that won't have any horrible repercussions if I play it on Twitch. There'll be like an out, like a portal to like hell probably open up in my office too. Ed Sheeran will come out and personally call me his Galway girl. I'll be in danger. All oh, the music's gonna fucking jump. I don't think I can mute it, unfortunately, though, because of the way we've set it up with the save. a Hapini outbreak at the moment. What I can do to spare you guys it as I can mute the desktop audio, so now it's just Chrome audio. Yeah, we're trying we're trying this for a few minutes. We're gonna see if this works. What are you looking for? A Mareep mass outbreak. I think we can we can trick it. And the thing is like so, my theory is, if you get the mass outbreak, you then save the game. And because there's like so much of an outbreak and it relies on killing the Pokemon repeatedly and repeatedly, it might not be a seed. Especially if it's like this, it might not be like Legends Arceus. And if that's the case, then if you get the outbreak, you save it. And then you eventually get your shiny that you wanted. It's there. I, it wasn't there that time. So that was Pokemon the Overworld. Any reason, particular reason, Shiny Mareep, any other favorite new Pokemon you would try it on? I would probably try it for Tinkaton. I would probably try it for that. If I get Tinkaton's, like, pre-evolution, we could try it that way. I wouldn't mind trying both of them. Why don't I give the Master method a try? Uh, cause that one sucks. I, I hate that method. It's so tedious. I'm not a fan. It that one takes actually forever. Between like getting the egg and hatching them. Okay, so it's not a mass outbreak there. It's not a mass outbreak. It's unfortunately hard to check like at a glance where the outbreaks are. I don't think we caught the first form of Tinkaton either. Uh, which is a bit unfortunate right now. I can see like a rough flip there. Try it for a few seconds just to see if there's hope for Mareep. Getting eggs is actually easy now, but hatching them is still a pain. Yeah, like it's just such a like a laborious process. Like, I, I I like the ones where it's um where it's outbreaks. I I love trying to get in the ledges Arceus. I find that really fun. We're trying this just for a mo. Trying to pioneer the new method of shiny hunting. Oh, 
Jesus, there's Dragonairs there. <laughs> there are some interesting ones that are coming up. This is for Room's uh, evolution. I, I didn't even realize that you could just catch them in the wild. But we, we need to stay focused if we're doing this. It was Tinker Tink? I didn't, I didn't see it there. I didn't see it. I fell asleep. How many badges are we on? It's okay. We're still on two. Gearing up for that third one soon. Having a little trouble. If we do see Tinkerton, I will go and get that one alternatively. If it shows up. If it shows up. I don't have its pre-evolution document in the Pokedex, Sally, which means that that one's going to be way harder to spot. I just got a Mareep outbreak using your method. <laughs> I like how you call it my method. <laughs> Someone else has probably f figured this out. Someone else has probably figured this out before we played. The RT method. <laughs> Quickly, someone update the wiki. It's important that I my name is on it. It's not called like the mass outbreak, like the, the, the reset method or the mass outbreak method. No, that's the rumble tumble games. It's got to come with like a picture of my face. There's an outbreak there, but it's it's not the right one. There's a cloister outbreak. That you can just very quickly scout, like Frostmaw Outbreak, Noiba Outbreak. It's actually handy. It's it's a lot faster to reset this than compared to like even the Arceus method. All you need to do is just relaunch the game. It doesn't guarantee the shiny granted, but it can guarantee the outbreak. And then I think if you just reset on the outbreak, you can get what you want. The reset test method. To avoid the third gym method. <laughs> patented. Patented. I just want to see if we can get even one outbreak. If we can get even one outbreak with it. Or like one cool outbreak that we really want to check out. There's a Maril outbreak. There's the Vroom outbreaks. Magneton outbreak is actually the one I got the grind off of. It was a Mareep out I I I can't no, so you're looking for a Mareep icon, but under it there has to be this flashing red thing to indicate an outbreak. The Mareep icon next to us is purely because we're in the area. And it's just telling that hey, you can find a Mareep here. Dan, could you update the stream tile? I already updated it. I lack badges. <laughs> I am lacking. Hoping this works. There are quite a few other outbreaks. Quite a few that we uh, have not discovered yet. Fast reset. Okay, we're gonna go like 10 more minutes on this, okay? You guys can set a timer and you can just start saying like it's time quite ominously. Uh, when we get through that. I'm gonna try it for 10 minutes. If we don't get it, it's time to get the third gym done. No, please, please. <laughs> it's 
scouring the map. There are other outbreaks. There's a Frostlass outbreak of all things. That sounds a bit too wild now. Cool one though. I don't know how close to you they can even spawn the outbreak too. There was a Hapini outbreak that seemed to be in the same area. Local man procrastinates getting the third gym badge by doing literally anything else. It's like, quickly! We need to, we need to complete the sandwich decks! We gotta get them all! I actually did the curry decks in Sword and Shield. I would not recommend it. I would not recommend it. That was, uh, that was quite torturous. There was not any real significant reward for it either. Other than the feeling of having cooked a lot of curry. Haven't been, been any outbreaks really close to you, so maybe you're blocking the spawn. There, there was a Hapini one, but yeah, we could try it. I can, I can just quickly travel. Let me concede this day, okay? Oh, we got a bird outbreak right on top of him, did I? I got the Hippini one. Okay, yeah, no, so it does work for this area, yeah, so it doesn't really matter. See, there's, there's a hop up outbreak. Right next to us. Let's get in front of the third gym. <laughs> An hour to go. <laughs> the thing is, if we get the outbreak, if we get the outbreak, then it's like we gotta commit to grinding the outbreak a bit. Like, this is a window to get the outbreak. If we then get it, we are here a while. <laughs> I just got a shiny Maripo watching this channel in my luck. I am delighted for you. Wonderful Pokemon. There's a Bonsly. None there. Got a shiny one yesterday. Yeah, a lot of people seem to have found one. We're giving it a go. Still got like six minutes, I think. When I grab my copy of Violator, I will grind for a shiny Mareep. <laughs> I'm glad. It is cool that you can just reset it. Uh, let's make this a bit easier. There's, no, there's a lot of the Magneton outbreaks. Magneton, like the little engine guy, seems to be getting most of them. Yeah, we're gonna just focus on Marie. Are we 100% sure the outbreak will be be the stay the same after saving? But see, it's only changed at the moment because we changed the day. In theory, it should be the same. It should be the same because you can save before an outbreak, and then when you reload it, it stays the same even when you reload the game. It's the changing of the date that resets it. Okay, laser focus on Mareep. That's a Bweasel. That's not quite. Ah, 
Jesus. Last year you said you would get the gym badges and now here you are, eight and a half hours into your second stream, still at two gym badges. <laughs> Shiny on the Marie. We might not even get the third badge tonight. If Marie makes an appearance here, they're like, we're being derailed again. Like, they, they, like look, the bug type gym, yeah, like, it's, it seems pretty serious. We want to just make sure we're prepared, you know. I keep saying laser focus, and then I'm like, oh, but what else, what else is spawning? Can't help myself. There seems to be quite a few on the map at any one point in time. Maybe the real gym badge is the friends we made along the way. That was the real treasure. Okay, we got like a three minutes left, I think. Three minutes. There's a lot of hop hip outbreaks. We've had like two hop hips. The poor Marie. I don't even know if this one spawns in an outbreak. I imagine there's specific Pokemon that only do it. I'd hope that Mareep is one of them. That would be a dream. I'm an engineer for Scarlet, and I hired Cola when no outbreaks of Mareep show up. Sorry. <laughs> you think any of the devs are like that? I was like, God, I fucking hate, like, Pidgey. I'm not putting it in the game. And they just, like, make, like, the catch rate, like, insanely high. Or, or low, even. So you cannot find it. Sad thing is, right, it's possible that the, there's an outbreak for Flaffy or something like that, too. And we would not know. <laughs> because we do not have it. Mareep can't appear in Outbreaks until you have three gym badges. No, it's not true. It's not true. So you zoom out here, and that's when you check it. Does the mouse family, they're having an outbreak. <laughs> You can save and the outbreak will still be there. I repeat, if you find it, you can save and continue tomorrow if you lock the clock. Oh no. That means you can, like, possibly shiny hunt the same outbreak again and again. Until it eventually appears. You just need to get the outbreak. Okay, last roll. Last roll. Last roll. This is it. Please, just two more hours. <laughs> like, please, please keep look looking. Don't give up just yet. I 
I am sad to report this does not appear to be a Marie. It does not appear to be a Marie. It's Magneton, though. Rufflet. This little guy no one loves. Just, like, desperately starts searching the world, like, no! No, he's out here! Like, Marie! Marie, come home! Please! Like, I believe! You wouldn't forsake me like this! Texture just sink. I think it was real weird looking. Like, wait. Someone see something? Someone. Someone see Mareep? Someone. He's out here. He must be. Oh, that's a different Marie. Sorry, friend. I didn't mean to step on you. Didn't mean to step on you. Please continue your grazing. One more refresh for old times sake. We only started resetting it like 15 minutes ago. It's like, oh, just one more though. The nostalgia. My God, do you remember? Do you remember when he's shiny on it? Do you remember when he spent like uh, 49 hours on the first route? It got real fucking stormy all of a sudden. What is that? He's just a cricket thought. Yeah, those, those were good times. So long since then. I don't know if the Marie spawn in this part of the climate. Or the world, even. Why is it Marie? Seems tricky to get the flocks. Yeah, so you really want to just try and get the outbreak if possible. Hey, some Marie. Hello, friends. I miss it when RT used to re used to reroll for an outbreak. Damn, I miss the old RT. <laughs> He's really changed, you know, his content's not been the same. I used to be like a like a tier 3 sub when he was watching paint dry. Uh, but then he just started playing video games. You know, and that's not the content I subscribe for. I want no content. It's so sad to see him change over time. The old RT would have one gym badge. <laughs> like the old RT would be younger. He'd have less progress on this game. Old RT did a shiny on before he had any badges. Before he took on the game. Hey, Marie. I do spawn down here. Little guys are on the run. The old RT would have died at the first gym. <laughs> okay, so hear me out. I I have a I have a proposition. There's two options. There's two options. Oh, he's just gone. So we can either do the third gym. We finally tackle the third gym, and that is that. And we uh, consequently pro progress in the game. 
Or... I wrap up the stream soon. And I try and keep resetting. For the Mareep Outbreak. And then if I get the Mareep Outbreak... We spend all of tomorrow... Trying the shiny on it. I will give it a full day. I will give it a full day if I can get the outbreak and if this method actually works. For resetting. Uh, we can pull it. Yep, yeah, we can pull it. We can pull it. I'm gonna I'm gonna let the mock like chat decide. This is important. So, new pull. Choose. The third gym. Or shiny Marie Punt. Chat decides. Oh god, Mareep is winning. Oh no. Mareep is winning by quite a bit. 68% for Mareep. Well, you know, I, I didn't want the next uh, 40 hours of my life anyway. You know, you know what the shocking thing is? You know how when like when we played Sword and Shield, we like did a challenge run where we beat the game uh, using only shiny Wulu to beat every gym? Weirdly, we can still do that um, because we've skipped all of the gyms up until this time. It's still actually possible to do that run. Oh no, it won with 69%. That's, that's very depressing. We can still do the challenge, <laughs> Marie. Oh no. Okay. All right. Democracy is spoken, then. Yep. Democracy is spoken. The new rules, at least for tomorrow, is I'm not allowed to do that gym, unless a I get a shiny Marie, or b like we ex expend an entire day, shiny hunting for it. Oh no, it's come to this. Yeah, we can, uh... If we fly here so we're far, far, far further away. If there is a hell, this is it. Okay, so tomor tomorrow's stream is going to be shiny on them. Tomorrow's stream is shiny on them. We're going to try it. We're going, we're going to stop the adventure. <laughs> it is decided. It is decided. We'll spend a little bit more time today. But tomorrow's stream is going to be shiny on. I don't know what time I'm starting at just yet. Because I have to go over uh, the edits of the previous streams. I have to go over those. Seriously, yeah, people voted on it. People voted. That, that, that That's what we're doing. Tomorrow's stream, we're going to shiny up Mareep. We're going to give it a shot. Okay, uh, let's try and set this up so it's in our favor, too. So, autosave, we want to turn that just... I think that's just off. And then... Background music as well is the other thing. We set it up so it's here. We save the game. And then, let me change this. So we're pretty much using this method until we get an outbreak. Uh, system, date and time. Where the fuck is it? Set, it, set the clock forward.
Close the game. We need to at least get, um, like, one outbreak of Mareep to make sure this works. We could still beat all the gyms with fucking Mareep. <laughs> You can make sure with any random outbreak. It's hard to confirm it because the confirmation for it is that you get the shiny after resetting numerous times. That would take, that would take, like, basically I have to shiny hunt anything for that. If I'm doing that approach, then I might as well just... <laughs> oh, that's a fucking sign! <laughs> Save it! <laughs> Save the game! <laughs> The game knew! Okay, wait, we might be saved! We might be saved! It's fate! The gods have answered! <laughs> Streamer luck strikes again! And we've set it all up correctly now, so now I just need to make sure I don't change the date. I just need to not change the date. Okay, what music would we like? Oh, I already know the one, based on a place we spent a lot of time in. Hang on. I already know what we're playing. All right. It's right next to the, to the spot too. We saved it. We, we did save it there, yep. Help me out, chat. We saved it there. Double checking. We did. Okay. So it should be locked in is what I'm hoping. Marie outbreak. And now what we need to do is we need to... Let's go him down, basically. Get him, Pepper. Auto save off, I already turned it off. So, the more Mareep we kill, the more Mareep spawn. And this is how we're gonna try and attempt the shiny hunter. The odds are still the same, but the encounter rate is significantly higher. As we actually kill more Mareep in the chain here, it should increase the odds too, from what I understand. I don't think your lead Pokemon needs to be consistently out either. If you resummon them like this, it's fine. Let me just change one other thing. Actually, I can't do that because it might save it. I was going to see if I could toggle all the rain off. We'll be fine. Auto battle cannot kill a shiny or like even a terrestrialized Pokemon from what I understand. We are looking for a pink sheep gang. The hunt begins. Pepper really sounds like a microwave. She does. We'll confer a pink sheep. We're, we're, we're lucky here because it's quite a distinct shiny. It'll basically look like cotton candy. Get him, Pepper! And there's so many because we've done it this way. 
Like we're just cycling through encounters. Keep getting them. Akarai, what are you doing? I can't believe we actually got the outbreak. We're gonna have to test if this works with the reset, but of course, we have to run this cycle of it. The one thing I don't know is if I reset it now, right? I have saved it with the outbreak, but it, the, the rolls might be dropped, like locked. It could be a seed. I know RC has worked that way, but I don't know if this game works that way. This game also looks works very different when it's outbreaks compared to Legends Arceus. It'll be significantly harder to shiny on it like this if it works on the basis that um, the seeds are locked. I'm hoping it doesn't because uh, it's based on the amount of kills that, like it actually increases the shiny odds. I think once you kill 60, you're in business. Highest possible odds then. We keep an eye out for where the shiny is as well. Because if we see it, we just run for it. We go auto battle into the shiny. That's inviting disaster. Keep killing them. They should just keep spawning. It gives notifications when the spawn is running low, I believe, too. I haven't seen any such word just yet. It already gave it. Okay. It's still spawning some, though. There's a few more, at least. Still says the outbreak is in progress on the map. The hopping. Got very excited there. You've auto save on or off? I have it off. We've prepared. So what do we think for the seed then? That, that, that's what it comes down to. If I don't get it here, I'm gonna. My plan is to simply reset it and rinse and repeat. But that might not work. It depends on how the game is actually just coded for that. They're still spawning. Odds change after number of kills, so that can't be it. Yeah, it, it, I, that's what I think it is. The odds do change, so it hasn't actually decided if there's a shiny yet. Yeah, because it's dynamic based on the amount of kills, it leads me to believe that this should work, especially with the reset. We're gonna test it though. We're doing science. Science is just mass murder. <laughs> Again, a lot of Mareepool, too. Nice. <laughs> we'll be able to make like a mighty sweater from all this. The murder sweater. Fluff sandwich. I'll pop that in like the mini game. 
I love that. Okay, so it physically disappears on the map when it runs out. It run you see that? It's gone now. So every Mareep that's left should be the last ones in theory. The outbreak has ended. No shiny Mareep here. No shiny Mareep. It is just spawn in regular flock. These are outside of the outbreak now. So, I think what we do is we reset it. Try a picnic before restarting the game. But, I mean, it's not on the map anymore. It's not on the map anymore. That's the thing. I don't think the picnic's gonna do anything. There we go, picnic. Done picnicking. Okay, that's not done it. But, we've saved it now at the start of the outbreak. And the date hasn't changed, and I set it to midday, so we're locked on the date. So now, here's the moment of truth. If it saves the outbreak, if it saves the outbreak, we're in business. Get the picnic before you kill the last one. Oh, if you just picnic after you kill 60, is it? So picnic, 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 and it'll just reset them. Okay, we can try that. Good news as well. It's worked with resetting the, the outbreak. It's back. It's working. <laughs> Step one's in place, so the Mareep are locked in now. So, keep a careful tally. We need to get 60 and then we picnic. Oh, we defeated the hop too. Good job, Pepper. Yeah, we need a, just a rough tally. We need to get to 60 before we can stop. So many poor Mareep are offering their lives today. Oh no, take, don't take it out in the young goose. We must find cotton candy. going. It's a bit of an awkward spot for the outbreak. Just for the picnic I'm thinking, because it's like this tier. Um, but we'll make it work. Prince Will is the same. We need 60 before we can rest. And then we simply reset. About halfway. Get him, Pepper. Thought the population of whales would recover. 
This time, we have much stronger Pokemon to do this with. And we didn't exactly miss out on the game's content. Like, last time we just had to kill Wooloo one by one by one until we reached the ev eventual end. This time, we're stuck in a time loop. <laughs> and we're gonna get him. Hop it, we're gonna give me a heart attack as we go. It's just the pink. God love them. the poor Mareep even come over to you because they're curious as to what's happening. Quite literally lambs to the slaughter. Oh no, young goose, no! Get out of here! He's scaring the sheep! Sorry, friends. Don't worry. He wanted to stop the killings. We're done when I say we're done. Okay, 60. Are we done? We have roughly 60 Marie, yes? Okay, picnic time. Next part of the plan. So, this will reset all existing Marie. And we simply finish picnicking. Takes him a moment to load in. Takes him a moment. But now I believe the plan is we simply keep doing the picnic. Problem is they're so damn scattered. They really take a moment or two just to spawn in. We're also losing time while we do this. Okay, do I save it here? Do I save it here? No. No, okay. We just cycle until we run out of time, I think. Picnic? Come on out, friends. Back we go, friends. And we just keep up the search. It's an awkward bit of land to cover. Searching for them. I had to tell how many are going to even spawn in each time, too. Quite a few. I don't see one. Picnic? Pack up and go. Marie, come in. Sheep, sheep, sheep. We're looking for a pink sheep. Damn you, Hoppip. Get out of here. Okay, nothing there. Another picnic.
You reset the chain by killing a hoppip. Is that how that works? Hoppip may have perished while we were in the hunt. I don't think that's how it works, though. I think it's, like, overall in the kill. I don't think I reset the chain. Yeah, that's not how it works. You gotta, like, look away to give the Marie a chance to come out of hiding. Very shy. God, it's hard to tell. It's hard to tell how long to wait. Cause like they keep just blipping in, don't they? I feel like every time I look, there's like at least like four more Marie. Hoppip. Count the sheep and check. <laughs> it's the only way to know for sure. You gotta keep keep track of who's in the flock. He hunting. Hoppip, please. Doesn't look it, does it? So hard. Th like, this is the hard bit to tell. But I can reset this forever now. This is probably like the fast, the most amount of encounters of Marie we can possibly get. Yeah, I don't see one. Uh, picnic and reset. What are the chances? I think it's 1 in 800. <laughs> I think it's so... No, it's probably even more than that. It's probably more than that. As in, like, like, like the, the chance is lower than that. I think it's like 1 in 1,300? It's low. It's low. It's significantly better than it was, though. And the crucial thing is here, the encounter rate. Instead of just like kind of rolling one dice, we're rolling like 20 dice at once. One in 3,600... One in, one in 1,365. And like we're rolling a lot more dice. So in theory, this should take less time. Even compared to like shiny hunting like cupcake before. You can probably get the odds even significantly lower if you have like the right sandwich or the shiny charm or something. Uh, which we do not. We don't have the means to kind of make a sandwich either, so there's no need to even suggest it, I would say. Whatever the outcome though, I'm happy because this means we don't have to do the third gym. Dex progress so far. I'm trying to get a Marie. I'm having a bit of difficulty finding one. I don't think the chain is affected at all as well. Like, even if I run away from it in battle, I don't think anything here actually affects the chain. I think it's just locked in based on the amount of encounters you have had. Which is very generous compared to like how it's been. You'll never die in the third gym if you never get there. <laughs> I 
I need to just look into a wall for like a minute. And suddenly, Marie. Looking for a pink cloud. Not hopping. Spawning. Take some a good mo. They're nervous. They know. They know what's going on. Picnic. I think I probably reset it a bit sooner. Yeah, like just to cycle them a bit faster. Because at the start, you get the most amount of spawns. Does this hurt the Marie? I mean, this bit's not. This bit's not. This bit's actually quite kind to the Marie, if I do say so. I'm guessing this is um this has been tested because like chat was kind of informing me of this method. This has been tested to reset them, yeah. Just to make sure I'm not like spawning the same Marie again and again. It's always hard to tell. Yeah, it resets them. Cool. It was tested, it's the main method. Cool. Happy days. Yeah, we will spend more time doing this tomorrow then. Now that we've got the system down. Actually seems like quite a safe way to shiny hunt too. Especially with the changes to the open world, like there's not much involved with it. No sleep till sheep. <laughs> I feel like this is something that they might even look at patching at some point. But thankfully, because the game's performance is so fucking all over the place, I reckon they might not patch it for a while. And I reckon if we're quick, we can get in, get our Mareep, and get out. Because I think there's probably bigger priorities right now than the shiny odds. That's what I'm banking on. So many sheep. Oh, I, I love my reef so much. Okay. Picnic time. That's, that's our Marie there. That's Crumpet. Crumpet's just along for the ride, too. We have Crumpet with us. Moral support. Trying to find her sister right now. One more sheep for the flock. Keep th uh, every time I see a hop, if I get like uh, my heart like jumps, <laughs> like, oh, <laughs> it's not it's, it's not it. Okay, excuse me, friends. Continue the search. Pink sheep. Pink sheep is the goal. I'm very thankful it's distinct. Do we know if catch combo is still a thing? I don't think so anymore. It seems to be that um, it's like let's go chain. I don't know what you'd call it. But like the more you kill in the auto battle, like that's what affects the odds and then you max it out. Uh, those odds are currently maxed. Cannot be increased anymore.
I think this doubles as EV trading for special attack. I'm sure my mostly physical team is going to love that. We get the, the encounter rate is high. Like, every time we reset this, we basically cycle 20 Marip in one go. At the already improved odds. I'm hoping that this one's actually working with its odds, because I, I, a lot of people were saying in Sword and Shield that like, the odds were busted. Or like there was some weirdness going on with it. We're rolling 20 dice each time. That's how you should look at this. Bust it good or bad, bust it bad. Apparently there were some issues with it. We live in hope. The fear is as well just spotting it. We have to keep careful eye on the flock. There's a very genuine possibility that we simply miss it. Have to keep an eye out. We're rolling 20, 1300 sided dice. We are, but if we just keep chucking the dice, statistically it'll work out eventually. We also, like, you gotta remember that we, like, have incredible streamer luck. We're, we've been very blessed. We will win in the lotto into existence. Last time we streamed Persona. <laughs> we also did find a shiny already today. We found it one in the form of Heracross. Consider myself very lucky. It still took months to find Cupcake. It did, but remember that with Cupcake... We'd only be able to get through like 300 encounters a stream just because of the method of doing it. Here we can get through like 300 encounters like probably in like 10-15 minutes. So like like that's condensing the time like significantly. Gotta threaten to end the stream again to force the hands of the RNG gods. I was about to wrap up the stream actually too before the Mareep wave spawned. But now like my brain's in like a different mode where it's like, no, we gotta do it. <laughs> we, gotta, we gotta go. Like the next one, that's gonna be the Mareep. You're addicted to sheep. This guy has like a real problem with sheep. He just keeps killing them. I, I don't trust him. Again, if we run out of time on the outbreak, we simply reset it again. We re well, we reset the game, that is. And we go again. Remember as well, for time on the cupcake hunt, I, I don't know if people remember this, but we actually killed every single sheep that we encountered that was a regular Wulu. Uh, we had no mercy. Like, that, that run wasn't just, like, encountering them. The reason it took so long is because every single battle we had to kill them. Whereas here, you know, we're, we're being a bit kinder. Poor Marie. We're allowing them to live. We tried to stare it into a wall for 15 seconds to allow for spawns. You can try it. Marie? 
Only the first 60 have to be executed. That, like, that's mercy right there. That's mercy. There were only 60 lambs slaughtered. Keep going. We're just gonna let the Persona autoplay go. I think that's a natural flock of Marie. They're not part of the outbreak. God, I love I love this left side of the map. Like this spot in particular. I haven't been here. Wish I came sooner. Give a nice old run through. That's a hop. -up. The hop ups really do mess with you. They do. It's close because the hop up as well is actually close to the shade of what shiny Mareep is, unfortunately. The little curl that they're together. Keep up the hunt regardless. They knew. <laughs> you know, we also colored the, uh, the shiny hop hip after Marie. They just want to keep, keep long time fans in their toes. Hop it. We can run laps like this, I think. Seems like a good way to do it. The overworld sprite does look pink, does it? Yeah, it does. We found Heracross earlier today, and it was like a bright pink for the shiny. Got to the textures, which also need a moment to load on top of the sheep. I don't know what's going on with them, but... Won't question it. Oh, <laughs> stepped in one. LD shift happens really close to your character. Yeah, it does, unfortunately. I imagine there was some technical thing that... Why they did that. It's not an excuse. It's not an excuse whatsoever. It's very shit. But it's probably why they did it. Herd in sheep. Got a nice little lap going now, too. Gives us a chance just to really check if there's any. And the reason the game render renders weird is for the multiplayer? Uh, then don't do it. <laughs> like, honestly. If the performance of this was on par with Legends Arceus and like the... What they would have to do for it is just sacrifice the multiplayer or like, you know, the open world co-op, then I would say, yep, yeah, just do it. It'd be nice if we could have Bolt, you know, it's the most successful media franchise in the world. But if that was the reason or the justification, it's like... You know, I think they prioritized the wrong thing there. Getting hefty amounts of Mareep now. They get used to watching the rocks melt. <laughs> He's 
He's out there somewhere. God, that hurts my eyes. Yeah, the, the textures are weird. Don't look directly at him. Don't. <laughs> World just dips. The hills are alive. The outbreak's still going. Has there been a notification for the outbreak slowing down at all? I don't know if there has. I think it stays because, like, they're pretty slow until you actually kill them. Yeah, there, there hasn't actually been one. So this, re this really is reliable if you just cycle the spawn. How you not sleep and counting all the sheep? It ends after 120 Pokemon. I mean, it's probably something like that. Yeah, they're like, they're, there probably is a limit for the amount you kill. I'm just shocked that like you can re-roll them like this by using the picnic. It's a clever way to do it. Definitely what they, not what they intended, and I imagine they're going to patch this. Which is why we gotta get Mareep soon. Gotta do it soon. We're looking for a pink sheep. It, it, it'll, it'll be distinct. Not a hopper. Why would this not be intended? I mean, do you think, like, Game Freak designing like the new shiny up mechanic? Like, wrote that, and it's like, okay, so we want them to, like, kill 60, but then instead of, like, grinding the rest of the, ra ra the raid, we want them to just reset using the picnic table to get the shiny they want guaranteed. I don't, I don't think that's what they intended. I don't think that's what they would have intended. I can't imagine, like, a serious meeting where, like, the, desi like, the design team sat down. It's like, yes, that's obviously the best way to do it. They were probably yeah, they were probably too busy trying to make more sandwiches. That's probably what was going on. It's like, like guys, what if we put like another sandwich in, but this time it's got olive oil? The sandwich dev department was like going all out. It's probably what happened. A lot of performance in general is so choppy. Like they, they actually spent the extra time that they were supposed to uh, spend ironing out the FPS and shit uh, on just actually putting more sandwiches in the game. You know, it was either like uh, 30, a stable 30 FPS or like chorizo toppings. And, you know, there was only one answer really. You can't blame the devs there. Keep rolling them dice. Ultra high detail sandwich. I know you're joking, but it sounds legit. I do wonder what fraction of dev time was spent on the sandwiches. <laughs> I really do wonder. Like, cause it probably wasn't an insignificant amount. Like they, they've really fleshed that out. They've put a lot of time into this sandwich mechanic. Because, like, like, the sandwiches even have physics when you place toppings and, like, they bounce out and stuff. <laughs> like, you gotta wonder. You gotta wonder how much dev time was spent on the sandwich mechanic instead of, you know, making the game run. <laughs> I heard a shiny. Shinies do not make sound effects in this one. Shinies do not make sound effects.
Shiny will be a pink sheep. So I I heard pink. <laughs> Any reason you like Mareep so much? Look at Mareep! Little sheep friend. So cute. So cute. Same with Wooloo. They're like two of my favorite Pokemon. I, I just... I just like sheep. I think... I think they're great. It's friend shaped, exactly. Cycling. Roll another 20 dice each time. Yeah, so pretty much in like every minute, like you're getting like 20 encounters. So like, yeah, I mean, I, that, that's insane just for like the the amount you can actually hunt. I think that like, this is probably more efficient than even Legends Arceus was. You could do like a fancy save reset method there, but like. You have to like spend time closing down the game each time. Here you don't even need to do that. It's just you like you set up like a little picnic table. Have you run out of time or need more time? You simply load your earlier save. How do you know where an outbreak is? It's marked on the map. It's marked on the map. Suspicious looking cheap there. Didn't trust him. Didn't trust him. Keep looking. He's out there. Cycle again. How long have we been here for? Not complain, just curious. Um, I think it was about an hour ago I said just two more minutes. This will be the last one. Oh, this is... I, uh, that's... Uh, that's be careful here, just... Try and just get the official music just because you get uh, copyright issues everywhere. Try not to chance it. Come on, Marie. Blow that hill. find a shiny hop instead. I mean, it'd be very unlikely. That's like, because like, the, the hop hip dice is being rolled like significantly less. Whereas the Mareep dice is like so many of them. But we did find like a shiny Heracross yeah, just in the wild. It's so, like anything's possible. You just get a lot of encounters. I, I think someday they're gonna up the, like, like... Well, like, make the odds worse for finding a shiny Pokemon. I think it's a matter of time. I think it will get harder. Especially just with the encounter rate increasing. Because we're on the same odds of when you can only find, like, one every, like, 30 seconds. And, like, they haven't actually changed those odds.
Are we sure this actually works? Yeah, it's been confirmed. Might take a little while, but it's been confirmed that this should work. Picnic. Wasn't it higher in earlier gens? Uh, no, it's been like one in like roughly 4,000. Like, just always. And it's like consistently been that, despite the amount of Pokemon you encounter, like significantly increasing. Hop it. Hello, Marie Flot. Come on. Oh wait, sorry, yeah, the old odds were 8,000, weren't they? Oh, okay, they, they, they did just half them at one point, right. Interesting. That was always one thing, 4,000. Okay, well, it was even worse before, yeah, Jesus. There was no way to boost the odds before, too, like, Shiny Charm didn't exist. I only I had that in Gen 5. Yeah, it's pretty rough to get Shinies in the old games. Pretty damn rough. Probably upped it just because so few people were getting them. I reckon they might go back to those old odds. I wouldn't be surprised. Because it, it does feel significantly easier to get a shiny now. It's still rare. But there's like so many methods like specific to getting them. All the sheep are pink in my eyes. Feel like my eyes are fuzzy. <laughs> they, they do all start to blur together. Don't get sleepy counting the sheep too. There's a lot of them. It's wool is pink. It's wool is pink. Again, it will, it will really stand out. You missed one. <laughs> These chill Saturday vibes, uh, I'm feeling sleepy. Love it though. I'm glad. <laughs> I'm having fun doing this. Like, the alternative at this point in time would be that I simply, like, wrap up for the night. There's no way we were ever doing the third gym today. No, but I'm just doing a little bit of hunting now. I don't know what time I'll be starting tomorrow. Uh, but tomorrow we will give this a full day's effort of shiny hunting. Don't know what time I'll be live, just because I have some editing to do. And as for the highlights, actually, of Pokemon we've played thus far. Did you win the battle, then? I won that battle and, like, two other super fast battles. I would say we're doing pretty damn well. Found a random shiny Psyduck just chilling, so I named him Chili. Less. Imagine if your team cooperated it. It'd be a hell of a different run. Saw one? I don't think you did. Don't think you did. Probably saw a hopper.
They're all starting to look pink, aren't they? Been here too long. Is Wimscott in this game? Sadly not. Wimscott's been shafted. Lilligant made it in, but I think that's because Lilligant has a regional form. out there. It's just being shy. We'll keep monitoring its friends. And there's Hopip. I wish the Hopips would just go away. looking pink because your eyes are filled with blood from staring at the screen too long. <laughs> my, my mom would always like warn me about stuff like that when I was a kid. You know, I was like, you can't be playing video games all day. You know, you gotta get some work done. And I feel like to all like the parents that said that, like, joke's on you. Now the games are my job. <laughs> My mom jokes about it sometimes. It's like, I, like, she says things like, I'm sorry I used to cut off the internet on you. I wish I'd just let you work. <laughs> yeah, like, you know, I, 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 you know, God love her. Like, I, I know she had my best interest at heart. You know, she just doesn't want me, like, on a computer all day, which is, like, very valid. But it is funny to think about, considering, you know, here we are now, and here we are doing this for a living. <laughs> Has your vision holding up? It's fine. I've had glasses on the entire day. I feel good too because I actually like stopped to eat this time. I I can be quite bad with that. Sheep, 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 sheep. No pink sheep. We drank any water? Yep. Yeah. I've been working away, and I have more here. Continue to load the sheep. Make an IRL sandwich. You know, I actually have some bread in the fridge. I might do that after this stream. I might do that. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> Marie for angry. Bread in the fridge, it keeps a little longer. It keeps a little longer. Eat Fido. I would if I could. We'll eventually get to the stage of Pokemon games where it's like, you want to slice a Tauros? You got like a steakhouse and like Tauros is just there. I mean, we already have like a teapot Pokemon. Like, if you want tea, you're just drinking like a Pokemon's blood. It's already a thing now. It's like, it's not a stretch. How do you think they make salad as well? Like, they're picking the like the picking it all from somewhere. Other plants here, but the, like even like they're they're all just waiting to become Pokemon. That's how it works.
You think the T and T-bone stick? T-bone stands for Tauros, obviously. <laughs> Got some nice rainy mood vibes now. Yeah, the grass type is that vegan. I, there's been like an endless debate on that. I think the idea is that, well, I don't know. I don't know. Hard to tell. Only being a vegetarian in the Pokemon world will get you very far. You're just eating other creatures. Bread in the fridge actually makes it go stale faster. If you want to keep it for longer, put it in the freezer. Wait, really? Yes, it does. Oh, that's unfortunate. I always thought, all right. Kept it in the freezer before too, but just like not gonna have it for a long time. Makes it go stale. Okay, I'll, 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 I'll rescue my bread after this stream. Go rescue it. It'll be alright. Quickly. Don't eat it on toast and it's fine. I, I, I always kind of toast it myself. Should be good. You can tell we're at the point where, like, brain's on autopilot, and it's like, how long will we be on this mortal plane? And it's like, yeah, you know, a toast of bread. That's what does it for me. Gage and stream content right there. Not a soft bread person, you know? So, gang, another hot topic and riveting discussion. Where do you keep your onions? Bedroom? <laughs> the fuck? What does that even imply? Dark and cold. Hey, Mareep. The rival Mareep family. It's not part of the... the outbreak here. We're attracting like neighborhood Mareep now. Oh, they're gone as well. Jesus, they despawned real quick. Oh god, wait a minute. Is this root been despawned? Hang on. Hang on. Oh no, this root. Yeah, it's because we can't see them all. It's because we can't see them all. Yeah. I think I still reset it like this. But it's because of, it's because of that little blip. It's despawning the ones up here. If we, I mean, I think it's still fine because we still just cycle them. Okay, they're there, they're there. I think. I think it's still fine. We just basically keep looking until we find a shiny. Make sure if a shiny spawns in that we don't just blip it out of existence. Hard to tell. Is that Mar there's a Mareep in the back there. Mareep gone in the back. Mareep has been deleted. Right. Does that reset the spawns? Do I even need to picnic? Have I just got like an interesting enough route where I can just like run a circle? Hard to tell. 
Maybe they don't despawn, but just not render. <laughs> gonna get to the third gym and it's just a warehouse of Marie. I hope so. That sounds amazing. Keep thinking I see him. It's just regular Marie. I take it we try and stand close to the cliff edge. Just in case we spot one. Has RT been enjoying this motorcycle Pokemon? Yeah, he's cool. I really like him. Search continues. Keep it up. And I am just on the Talon Flame too. Watch him. They're all so cute. I think we may need to roll over till tomorrow. We're gonna give it till half, right? A few more cycles. A few more cycles. Even two more minutes this time. It's just however long it takes to get the Mareep to load. It's the main thing we're fighting against is just to get them to spawn. Please, please grace us with your presence. Really get some nice sleep and good eats. Thank you very much. Yeah, I'll be good. Like, honestly, like when the Pokemon game comes out, like all I want to do is just play it. You know, and I'm kind of thankful too that even with this one, like we haven't just been shiny hunting the entire time. Like the most I'm gonna do is give it a day tomorrow. That's the most I'm willing to do. Uh, because I don't want to shiny hunt like forever before we beat the game. I do want to kind of see it. Like, thanks to the weird and wonky progression that we've had, we're actually in a position this time with the game where, like, we can do this and take a day, and, like, it's actually not that bad. Like, the game's only been out two days. We already have, like, technically, like, 12 badges. We just don't have, like, the main ones that make Pokemon obey us and shit. It probably won't be a 12-hour stream tomorrow, no. It probably will not be. Most likely be a shorter stream, but for what we do stream, we will be looking for Marie. So many of them spawn, and Cotton County does not want to show up. Will there be a third gym badge? <laughs> the town's gonna just be like abandoned by the time we finally get there. We haven't, we haven't had a visitor in these parts in uh, any a year. A what? What's a gym badge? Me neither. Oh no. I think it is cycling some of the Mareep spawns just by virtue of us walking about, but it's still fine. 
And, you know, we'll, we'll see it. We don't, like, walk towards them or even, then, like, it somehow despawns or something. At least he's still at a world record pace. We're getting through the game fairly quickly. My personal opinion. Again, like, it's only been out, like, two days. We have, like, 100 Pokemon in the Pokedex, like, a max level team. Like, God only knows the next few gyms are going to be quite easy, too. Given our level. So, like, I, I think we've been doing pretty well. And I, th I think we should be able to get back to, like, a Persona stream come uh, next weekend. That's, like, the plan I'm gonna try and, like, kind of move towards. And we might take our time with Persona this time. I think we're gonna space it out a bit more. Versus trying to do it in two days for a palace. I think we just need that, because, like, the, the, the plot's getting more and more complex. There's more and more layers. Just take our time. Should be good. Excited. Mementos again. We will be doing mementos again. <laughs> we will be doing mementos again before long. I'm excited for that. Take your time. Yeah, it's like, it, it, that's the thing. Like, it is important to actually take your time in games like this so you enjoy it. Like remember with this game, like this is this is pretty much all the Pokemon we're gonna be getting for like probably a year. There might be some, like, terror raids to, like, spice things up, but, like, that's it. So, like, DLC, like, kind of swings about. It's no doubt gonna swing about. Like, there'll be something. But, like, I don't even mind, like, taking my time to like, kind of just beat this game. I'm, I'm, I'm not in a rush to just get to the end. I don't mind getting sidetracked to do, like, kind of the occasional silly thing. Because I, I, I think it would be torture if, like, you just, like, like 24 hour stream till we finish it, let's go. Like, that, that sounds like way too much. Put that, like, kind of constraint in yourself. If only I had a better spawn area. Yeah, sadly, we do not. Sadly, we do not. It's a rough spot for the Marie. But the search must continue. The search must continue. I think for today, I think that's going to be it we wrap up there. Giving it a good search. And we just pause it like that. One more, one more. Alright, alright, alright. One more, one more, one more. Okay. This one, Daniel. I've got a good feeling. Ninety percent of gamblers quit before they win it big. Oh no! <laughs> what an awful, like, mean statistic. It's so cruel. Yeah, yeah. What I'll what I'll make sure I do from here as well is I'm gonna adjust the in-game clock but not close the game. 
And I'm basically just going to keep it so that it stays on today. It's my plan. Right, so I'm going to keep it so it's just like the same time. Uh, but yeah, I, I think we leave it here for today. I think we leave it here for today. I think we've done pretty damn good, though. Yeah, just look at, like, our progress. So, we still haven't got the the third gym badge, or the first one here. Uh, we're working on that, but we're gradually getting there. We're gradually getting there. You know, it's tricky. It's tricky. It's been tricky to find this time for this town. I kept going, like, around anti-clockwise. You know, so this is, at, like, the very end, if you think about it. We're working on it. We're getting there, though. But yeah, I think that's going to be it for today's stream. But thank you so much, everyone, for watching. I really do hope you all enjoyed it. I hope everyone had a good time. Uh, thank you to everyone who subbed. Thank you to everyone who gave gift subs. Thank you to everyone who gave bits. Thank you to the mods, as ever, for being on hand. Uh, I do hope everyone enjoyed it. Yeah, we'll be back uh, tomorrow at some point. The stream uh, some more Pokemon. I don't know when exactly I'm gonna be live just yet uh, because I have some editing to do and that I'm pretty much just gonna be like prioritizing that but it'll be at some point tomorrow and it's gonna just be a chill shiny hunt stream. That's pretty much the plan. So it should be good fun. Will we progress in the next stream? If we find Mareep, yes. <laughs> if we find Mareep. But our main goal is going to be uh, just shiny hunting. If we find it, we keep going. Well, it should be good. Woo. Yeah, I'm tired. We're doing some long streams. Yeah, we'll be a shorter stream tomorrow. Yeah, so I'll keep an eye on the Discord server just for the start time, too. I'll, uh, I'll post when I'm going live there. Remember to save your bread? I will. I'm gonna make a nice sandwich. Yes, yeah, chill stream tomorrow. Just shiny on. <laughs> yeah, somehow we avoided another gym today, but we did all the, we did all the Starfall Street. We did all of that tonight. So you know, we still accomplished some, and we, and we beat Arvin, and like we beat um, the Starfall end as well. It's been good. Okay, let me see who's streaming. Have a look. Have a look. There's a there's a lot of people going. Uh, Kiwo streamer plays Pokemon at her own pace because I can do what I want and no one can stop me. <laughs> Perfect. Go say hey. Okay. Thanks for watching, folks. I'll see y'all tomorrow. Have a good night. <laughs>